Top of Borogisi to the beaches of Maryland, we cover Liberia like nobody else does. This is Spoon 107.5. Yes, I, a special one from the CEO, stand down with the spoon. And your boy, right in the south, man. Charges on the beach. Yes, 
Spawn FM, Spawn TV. This is the Spawn Network. I'd like to say welcome to another edition of the program, the most anticipated uh, show, the, the the program that gets Liberians across the world running toward their radio or their TV set every single day to get to know exactly what's happening in Liberia. I'd like to say welcome to the program, Spawn Talk. Uh, we're here tonight again live across the country, across the world. We are coming to you live. Um, on radio, uh, Spoon FM 107.5, Fabric 101.1, and Super 95.5 FM. For those of you um, across the world, um, we are streaming live across the internet on YouTube, Spoon Talk Live on Facebook, Spoon TV, Fabric TV, and Super TV. And we want to say welcome to all of you. Thanks for joining us tonight. My name is Nelson Collier. 
And um, as you know, this is where you get authentic information about all of the major happenings in Liberia. Uh, Spoon Talk is just that place that uh, we get to dish out Liberia's very best, to bring you face to face with the newsmakers, um, to give you an idea of what the policymakers are doing, what they are saying, and all of that. So, welcome to the show again today. I'd like to say thanks for joining us. Kindly share the program as you come on tonight uh because this edition of the program is going to be very very loaded for you and um let me just uh hasten to say that um okay so once the ceo and the rest of the rest of the team come on uh they're going to throw more line on that but just a, a little um update uh some of the happenings across the country um here, what are some of the happenings across Liberia? Um, I'll bring you some of those uh, uh, those right here very shortly. But let me say thanks to all of you for joining us tonight. I see um, uh, Moses Sengwe. Thanks for joining us. Wow, Bombing County is where you're joining us from tonight. Let me say thanks to Clarence Benson. He says he's joining us from Canada. Uh, Mary G. Wea is joining in tonight. We want to say welcome. Madam, Madam Joyce uh, Clinton Hamel, thanks for joining us, ma'am. It's good to have you on joining us tonight. Rose Sonkali, thanks for being here tonight. Kindly share the program as you come on. Erickson uh, Zico, yes, you're joining us from Congo Town. Yes, right within... Um, where the, the Spoon Network is located. Thanks for joining us tonight. I see Margaret Morgan. Yes. Uh, not BKCC. Yes. Uh, my own dear brother. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's good to have all of you joining us on the program Spoon Talk. Kindly share the program. It's going to be a great show. Fascinating discussion coming on tonight. You just don't want to miss that. Yes. Um, uh, Julia Kekula. And a few more just before we go into some of the training issues. Emmanuel Scott, I see Eugene Parker, uh, Parker and I see Daniel Member. Thanks for joining us. Bill Carson, thanks for joining us. You said, oh, you're here again. Yes, I'm here again, Bill. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, D. Adolfo Zor Sinion, thanks for being here. B. V. Carson, thanks for joining us tonight. And thanks to all of you across the world. Many of you, I see the... Uh, the, the comment session is moving so fast, so sometimes it, it becomes so difficult to capture uh, some of the names, the comments that are, they are flowing through our live field. But I want to say thanks to every single person for joining us tonight. Um, Rabasin Zua, yeah, thanks for being here tonight. So it's going to be a great show. Uh, what are some of the happenings? What are some of the activities in Liberia? What are Liberians talking about? Of course, you know, the issue with um, the War and Economic Crimes Court remains uh, a top uh, discussion across the country right now. A lot of people are talking about uh, the War and Economic Crimes Court. Well, there are mixed views with respect to this, even from the policymakers. Uh, there are some who think that this thing is, is right for our country. There are others who think that, no, it's not a good thing for our country right now. So um, it remains uh, top on the discussion. Uh, once the CEO and the rest of the team come on, they will give you more update with respect to some of the conversations that are going on now uh, surrounding that. But um, a quick one here is that the March term of court uh, was uh, officially declared open today and the president was in attendance. So what that means is that um, the Supreme Court of Liberia is uh, about to take on uh, cases that have been on the docket, uh, you know, for um, for the past time, especially those ones that have been um, enlisted for this particular term of court. I understand they uh, much talk about or much anticipated uh, Councillor Gloria Mususcat case is one of those cases that um, is going to be uh, looked into because most of you are aware that the um, there was a guilty verdict from uh, the lower court um her legal team decided to take an appeal to um to the um supreme court yes after all the processes were exhausted uh they're going to be at the supreme court as you know in liberia the supreme court happens to be the final arbiter of justice so if you get any problem with anybody in liberia 
if we go all around all the lower code, criminal code, D, A, B, C, and D, and all of that, if you went through all of those codes and finally landed at the Supreme Court, whatever decision that comes up from there, it becomes the final. Yes, the legal people say uh, there are times where you file a bill of information and all of those things, but the Supreme Court is the final arbiter of justice. So there are lots of cases that they are going to be looking into, um, talking about this March term of court that was uh, officially opened today. Um, the president of the Republic of Liberia, President Joseph Numa Bwakai, was in attendance today. So we look forward to seeing what happens, um, especially with uh, the Council of Gloria Mususka case. It's a landmark case. It's going to set uh, precedent for so many cases to come. So the legal people, the ordinary people, every single Liberian throughout the length and breadth of this country and beyond are so much concerned about that case and many other cases that are going to be surfacing at the Supreme Court uh, during this March term of court. Well, that's just one of the, the happenings. Um, yes, confirmation upon confirmation upon confirmation upon confirmation hearings are going on. Um, the, uh, the, the rescue ship or, or the rescue train is still putting the, uh, the, the, the crew members in place, if, uh, if you may say. So, um, there, there have been a series of confirmation hearings, uh, today there, there were several of them, um, uh, there at the Liberian Senate. And so, um, uh, there were several of them at the Liberian Senate today. And, and, and as you know, it's part of the, the process. Well, the president will nominate and then the Senate will confirm where applicable, where applicable, the Senate will confirm. So um, as part of the regular confirmation, folks from the, the public works uh, went through their confirmation hearing today and, 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 and you have uh, four officials, four uh, nominees that went before the Senate today for confirmation hearing. And, and, and the hearings were held successfully. What happens is that following those hearings, the, um, the committees are going to, uh, uh, to make a decision and then um, take it to the floor. And then every single senator is going to cast their vote. Every single senator will have the opportunity to cast their vote. Um, following the confirmation hearing of uh, John Peter Paul and blah, 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 information provided according to this committee is, uh, is this. And, 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 and so the, the Senate pro tem or whoever the presiding is now decides uh, to have the senators cast their vote. And then they go through the listing. Some will vote for all and some vote for one or two, but that's what it is. So there were several confirmation hearings today. There was a, a hearing for the GSA, um, that's the Gender Services Agency, the Civil Service Agency, and um, there was also a hearing for some of the nominees. So what's happening now at the legislature, especially at the Senate, is that uh, based on the pace at which um, those confirmations uh, are moving, you know, in a day where there are about five, six nominees to be confirmed, uh, maybe for a particular ministry or agency, all four or five persons go for the confirmation hearing, make their presentations, they are asked uh, some, some questions, and then they, 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 the, the hearing ends there. In some cases, like today, uh, you have three agencies whose uh, nominees were all put, uh, were all, uh, 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 you know, let's say have a kind of combined hearing, a combined confirmation hearing. All of them when made their presentation and um, they were asked questions uh, individually and they had to respond to those different questions. So uh, aside from that, uh, there was also uh, a hearing for nominees of the Liberia Water and Sewer Corporation. And uh, there was another hearing today for uh, a confirmation hearing for nominees of the Ministry of Public Works, and that was um, a very unique one. 
And so following these hearings, the committees uh, will take their report uh, to the floor and uh, the senators will have to vote and they make a very good decision one after another they'll be casting their votes. So let's see how it goes. Well, um, interestingly, there was also uh, the regular session there at the Librarian Senate today. Um, yes, the regular session was held today. There were lots of, uh, uh, there were lots of uh, issues that were uh, there captured on the agenda um, and the senators were able to, uh, uh, deliberate on some of those issues uh, there at the Liberian Senate today. So, for example, there was a repeat. Uh, a, there was a report from uh, the Committee on Transport on the um, confirmation hearing of uh, Honorable James uh, Kapu Momo, the Assistant Minister. So, all of those confirmation hearings that were held, even the ones that have been held now, there will be following um, all of those hearings, there will be a final decision that will be made on the floor. So um, we're gonna move uh, quickly because we wanna create a time where you can be able to uh, have your say on those different happenings. Well, as a recovery team has been set up, so many uh, concerns, mixed views, mixed reactions with respect to uh, the function of the team, is it appropriate or not? Liberians are discussing and expressing themselves on those different issues of national concerns. One group that has come up with a very critical view on this asset recovery team is the Center for Transparency and Accountability in Liberia. It's called CENTA for short. CENTA happens to be the local chapter of Transparency International, which is the, the, the global body or the mother body. Uh, that organization is basically uh, concerned about the fight against corruption, ensuring that there's transparency in countries across the world. They come up with um, an annual scorecard of every single country uh, with respect to the stance you're taking against the, uh, with, with respect to the fight against corruption. So Senta, in a very critical view or in reaction to the asset recovery team, is calling on the president of the Republic of Liberia to dissolve the tax force or replace uh, the Silates due to compromised records. So uh, according to Senta, the tax force, that whole as a recovery tax force or that team undermines the function of the Liberia Anti-Corruption Commission. Well, do you agree with that or not? Uh, but that's where Senta stands. Senta thinks that some of the individual, the individuals whose names have been mentioned on that team are already compromised. Senta says, and they went on to, to, to even state names. They said, according to them, Martin Colley, for example, has been a supporter of the, the current administration, and he has been strongly um, 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 campaigning against the immediate past administration. And they think that having such a person on the team undermines the very credibility of the kind of work that they're going to do, talking about the asset recovery team. So Senta thinks that we should not have an asset recovery team on one end while we have the um, while we have the LACC on the other hand. The asset recovery team, according to Senta, will undermine the functions or the workings of the LACC. That's a very critical view that Senta is coming up with. Plus, lots of things happening in the country. Well, once the CEO and the rest of the team come on. You will get more details on those different happenings across the country. My name is Nelson Collette. Let me bring on Dr. Richardson, and uh, we will later open the lines to take some calls. I understand there has been uh, a change in the time. Dr. Richardson, hello. Good evening. Nelson, how are you doing? Yes, I'm doing well, uh, and it's good to see you. I'm glad that we're you here too. again. You too. We are here again. It is indeed... <laughs> A change in the time over yeah. here in the United States. We've sprung forward, uh, but it's good to see you. Good to be here. Um, I heard you give. I actually have been busy, you know, for the most part of the day. Um, my, some of my daughters, you know, they all go to different colleges. Some of them are on spring break. And um, okay. it's an opportunity when I'm home for them and I to sort of just get caught up 
what's going on in their life and what's going on in my life. Uh, so we did that. Um, yeah, so that's kind of how my day's been going so far. Um, how's, how's things going over there? Yeah, the country is stable. Liberia is moving on gradually. New things happening every day. Uh, Liberians are having divided opinions on the unfoldings of the day. Yeah, but mm-hmm. this is democracy and this is where we're headed as a, as a country and as a people. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it will take some time, you know, for a system to, to be consistent for yeah. things to fall in place. You know, I'm laughing at that because uh, part of my responsibility as a psychologist is to provide a waiver for people in order to become a citizen of the United States. You have to take the citizenship test, which is to ask you some questions relating to civic democracy. You know, who was the first president of the United States? You know, the First Amendment, the Second Amendment. And then you also have to take an English test uh, because that's that's the requirement. And there are many, many people, many people, immigrants uh, that come from Liberia, Ethiopia, you know, um, uh, India, all these different places. And they have different psychological issues. They've taken, they went to go take the test and they couldn't take the test. Uh, they failed. They failed forever. Or they can't remember. Some people just get nervous. Some people just can't remember who's the first person of the United States. Uh, you know, uh, they care. Yeah, it's uh, some people are older. This is the impact of. I mean, you, you guys, I get to hear. I get to imp- hear the impact of war or the impact of early childhood trauma. You know, um, because many of the people would tell me, you know, um, I was age one. My mother died. I had to go and live with a relative. They didn't send me to school. I was the one cooking and cleaning for everybody. I went to night school. So when I came home, I was too tired. So it's really hard for me to learn. But I learned trade. I know how to, you know, I know how to fix car. I'm not, I'm a carpenter. But I just, it, I, I, when it comes to language or reading and writing, it doesn't stick for me. And so we have different assessments that we do. You know, um, I try to tailor it to make it culturally appropriate because if I don't, you know, it's, it was built in for, for non, for, for, for people who are in America, it wasn't built for immigrants. So I tried to fix it and tailor it. So yeah, so I was doing that earlier this morning, my work schedule, um, wow. but this is what I call system. So in order to become a citizen, you have to go through a system and, and the system uh, make way for people who are not you know, accustomed to what you have to go through. So I have to then, um, in, the, in the medical doctor or psychologist can do this. We are the people who can give a waiver. You can be waived for medical reasons. Maybe you got a major sickness or you can be waived for psychological reasons. So people then come to see me and, you know, I have to sign, I have to assess them. I have students too. I do an internship in my practice as well. So either, you know, me watching my students give them the test that we give them. And then of course we have to write a report and then we send that to the immigration office along with the lawyers. The lawyers usually come through the truth to me by way of lawyer. So I did all of this before coming on school today. So needless today, <laughs> needless to say, you know, my brain is still here. My brain is here. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Uh, too many things going on all at once. Exiting yeah. one activity, entering another one, uh, just within uh, 24 hours or maybe 18 hours that we have to be up. And, and, and I think it's, it's very interesting. And sometimes that's how it appears as though the, 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 the time or the clock on the wall is moving so fast because when you look at the many activities before you get done with one or two, you look at the time, it's already two, three hours gone. Yes. <laughs> you're asking, how did it happen? You know? Yes. And by the way, Nelson, I, I cooked in between there. I just made chicken and some potatoes for my, my children. They're chicken. Wow. I don't know why American people like chicken business. I mean, my daughter was like, mommy, you want to make one pack of chicken? I was like. The, the chicken, they come in protest. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I just made, you know, a quick little big chicken for them to eat and, you know, some potatoes. And she's like, they love, I mean, you would cook like a couple of days ago, I made beans, stuff like They're mm-hmm. eating it, but it's just still here. Yeah, me and my husband enjoying it. But they would love that that chicken business. Oh, American people. Mm. And, I, and, I, and I saw the cartoon where the chicken, it was somewhere around Christmas time. The chicken had a pistol on the side. <laughs> 
<laughs> the person did a cartoon. The chicken had a pistol on the side, and and, and they they did a the the uh caption, you know that thing where they will they will, they will write like what the chicken says and it says, "Don't try me. It's Christmas time, but don't try me." <laughs> yes. The chicken is somewhat doing Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter coming again. Oh, they will suffer again <laughs> in the poor here. But yeah, yeah. I, I think, um, you know, if they get accustomed to eating chicken here, it's nothing yeah. like, you know, but, you know, back home, we when we eat all the rice and whatever it is, we are fine. But um, the children that grew up in this culture, they're just, you know, different. But yeah, so I heard you say a lot of things are are going on in Liberia. Uh, I, you know, I have to say, uh, Nelson, um, I haven't really brought myself to review this uh, video that's going around on Facebook, but I was taken aback mm. by a woman who we now found out that she's 60 years old. She was been violated, beaten um, in Chocolate City, I understand, because people felt like she's a witch or she was flying at night. I mean, do you know that story? I haven't quite had the opportunity to follow it, but if if because of her disability and people are thinking that she's a witch or, you know, it, it is sad. You know, nobody, nobody should undergo any kind of mild treatment because people feel like you're a witch or, you know, because you, 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 your legs look different because of your hands look different. We, people, she was born like that, or maybe she had an accident. You know, where's the compassion of our people, Nelson? Yeah, and um, it, was, it was a sad one. Uh, and, and, and I think all these things are happening as a result of uh, the, the whole internet technology, uh, technology thing, citizen journalism, everyone. Once you have a smartphone that has a camera, you can put it on and report from anywhere and, and, and so on. But it's it's... It's sad because Dr. Richardson, like you said, uh, I too watched the video um, a day, I think a day or two ago, when um, the guys uh, presented their own side of the story about how a witch was caught uh, flying in Chocolate City. And so, my next uh, question to the guy who uh, who was more like pre. Uh, having on the camera was did did they really see this lady flying you know because if you say uh a witch someone who is a witch was caught flying you must have seen her maybe coming from the sky you know flying or whatever where she caught in the art you know and, and that's 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 a question that up to present there hasn't been any answer for but then the next thing was that she was beating and um <clears throat> Even in that condition, she was beating. There was uh, uh, there was another video of a guy who was in the center of everything, apologizing for what happened, um, even accusing her of being a witch. Later, uh, an information surfaced that she was dead, but um, it's been established now that um, she's alive. She was being rescued by a young Liberian lady, and um, Thank God. she's now at the hospital. She's now at the hospital. And and so uh, she's she's undergoing some medical attention. But on the flip side, Doctor Richardson, I understand JFK. On the flip side, mm -hmm. um, I watched another video from a gentleman who uh, said that he 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 knows this woman very well. Uh, they they all lived in the same community before, but she have had uh, she she have had some real life challenges. Or at some point in her life, her leg got broken um, due to extreme poverty. She could not pay her rent. Uh, she had to be put out of the place where she stayed. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so she then tried to stop with her brother, you know, one thing to another. Yeah, so uh, there, there, there was this, there's this gentleman who said he knows her. He knows her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, we just have to be compassionate towards her. Uh, Stanton, welcome to the show. And, and how you doing? Um, it's, it's sad to me, really. I, I didn't get a chance to actually follow it because, like I said, I've been extremely just preoccupied with other things. But, you know, where's our compassion? You see somebody, how you know they, they wish you, you, you must be able to fly upstairs or up there for you to know that somebody witch. 
you know, somebody's a witch. And yeah. it's just, we got to stop that. We have to stop that. I mean, maybe she fell on hard times in her life. At least anybody could give, do it to give her a cup of water or just talk to her. But to be beating on somebody and saying that a witch, you saw the person fly at night. Or if, if she was, if she could fly, why would it be beating on her? And she, and she found her way to fly? Yeah. And, and, and that's the other side of it, you know, um, but 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 that's it, that 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 uh, is not the first time that they're registering. Recently, about a month ago, there was a similar situation um, in Carwell, where a lady again, according to the resident, uh, was flying and her plane crashed. Jesus. And so, and so she felt, and so they were rebuking her at the same time, taking her to the police station in, in similar structure, shape, or, or something like that. So. I don't know how they really determine as to whether someone is a witch or not, uh, but yeah. You know, and it's interesting. Somebody brought to my attention that a lot of the people who are witch, witches are women. But but that question is really, how do you determine if a person is a witch or not? And it was Tenton, come on in. You say you say you don't know that a witch is in high. You don't. And that's it. you say you don't know who determine whether someone are witch. Who know a yeah. witchcraft? No, who know a witchcraft? No witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we always say. Who know a witchcraft? No witchcraft. Then you know, it, 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 it's poverty. You know, yeah. people are. I think I'm hearing myself. I don't know. It's from you, Nelson. You know, but I think it's poverty. It, you know, it, it's it's poverty because people are poor. You know, they want to set a fire coal. The old man they want to. <laughs> the woman that want to set the fire cool and you know you can't tell somebody say look at how she get fire cool or oh, what she get chunk she wish crap when you know wish crap anything that happened in the dark it takes someone for in the dark to know you know if you believe it it's up to you you go to the medicine man see the making work miracle he can walk on water and i seen walking on water that your business you know it's poverty man Everybody that's saying somewhere that wish cry, they didn't say they wish cry. Oh, the person can cry like cat. You don't say go cry like cat. Have you ever lived in Noan Panton before you talk about wish cry? Sagon? Mm -hmm. So, the only thing I will tell you, uh, let's leave that story. Let's just pray for the old man. The people that pull, they, they want something to eat. Then somebody tell them, say, they, oh man, I wish crowd. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> uh, but how you doing, Dr. Richard? It's been five days since we we saw you on set. Are you all right? I'm fine. I just five days, right? I'm sorry. It's been five days, right? I don't even know. I don't. I I've been not keeping track of days, uh, Stanton. And then maybe it's been, it's been one week. Who know? Yeah. But I'm fine, you know, just keeping track of the children, daughters, you know how it is when you have four daughters, everybody's on spring break or, you know, the times are different, they have different personalities, you got to sort of touch in with everybody, the adults, by the way, besides the younger, the youngest will be 18 next week, Saturday, my wow. youngest daughter, yeah, she's on her way to college, but you still got to keep track of, you know, their life, that's the hardest time. I'm, I'm realizing being a parent is when they start going to college versus when they're when they're younger. That that's a good thing. We pray that she go and experience college life. You know, uh, I have two of my daughters that went through and they are still going through. You know, oh she God. got another four or five years to go. Oh. We got getting the data thing. You know, it's not easy. She's gonna get her master uh, at the end of this semester. Thank God for that, and that she's going to stay continue. Amen. But I'd like to think so. We we are blessed, you know. We in a place called America that everything come together. Everything, no, you know. No witchcraft can get you to doctor degree. No witchcraft can come. Hey, hey, hey witchcraft come. It's okay. And we also get a, you know, my other daughter who is not well. Now <laughs> she's in the ER. This thing about strep through going all around, and you know, you get. I told her, I said, listen, when we're small, we get burning our throat. Our old man will put pepper on the finger and put it in the throat and bust it. She get all burning her throat. I said, can I put pepper on my finger and bust it? She said, no. No. You said, no. 
She went, I said, go to your grandma, let your grandma do it. She said, no, the issue is that. It can hurt. Went, sister, forget that thing. She went to the ER, right? That's it. She went to the ER. They sent her back with Tylenol. The thing the Omar, I know the Omar will do, they will put pepper there, hmm. put that finger in your throat, boss it, and get you for food and suit to swallow. It fit it. Now the only medicine. I mean, but you go to the hospital back and forth for what? Then I go check. At no, least I, mean, I gotta go back. They put it that way. I go back. And I mean, say now, yeah, and I say now that you are go back, you'll be fine. Well, both, both, both medicine could so at least she hey, can, sister, she you take time off for fever. She can fall back on her grandma. You will take time off for fever. fever. But put pepper there and boss it. Then when they, you boss it, you will put the blood out. You will spit the blood out, right? Then you take the hot water, warm water, you put salt inside, you Google the back of your throat, you waste it. Then you get your hot pepper soup and fufu. Yeah. Then you go solo that for a feeling. It finished. That 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 strategy there. The person who poisoned it should be strong because if you're careful, your finger. <laughs> no, no, my man, you're not baby man. Nah, nah, no, you baby, then you worry about that. Then they will put the 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 the, the, the stick in your mouth too because you want bread. You bread the stick. So you it's put perfect. the finger in the churn, but they put stick on the side. They put it there, bust it. So they will not bite your finger. But that's the only medicine. That's hmm. the only medicine. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You get burn your throat, bust it. Put finger there and bust it. Into your thing around hold it, you go take tally law motoring, you go to put your antibiotics and that day and that day. Come on. Jesse, you are just strong, yeah. No, 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 Red yeah. pepper too, hard one. They will put small chicken soup there for you to taste, taste good for you. You will miss the pepper and the chicken soup. Ali will taste better. Oh. Yeah, somebody said, <laughs> Lena said a bad idea. That bad idea where? You know, you know, you know you're, 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 you're leaving our culture, our heritage, and run beyond yeah. you know, modern life medication that giving us complication. Well, you know, I'm not against it because these are not evidence based. But I'm saying to you, if you get night in your throat, you in Europe, you in America, you in Africa, find one of the old man and let the poor finger there. Fini. But your immune system was different than when you're in Anu Noah Phantom or whatever. Your immune system we're talking about, yeah? Your immune system different. If they get, if they get high immune system, what they get in, in the throat? If the immune system better, what not coming in the throat? That's, thing, big, you know, that's what they need. Let them take the antibody and let them have the other, the grandma. Antibody, antibody. The guy she got in there, let them take the antibody. You better go put, you better go put. What about the one if the, look, okay, we're waiting for the guys saying, we're not seeing for coming to them. Let me see this. What would the one if somebody break their legs? Then you gotta break the chicken legs and tie rope and work together. It can't work. So it can't work yet. Not all the time. So you go for therapy. Yeah, you gotta go for physical therapy. Your legs and brace and your whole coaches. If you anti before let me you leave the show, man. Talk about your antibiotic. Yeah, yeah. Antibody, I, you, antibody. Antibody. you see that? They put their foot can be deformed. Some people get sick. Some people pass out. All kind of different things can happen. To that's the richest thing. Do not forget. I, I understand you from New York. That's your heritage. But don't we Liberians we will not forget our heritage. Not because they took you to send you back to Liberia. Yeah. You were there. Yeah. No, you were born in New York and you went to Liberia. You were there up to age 13 and they brought you back here. We respect that. Thank God for you. Don't run away from it. Thank God for you. Don't run for it. No, I had an uncle oh, right. God bless you. Leg Liberia, and they took the chicken and broke it. They broke the chicken legs. They were treating him with, with country medicine, and he ended up dying. That's what you see. That man died because mm -hmm. they, they, made, they made the chicken. I, the chicken that <laughs> you supposed to be walking when you ate the chicken. You can't eat a chicken. <laughs> bring the chicken, let, let the chicken grow. If you eat a the chicken, then you eat it yourself. They broke the chicken leg, they take the chalk, they rub mm -hmm. it on your leg, and they rub it on the chicken. It's really good too. They banish your leg and they banish the chicken leg, right? Mm -hmm. That's the issue. As long as chicken live, 
and happy, you should be happy. If the chicken walk, you will walk. But you go eat a chicken, you're eating yourself because you had a chicken. <laughs> so to her uncle, her uncle ate a set. I'm saying he ate a chicken, he fed. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Richardson. <laughs> No, I'm, not I'm, not <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just not your uncle. I'm sorry. I oh, mean, your uncle. <laughs> but how your uncle feel that they say let the chicken walk, then you go eat a chicken? No, it is. So rest in peace, oh, but you go eat a chicken. Better. I don't know if it was because that the richest thing get it right through. The man ate a chicken, so he died. You know, that's that's. <laughs> Miss, let me just stop talking to you because. You know, <laughs> No man, the people don't talk about Wishka. You know Wishka. <laughs> you know Wishka. You know Wishka. Don Richardson, no pantom. Two at one o'clock in the morning, we're walking in no pantom darkness. Mm -hmm. The only thing you see, the coat just flying. Coat. We keep on walking. What kind of coat? After coat, nobody in the coat. The coat just flying. And I'm sure. Cool. Don Richardson will tell you. Then goosebumps just drop on you. Your body <laughs> trimming. Then yeah. some of you can in the name of the Father, the Son. And then we start with a year though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no. You're walking. You know when you ready to eat, the people that look at your food phone, it's not you pick up, you pick up the spoon to take the first spoon. The, the spoon just flat for your hand. It go in the air, it drop. That's not a cartoon. You say you're born in New York. You don't know that. You don't know that. So I think it may have caught to be to be flying that way. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> can call. <laughs> uh, anybody, anybody from New York. I took a bluey, that bluey cartoon. <laughs> listen, uh, listen. You guys that from where I'm from. <laughs> if you're from Saigon, no Panton, hmm? you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm. Tell them in the net, you're not supposed to walk. Mm. You don't know this thing. Then you're going to be some old man like, looking for uh, late money to go eat your beer or your car or witchcraft. You don't know this thing. I'm telling you. That prophetess doing an old man. Somebody so go and get her old man clothes, get her food, get her so That prophetess, that witchcraft. We pray for her. You don't know this thing. Witchcraft, see witchcraft, witchcraft, no. <laughs> We're walking in North Panton. We're moving, picking up moving. The old man will look at you in a day and then you say, You better start walking around late at night. But oh my, how you saw me walking around? We just telling you, Start walking around. The puppet will come to you. The they will say, Stop walking, walking around, around late at night. The old man, you can hear work on you. Not here where you don't know that's a richest thing. That not New York City that they can't sleep. You were born in New York City. Leave it there. We were born. We were born in La Biro. We were born. I was born behind MTA. Grew up in New Town. I know what I'm saying. Ask anybody from Saigon. Mm -mm. You see nothing yet. Mm -mm -mm. They all say night, they all say, oh yeah, the people there, they go be. You better leave that old man alone. That old man want to hurt. She want to eat. <laughs> so I say, still again, laugh. Listen, listen. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. I'm not lying. I grew up red point four. When you take the point four row, right? You go through and you're going through North Panton, go beyond Cali Hospital, that whole zoom. Channing Pape, that whole zoom, the late Channing Pape, that my zoom right there. From that point four row, so now you hear that place, go all the way beyond Cali Hospital. That whole area, my area. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, y'all can sit down, y'all say, yeah, but that thing. Hmm. Hmm. Well, where are we having? <laughs> I hope coat flying. <laughs> the coat. The coat with the flowers. <laughs> so when can we do that time? He used to wear coat. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you started at night, right? Ooh. And you we not open. The wind will just that the heavy chill coming your body. All your windows just closed. <laughs> I'm oh. telling you. Yeah. Wow. Then we used to come outside and start rebuking. <laughs> then in the night, yeah, yeah, the cat crying, meow, meow, meow. You go outside, you see no cat. Hmm. I don't need a team, man. Don't you want to mess with my old high head? Can't you know, I'll be talking about 
that the rich is eating mango plum under the tree that's something oh, because what we went through i can bring serena see for us now he can tell you about where he from Brooklyn jale new uh, sano county he in front of nobody not because of the law be a friend of serena see for us serena see for no what i'm saying is true ladies and gentlemen we made serena see for us the former sg we're going to talk about asset recovery. We're going to talk about economic crime court, war crime court. We're going to talk about everything, national issue. He been away for so long. He just got back from Europe. He was in room one thirteen. Is that the room to the Mar uh, Ro Ro Romanda Hotel? So you can be a I think that's the room. He went. He asked the people. He said, "I want to be in that room." And I asked him, well, what the letter that you brought with you? He said, but the room. Say, I can be there. I alone. I'm supposed to bring anybody with me. But I said, we're not change the law. You can bring anybody now with you. Is that what he said? How you know the law? Yeah. No, the room. The, the, the hotel people told him that they changed the law. He can oh. bring somebody now. For it was only one person allowed in the oh. room. What kind of hotel we allow one person? <laughs> But we got so many updates for you folks as we wait for the rest of the team to join us. Uh, Serena Sema Seifos, the former Solicitor General, will be our guest tonight. It's very, very serious for you to come and listen. Remember now, Serena Seifos and Arthur Johnson uh, took on the tags given to them by then President George Manner. We had 2018, 2019 to set up the first asset recovery. That whole thing broke down. That whole thing broke down. Why we don't know, we will be speaking to Serena, but it has some names on the list. What become of those names? Who created as who brought about asset recovery? Serena, see if I say he's gonna take the glory, it was because of him. We're gonna talk about national issue, folks. We're gonna go back to standing for at the FIU. We got receipt in our possession that standing for again. Order some people to take some money. I don't know why they're keeping him that. I don't know why Bama Kamara, as chairman of the board, why is he keeping Stanley for? I think he should be suspended pending the investigation with all the allegations. So the House of Representatives sent for him and he asked that he should come next week or on Thursday. Everybody he's running from them. Spoon sent for him to talk to him. And he's running from Spoon. Another big discovery at the Freeport of Morovia, folks. Another big discovery. What's going on with the Freeport? And lastly, on this thing, the turning position today, the Justice in Chamber, Justice Kabar, rule on different cases involving EPA, LTA, good governance. We want to update you. What become of oil? And we get some document from LTA about the, the confirmation, the certificate here and there. A lot of errors. So share the program, folks. Find us on Spoon. Find us on YouTube. Let's have fun. It will be very, very important for you to share the program. And we said something yesterday during our closing. I want to remind everybody we'll be speaking on it today. Where are you for 2029? If everything remains constant, I know 2029 is 100 years to come. We'll be naming a few senators that have desires to run. And we want to ask you, Liberians, your take on them and their performance today. We want to ask you, you know, Yombi Kanga Lawrence, Amara Conan, Speaker Fonati Kofa, you know, all these guys. Then we want to put in the list again, uh, Nathaniel McGill. From the CDC, if George were coming, if all these things are if, if why can't say I'm not running? Something is happening, folks. We want to open your eyes to it very early. Are we done with the appointment yet? The appointment over now. Can we talk about good governance? Uh, we are happy to tell you that in it all. We love to have you always, and we say thank you for joining us. Bond. Dr. Richardson, let's hear you. Well, the joke's over. Well, let's hear where you are. It's going to be three more minutes. We'll bring in Serena Seifers at 5 o'clock, 9 o'clock, Liberian time. 
and then we will we'll discuss the issue. Let me remind everybody, a couple of stuff that the rich is saying, we have the tip of the president, Jose Yima Boyka. Today is the 12th, on the 12th of March, President Boyka declared in two weeks that we should have the report on the protest of the army's wife. You remember that? Mm -hmm. And he said we he declared an investigation two weeks. It's been one month. So they make it one month. Yeah. One month. So they make it one month. We have heard nothing. The investigation took place. Momo Cyrus headed the investigation, Senator Momo Cyrus from Lofi. He presented his finding to Kofi Woos, who is the National Security Advisor, to Yombri Kanga Lawrence, who is the pro tem. They say it's a classified investigation by nothing what am i looking at nothing it's just an empty investigation and we'll dig into it uh, so i mean the investigation put the government in a position that uh they cannot even speak to the investigation uh, doing the investigation they spoke to the former chief of staff prince C. johnson who was nominated to be the defense minister they spoke to former defense minister zanka they spoke to the current defense, acting defense minister, current chief of staff. They spoke to people that we know. And everything that was said, the government is in a position to tell the Liberian people the outcome of that investigation. But the investigation is vague, it's nothing. It's the same thing. The same complaint the army wife talk about. And you know, the low salary, the poor living condition, the recruitment and promotion, and all the no electricity, no school, no everything. So it's just an empty investigation. We'll share it with you folks. We'll share it with you. Dr. Richardson, you want to speak? We got about one more minute and we'll bring in Serena Sima Seaforce. Yeah, you know, I started off just being concerned about the lady who people are accusing of being a witch. Uh, I, I hope that we can strengthen our legal system so that all of the people who were beating on her, taunting her, and it should be arrested. And secondly, uh, this is not the first time, you know, people are doing this to a woman. A lot of times women get attacked, uh, you know, they get violated. So I, I really want the legal system to be strengthened and to look at issues like this. People who turn each other and take the law into their own hands should be uh, taken to the law, should feel the weight of the law. I'm looking forward to us talking about all of the topics. I'm looking forward to us talking about all of the topics that you mentioned today, as a recovery. I'm also wondering what's going on with Stanley Ford. Uh, I, I want to hear more about the Freeport, the firing that happened, and the writs that were issued relating to the people who were tenured. So once we hear more about what Jessica about had to say about those tenure, issue, those tenure appointees or people who are still in their jobs, uh, then, then I, I'll be able to give an opinion on my, my, my thoughts. But um, let's let's see. Let's let's rock and roll and, and see Serena Sifas come in. Thank you very much. Let's bring in Serena Simon Sifas, uh, the former SG, uh, Musa Dean, brother and friend. Welcome yeah. to the show. Uh, uh, Councilor Serena Sifas, my dear friend. It's always good to have you. I chase you when you were in Europe, couldn't get you. And I understand you are in a restricted zone. Uh, Ramanda can only have one person at a time in a bedroom, so you couldn't answer. But welcome to the show, sir. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Um, I like the introduction. You said Musa, the friend and brother. Um, the father that's he attended Totma High School, and I also attended Totma High School. So, in effect, we are brothers uh, from Totma High. We, we always been brothers, but we have uh, divergent views on a number of issues. First, it's a pleasure to be on your show, as always. And thank you for the opportunity. Um, I'm ready for the discussion. Um, the issue is asset recovery and, and the war and economic crimes court. Um, it's good that you have somebody who um, actually have worked in that direction for many years. I was in Europe and I was in Russia. I was at the African Court for on Human and People's Rights and at the East African Court of the Community Court of Justice. The first West African lawyer to appear before the court and to file in that court what they called a statement of reference 
in our jurisdiction, we call it the application or the petition, but in their area, they call it the statement of reference. I was ably assisted by the court and other people. It was like they copied the librarian civil procedure law word for word and we added different different uh, chapters. So so when I, when they talk about it, I knew exactly what they were talking about. But I'm back. I am I'm due back in May. And I mean again travel back to the, to Europe in June. So uh we Thank can you. now start a discussion. I'm ready. I'm at your discussion. All right. Thank you very much, Councillor. So uh, first of all, uh, as you know, yeah, first of all, as you know, we're going to be very, 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 very strong coming to you. Uh, can you just update us yeah. on the diamond issue? That is a sad thing, but I want to okay. brush that off. Update us on the diamond yeah. issue, sir. I returned to the country specifically to attend the opening ceremony of the Supreme Court Monday. And I attended the opening ceremony of the Supreme Court on Monday because we are now in a March term of court. So um, that matter, they announced an appeal to the Supreme Court on the March term of court, even though they sold the diamond and they distributed the money. But I think the government of Liberia should not stay in the way because first and foremost, the money, the money generated from the diamond was never placed in escrow account. There was never a public auction. The court has ruled and said the diamond should be brought back to the court. So we're working on um, uh, processes to be able to criminally come after the criminals involved in the theft of this diamond. So that is a matter because they announced an appeal to the Supreme Court. But the Liberian government as an institution or a agency, they have never really benefited from the proceeds of the sale of the diamond. So that we want to leave it aside because the matter we are now about to pursue it as of today, I was working on some instruments and I want to share with my senior counsel, my professor from law school. And he said that was a brilliant idea. So the demo case is alive. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you very much. Uh, so therefore, the stay hope, right? You said they ate the yeah. money. Who ate the demo? Yes, Who ate hope. the demo money? Who ate the demo money? Musa didn't stole the demo. Musa didn't stole the demo and sold it together with uh, Gessler Murray. They admitted on your show. We got your copy of your show. We got where he admitted. We recorded it. We have it on, on video. We part of the compelling evidence in the event where we decide to sue civilly, we'll introduce in court. So there'll be no denial. We got all the instrument that were used, the fake instrument that were used to sell the diamond. They, pl they place it on different person, diamond lesson. We get all that in our possession. And they admitted that they sold the diamond. So it makes our case very easier for you us. You call him Musa Dane name. I know we get Colonel Gray here. We have Dr. Richard saying, uh, I'm Jamama is here. The rest of the guys will be coming. I want to be very soft because yeah. we're going to get into the asset recovery. You call him Musa Dane name. You say he stole the diamond here and guess Lamar Morris. That's a direct hit on the I character and the person. I repeated, I repeated that over and over and over and over again. There's a court ruling. You say the demo is for government, you know. Uh, you know, each time I don't want to go into I, this. I, I, sorry, I'm uh, sorry, uh, 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 Councillor, hold on one minute. Nelson, there's no sound on the radio, Nelson. No, they, they, we're good here. We're good. Everything. Yeah, is the folks say there's no sign. Just double check, please. Uh, uh, go ahead, Councillor, please. All right. You know, I don't like the Musa Din thing. You got dealt with it the last time, but because you brought it up, the if there are procedures in which the court can dispose of properties believed to be the properties of the Republic, one, there will be a court order, there will be a judgment consisting with due process. When that is done, there will be a public option. That public option, people will go out of here and there, the money that will be generated will be placed into government account. If you say the demo for the government of Liberia, you went to court, you had a little right up, somebody calling himself Solicitor General went to court and said the demo for the government of Liberia. And then while the matter was pending in court, you sold the demo. After selling the demo, what did you do with the money? The money was never placed in government account. There was never a public auction. The court has already ruled and made a determination on this matter. So all we're going to do now is uh, they announced an appeal. Now, if there was a facade, we want to inform the new administration of the, the Justice Ministry that 
The government of Liberia, in our opinion, did not benefit from this sale of the diamond. So what they need to do, they just need to issue a disclaimer or an investigative matter and turn over these people to all and leave them with us. We will get them with the law, the very law, we'll use the law. And the court pass on all of the issues we raise, all of the issues we raise. The same thing I'm saying that what the court said. The court said, if you were, if your driver license expire, for example, for a vehicle, that expiration does not automatically divest your ownership right in, from that property. So let's assume, let, let's take his argument, even though the, the, the letter was poorly written, but let's take his argument at face value and say, the people letting it expire. Does that in itself constitute a waiver of their right in the diamond? Absolutely no. Assuming that was the condition, was they done consistent with due process? Were they given the opportunity to be heard? You know? If so you Musa, day, Musa, day, we have to, Musa Day and Guest of Marriage, those former ministers, we have to go to court. We'll go after them. We'll go after, oh, we'll go after them. They are not new. Anywhere to go, we'll go after them. We're just waiting. We try he to was your drive. boss, though. He was your boss, man. Yeah. He no. was your boss. But if my boss still you say me, I can't go after him. The issue is now. you saying that Musa then stole the diamond? Musa did against the never deny it. I'm I'm not saying, I don't but I said I, I reduced it into writing even at my in my in the exchange of pleading. It's on record. It's on record. Wow. You know, the last time, the last time when I said it something here, then Musa didn't send a text to USA. Don't master Junior Sifa, he wants to be like me. And you know, he's envious of me, he wants to be like me. And I ask you a question. I'm five feet nine. The man is five feet two. I want to be like that. I want to reduce myself to that level. I said that same thing the last time. It was a laughter here. For me, that is beyond us because I think yeah. let's look at substantive issue. Yeah, thank you. I just think there's an update. Uh, new, right tag, uh, you know, yeah, you know, I just there's an update. Kind of you know, skunk. We used to treat this to see from people and making a subject matter discussion here. I don't want to waste my time on this kind no, of No, no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. I mean, it just fair to give us update on the Dharma, you know. The Dharma worth almost 12, 13 yeah, million yeah. United States dollars. So, you know, if yeah, you... I if communicated you, with my say, client. Yeah. So let's talk I about the asset recovery. Dr. Richardson... Yeah, I'm down to send, uh, send the emissary. The med Thank you. Dr. Richardson, uh, uh, Jamama Wodo Kori, former Deputy Minister, Colonel Ed Remy Gray. It's good. Let's go into the conversation today. But, you know, seeing Serena Seafoss, you got to get everything out of this counselor or else you'll lose a lot. So we have to squeeze him and squeeze him very yeah, hard. To, if, if, you come to, if you come to if you come to the war crime court, you need to get your constitution with you. You have your library constitution that is like this, that giving you a hard time, you need to get it with you. Because, okay. Uh, because the issue of the war crime court, uh, you were toying with Iran, they did not start with work, start with it. Uh, President Boaka. President Boaka is simply implementing what past government have initiated. So okay, that's fine. We we're going to start with the asset recovery. We're going to we're going to start with the asset recovery, right. sir, because the war crime code we were talking about it. What I did today, I, I printed some of your your records. You, Councillor Seaforce, uh, yeah. yeah. bring us up to speed when you were serving as SG. And the president brought in Arthur Johnson, Councillor Arthur Johnson. And you guys ran with this in asset recovery issue. Uh, help us understand, Councillor, where are we? Give us overview. You had lists of individuals. No, uh, and I will, I will finish with this mm -hmm. one. You had lists of individuals. Mm -hmm. You have now the sitting Bopodu Senator, Amara Kone. You have Brian Samukar and other folks. That you guys had long list. What happened? Bring us thank up you. to speed. Um, thank you. When uh, when the government was inaugurated on the twenty second of January, twenty eighteen, and then the government started to look around for resources with the objective of uh, developing the country, that obviously landed. In the introduction of Alton and the debacle, you know, you read it, you follow the Alton debacle and the and the and the two meaning you know social and economic imbalances that follow and the crisis and and and, and, and the claims and counter claims here and then everything you know 
did not materialize. I, I was then at the Ministry of Agriculture because I studied every degree and everybody knows that. Everybody knows that I studied agriculture and my agronomics, the soil training. So I was at the Ministry of Agriculture and then there was, the government decided to send me to the, to the Ministry of Justice and Solicitor General and Chief Prosecutor of the Republic. Uh, I accepted the challenge. When I went to the Ministry of Justice, obviously there was nothing there except that the Solicitor General consisting with uh, the new executive law, you know, Act 212, to be going to the Supreme Court to be prosecuting and defending actions brought against the government of Liberia by parties is a the government itself, whichever way. So I was sitting and then thinking what needed to be done to assist the government to generate resources and which area would be very much you know, central that would be void of and be able to look for the requisite resources to be able to support the government national development agenda. So they had arrived at the conclusion that there was a need for asset recovery because this country had bled and continued to bleed from massive theft, social economic imbalances and waste, mismanagement of public funds, all the kind of thing. So I then said, what well, I will set a benchmark. I will start from 1950 to 2002. That was the benchmark attack. So I work on the idea of an asset recovery and I call it asset investigation, restitution, recovery, and recovery team, ARET. So ARET was my idea of contributing to the national development of the agenda of the government since the government had, had the, the, the exercise with Alton had not materialized. So I then had to look for a very qualified and competent lawyer who will be brave. I look among the team of lawyers that I would uh, that was in the practice of law at that time and even now. And I saw uh, because I was looking at my being crafted but not brave and needed somebody to be brave and I would develop the idea to be. so I drew uh, a list of lawyers and Arthur Johnson was selected. So I brought Arthur Johnson and made the prosecutor, chief prosecutor of the asset recovery and investigation team. And the objective was one, to assist the government locate all stolen funds from 1950 to 2002, work with international partners, and ensure, even with the US government, the FBI specifically, and ensure that funds that have been that will be identified brought to Liberia purely not into the national budget, but for development purposes. Based on that, I knew the object and purpose of the asset recovery would be taken serious if it transcended the appointment, the issue appointment transcending the Liberian perimeter. So you don't need to have only Liberians on the asset recovery team, but you needed international experts. So I went on the website, on the uh, Google, uh, Google uh, uh, a number of institutions to see which one was leading, had the expertise and they have asset monitor, asset recovery monitor and intelligence sources because I am a member of the, of the International Association of Prosecutors of the world. So we have asset recovery, the United Nations, some of the honor that they have a team of crack lawyers. But I needed an institution that has a track record globally and respected. And so when I did that, I formed Grant Thornton LLP of UK. And at that state, at that state is versatile and vested with knowledge in asset investigation. <clears throat> the other guy, they are, they are qualified, experienced in asset identification, you know, in, uh, 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 asset identification and recovery. So asset recovery is into, I think, three parts. Let me tell you, you have asset investigation, asset monitoring, and asset recovery. And in each of the three branches are you talking about, you need to have qualified and experienced uh, individuals. So what we decided to do was uh, to, to identify somebody with the knowledge who will serve as global lead counsel, what I'm now doing for ADESA. Now, to have 
a person who will serve as global leader. So we needed to find somebody who was duly certified and qualified and vetted and listed by the National Criminal Court. Because if you go that in Europe, for example, and you take your basic card, send it to your colleague, when they see you, they must see you as equal. Then we do was that we needed to have somebody who was a certified and certified member of the criminal bar and the European fraud and complying lawyer group. When we checked, when I checked the listing, there was no African who was listed there. So the first African ever, you can go to their website ever to have applied, to have been admitted based on recommendations from country and from Professor Philly Izembe, the bank deterred was Serena Cephas. And on what basis? Because of other cases I handled. So what they did for my vetting the admission, they sent people quietly to Liberia to go to the Supreme Court of Liberia to assess to see the quality of cases. They were not interested in what, what happened there. So I was the first African that was admitted to the European Criminal Bar. First Liberian admitted to the International Criminal Court. First Liberian African to be admitted to the European Fraud and Crime Lawyer Group. You can go on the website, you will see it there. So then I said, well, we cannot make a forest. So what I will do is that now that I identify Ato, he's very hardworking. So what I will do is I ask the president of the bar at that time, Matt. I said, Matt, since I'm a senior lawyer, you people admitted me as a senior lawyer, do I have the authority to recommend anybody from Africa or the European bar? He said, yes, you can do it, but we have to look at the credential. So I recommended Arthur Johnson. In less than 45 minutes, they agreed. Arthur submitted all his documentation. He was admitted. He was admitted as European criminal lawyer, European fraud and compliant lawyer. He then applied because it was a little process getting to the ICC cycle. It's very tedious. So I asked him to go to the RCCBA, which we funded. All the lawyers, we funded the RCCBA, which is a bar to the RCC. So Arthur Johnson applied to the RCCBA. He was accepted. So then, based on these qualifications and credentials, we then agreed that we were now partner because they gave out instrument that, look, as long as you're attending the bar convention, you pay your bar due here and then yeah, participate in the activity we, of the bar. Can, can, can we, can we get into this too, right? Yeah, I, I know, but can counselor, counselor, counselor. I'm, I'm late. Yeah. 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 Counselor, you know you laid that premise before. Yeah, what, we but, understand that before. Yeah, I'm so, telling you, I'm telling you how we were, how we were, I was doing that the basis so you know how we were becoming successful. So when we were already listed in this we heard that before. We, we heard that before. Yeah, Grant yeah, Tonton. Yeah. When Grant Tonton brought it, heard that. Councillor Grant Tonton, uh, he gone gone, and we we understand all of that. Grant Tonton is a big, 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 uh, uh, you know, a worldwide, <laughs> you know, multi-billion company. What do you want? What do you want? I want us to come home. What I want us to leave. I want us to leave Euro yeah, and Grant Tonton for, yeah, for a bit. Yeah. No. Let. Yes, so let me ask the question now. I want us to come home and understand ourselves. President Joseph Yima Buaka had an executive order he declared. I think it's 126 executive order about asset recovery. Do you think under these conditions and many other conditions, those appointed by the president, those names, Claire Edward Martin, uh, Alex Coffey, the rest of them, do you think they would deliver that those group would they are the best to bring back the Liberian people money and confiscate property legally? Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. I was trying to lay the premise that asset recovery is divided into three categories. So you just the asset recovery. We were able to identify and dissect that asset investigation, asset identification, and asset recovery. Now the people you appointed, they appointed to what category were they appointed? Just say asset recovery or asset retrieval. So I was telling you the qualification you need to have to be to this place. Because when you call somebody, for example, let's assume you want to arrest somebody in Europe. You send your you send an information, the 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 chair send an information. They will first 
they want to know who the person they go to their website they go to the place say, who is this person they see they say oh yeah this is wonderful but which area do you want i don't dispute their qualification it is my, not my business you know they have political appointments they have qualification appointment regime in political appointment start on you always on my side so if I want to me, I say, okay, I saw be minister of information. I can do it at political appointment. I'm not going to go through all the kind of thing. But as a recovery, it's in three segments. Which section are they heading? Is it investigation or identification or recovery? So I was trying to tell you when when we amass all the qualifications we needed, when we sought out whichever institution we sought out, they came because they knew they were dealing with people of that level. We went to New York, the biggest law firm, downtown Manhattan, Dwayne Murray LLP, 850 lawyers. They sent their most senior lawyer who was former, former, uh, 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 state prosecutor in New Jersey. And they sent another person who was an FBI agent who came to Liberia. So it's the quality of persons, is the role, the division. After, after was the lead counsel, the lead counsel. So if Arthur pick up the phone, for example, today if you ask Arthur, you Arthur pick up the phone and call anybody in Grand Taunton. Grand no, Taunton are these people are, are these people qualified, counselor? Identification. Can, can, counselor, counselor, you know Clark Edward Martin, you know Alex Coffey. Let's start with both we, of them. We, we have which category? Is it recovery? Is it identification? Or is it monitoring? But you tell us. You write the executive orders. You is it tell us. recovery? You read the executive order. The president you tell us? First, I applaud the president. Yeah, listen, I have not read it, but I think what it, I think is a is a welcoming idea to have an executive order. In our case, we never had executive order. I think this one is great. The only thing we need the personnel, we need to expand it to give it the kind of legitimacy is required, both locally and internationally, to be able to do what they want to do. Executive order I have not read. In our case, there was no executive order. So first, I want to congratulate government. I want to congratulate the government of Liberia for, for conceiving the idea that I have actually developed and left behind. This is mine. This is my child. As a recovery, is mine. Since 1847, no government. And because of the quality of persons we have in the asset recovery, Joshua even came forward and said he wanted to submit himself to an investigation. Do you know that? He had thought that it was because when you saw the quality of we saw the team. Yeah. Thank you very much. Any Dr. Richard Slade, uh I could agree, uh Minister Wood Cody. Let's cut in with our own question. Dr. Richardson. Yes, Mr. Sipa. Um, yeah. yeah, um, I, I'm hearing that you have done a lot of research in this area. Uh, would you be able to name a few persons who you believe stole Liberian Liberia people money? They are in Liberia, they have built property. Would you be able to name a few of those and or a few of those Liberians who inappropriately uh, uh garner Liberian people money and uh, they're in Europe? Would you be able to do that for us today? No, listen, listen, thank you very much. You know, that's the kind of thing in most cases it turned out to be a wish hunt. For example, we were able to freeze $8 million in Great Britain and went to court. You needed a quality of presence, not just on the basis of suspicion, but you needed asset monitoring, asset identification, and then the asset recovery team. In the case of the $8 million, there was careful analysis and monitoring of the activities of individuals who were claiming that the $8 million government government was giving charity. In this case, I'm not going to, be, and I'm not in the position I won't be able to call and say this person was there because they're selling to the corporate press. So most times, most of the people who knew were listed were just people of interest. It would not mean that they were obviously, you know, guilty of, of theft or, or massive corruption. They were just invited as people Stop. of interest or listed as people of interest that we needed to clarify certain things from them. So they, it was oh, not in the same the It was not done consistent with due process. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I, I thank you that you don't want to indict anybody, but you are telling me today, and this well, is not a question. Me. I don't want to indict anybody because there was no investigation. There were yeah. just people of interest. It the makes sense. Of people of interest doesn't mean that you're guilty. Yeah. It makes sense, yeah. but you are telling us today that there, right. there's eight, $8 million out there that Liberian that 
like you're doing it as a charity is that what i just heard you say i said we managed to freeze eight million united states dollar six pound six million pounds that the some some dubious guy claimed was a money that the the library government was trying to give in charity and because we had the quality and expertise in asset monitoring investigation identification it was able to identify that the money came from liberia and went to mm -hmm. court the civil law court had given a judgment that judgment and a postie was placed on the ministry of foreign affairs and submitted to the british government this government is on our obligation to go and collect that money the only condition for which we didn't get the money was whether the money will come to national budget or here and there the condition was if the money will come to Liberia, we should identify a project. So all the government needs to do is to just follow up on that. That's so, part of our work. So your advice to this government is to write a letter to Great Britain for the money? Or somewhere in Europe? To follow that on that. First, get the, make sure you get a copy of the judgment. Get the mm -hmm. involved. Get the, the ambassador in London involved. Well, if you have one. I don't know what is the situation like. Get the ambassador involved, get it and dead involved, and you follow on that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh Kala Gray, and then we'll go to Angie Mama. You know, uh Council, uh, you're an accomplishment. But I refuse to accept the fact that um only two people from an entire country can be admitted into the European bar or whatever whatever association you are part of that, you know, uh, that, that, that was part of the um, asset recovery, identification, and so on and so forth. I refuse to accept that. Wouldn't you agree that um, these are application to these bodies are open to anybody pretty much? and and the only time you will not be granted um, entry is because you have not applied. Would you agree? Oh, it looks like the counselor having internet issues. I like Bill talking about maybe. That's true. Let me <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like Bill talking about it's, it's so difficult to live there, madam. But, um, you know, um, I think uh, each and every individual who comes here, you know, continues to talk about uh, this being a very good start. And um, only a certain generation of Liberians will always come here with that, with that mentality that not, nothing will work or nothing works for our country. And some of us refuse to, be, to form part, either because some of those people are part of a bigger conspiracy uh, whether it's the uh, the like of um, our brother, uh, Mr. Jackson, or the other day we had, um, um, you know, Komne Wisa, I still believe that not because things did not work within their generation, it will not work for us. We cannot be the only country where, where anything you touch, you, you set off to do, they'll say, oh, that won't work. That pessimism, it's exactly why we're not thriving as a country. And that's why some of us refuse to accept that. Not because it did not work with um, predecessors of, um, of um, you know, President Baker, so it will not work today. I, 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 I refuse to accept that narrative. Thank and you. that's just me. I don't know if anybody else comes with that, with that optimism. Thank you, Kodakri. Let's go to uh, uh, Mama, Minister. Rukali, how are you doing? It's good to see you today. I miss, I miss you on the show. Yes, yes, yes. How are you doing? I'm fine. You? Good, good, good. So you heard you heard what uh, Councillor Sifa was saying and about this asset recovery business. He used to, that's his brainchild. What do you think? What do you think you're based on what you heard him say? Well, for me, um, you know, Councillor Sifa is highly qualified. Also like the panel that the president has set up, they are also highly qualified. And I'm very optimistic that this panel that was set up by all the commission that was set up by President JMB 
we do a very fantastic job. Mm -hmm. We are not joking here. You see, that's why I always tell people, the JMB that I know, Uncle Joe, he does not talk much. He's the talk and do. He says something, he's quiet, he's just moving. You know, the snail just moving slowly, but the snail knows exactly where it's going. So the president is not talking. He's not here to be making speeches every day. And before he makes any appointment, he make he makes sure that he put things into place. He, he does his own due diligence and everything. So the partner that or the commission that the president has set up, they're going to do a great job because they are serious minded people who know exactly what they want. It's not about sympathy here. We're not going to be sympathizing with people, whether you're my friend, you're not my friend. That's not what it's all about. And the only problem I got with my brother, um, Serena, is that I, I wasn't too sure that Serena was going to actually, even though he's qualified, he was going to actually have that opportunity to be able to um, recover all the monies that the past government officials have stolen. I wasn't too sure whether you're going to have that opportunity to do it. Now that he can't do it, he can't do the work. But he wasn't, they were not going to give him the opportunity to do it. Now, the difference here is that this commission, this is a new government, new dispensation. We're not going to come to your title, whether you minister, whether you're the president of the, uh, uh, your brother of the president, JMB, whether you're the daughter, or whether you're a friend of JMB. We're not going to be looking at that. This commission is going to go strictly by the book. So, Councillor Sifa has to um, give the president that credit. You know, I am very optimistic. I know it's going to happen. We're not going to take friendship, no friendship, strictly by the book. So I have so much confidence in this uh, uh, in this um, commission that the president has set up. And if the C4 wants to join, from what I see, all the delivery he did, he, he's saying his qualification, what he has done, what he can do, and all of that. If you want to join, I mean, hey, now what, brother, now? We all know that you suffer in the end. You work, you took all the bad deals. You stood for them. You did all the dirty work for them. You understand? Because they were your friends, and you trusted in the president. But mm -hmm. you see what it did in the end? They mm -hmm. pulled the mat from under you. So we understand your predicament. So if you want to join, brother uh, Cephas, just let the president know. I'm sure maybe they can bring you on board to join that team to make it work. The only thing we say to you, when it comes to CDC, you will not be partial and you are not going to be uh, a, a segregative where you will be picking and choosing. No, that's so, the only thing. Yeah, and you know, Thanks for saying that, uh, Angie Mama. But you know, something that uh, Councilor Seifer said here today, I I kind of had this intuition that there were money that belongs to Liberia out there, maybe some in Europe, some in America, different parts of Africa, and blah, blah, blah. So um, I was kind of alarmed when he said that there's $8 million at least, okay, out there for Liberia, and it takes maybe the president to write a letter or maybe set up a team to go and bring that money because Lord knows that we can use that money in Liberia. So I, I was just, you know, I wanted to know your thoughts on, on, on that uh, color gray. Oh, welcome back, Serena Cephas, uh, Councilor Cephas. Councilor Cephas, can you hear us? Are you there? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you can, care. Okay. Can I make yeah. a little clarification on a number of issues? Sure, please do. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Can I make a clarification yes. on a number of issues? You can you hear yes. me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, yes. please Look, do. Make I a did not, I did, yeah, I did not discredit the president. I will never discredit the president. I think it's a welcome idea to copy my to, to copy my idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I did not discredit the president. I will never discredit the president. I think I must applaud the president for copying my idea. I developed asset recovery and for the government to pick it up and make it a national agenda. I appreciate. Number two, 
I did not discredit the appointees. I was only a bit confused as to whether this is asset identification, asset monitoring, and. Oh, we lost the collective. Oh, uh, uh, let me just come in. I, I didn't say that he discredited the committee or discredited the commission. I didn't say that. I just say I have implicit confidence in this commission that the president set up. And I know they're going to do a great job. I did not say that he discredited the, uh, the, the commission or something like that. No, I didn't say that. And concerning the $8 million, Dr. Richardson, we yeah. got more money out there. I'm now, sure. I want, yes, I want to ask you a question. This, the limited time that you were serving as the asset discovery uh, head, mm -hmm. how much did you people, how much did you people uh, recover and um, how much did you put recover besides the eight million dollars? I want to believe there are much more money out there than what he's saying. So when he comes back, let him tell us how much did he recover and how much more he knows about that will benefit Liberia, that he knows about that he can pass that information on to the government. So yes, I that's a that's a good question, uh, Sister Mama. Uh, I also want to know what's how about how how much do we have in Liberia? The properties and all of the money that people have in Liberia that they kind of, uh, you know, took inappropriately. So I, I want to know more about that as well. Uh, Councilor, you're back and Stinton is back. So Stinton, you can go back to monitoring. Lila, you coming from Thank Ethan? Huh? Lila, you coming from Ethan? You just looking at Mafia? Yes. No, no, no. I'm having a, I'm having a, 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 a very, very. Food to eat too. No, I'm having a classified briefing. No, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Am I, am I on now? Yeah, Councilor, no, you on? You on, Councilor? Okay. This, this is this is a clarification. This is a clarification I wanted to make. I. I did not discredit the president. I applauded the president. Echo, Can I okay. clarify? Yes, it's clarified. Well, consider your internet, man. Your internet is so bad. I said, oh, welcome to the show. We're going to be having a wonderful program today, like we said before. I was just having a classified briefing with a couple of utensils, and you know, fork, spoon, plate, and everything there. In it was so classified that I had to, I cannot debrief. All right. So I want to say to everyone, let's then get back on track. As a door, I think you'll get the best internet in the country, man. What's going on, with Councillor Stephens? Well, is the is the rescue is the, is the rescue internet? So it said because you were wearing red, you kept calling me to wear red. I don't understand. This is not rare. This is not rare. I think you are having well, some color. Yeah, red. When I I know it's now in K one. I didn't do do color. Is it orange? Is it green? Oh yeah. You are having some color. You having some color blindness. This is not red. <laughs> But it's nice to be on. It's nice to be on. Thank you. Minister as always, I believe you received the first phone call you're waiting for. And I think that you'll be fully supporting Joseph Ivan Barca agenda moving forward. <laughs> it's time to announce on the show. Congrats to you. You receive your phone call. We'll leave you like that. Uh, that's by what people will we say. We always okay. support the president's agenda of the country. We always support good things. Let, let, let me frank. I said, don't tell me that time I tell you. I was on the phone call. So don't play around. We always support. I've, I've received many phone calls. Many I told you that I was going to announce it, so don't do that to me. But it's good to have you. Ain't you no know, supporting <laughs> Joseph. Okay, I said, go shop. I said, tell huh? What kind of job? I said, where is I said, going? I just I said, there will be a consultant. So, consulting for what department? We cannot we cannot go into it because we, I we, consult we, for we, Liberia. I consult for Liberia. Oh, that will be really okay. You ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Why are you ready? Are you ready? I mean, I want to know the good news. <laughs> no, we got to go to the good news. For Liberia, all of Liberia, including... Uh, you know, all of Liberia, like that I said. Well, Dr. Richards, yeah. let me do the talking now. Let me help you. Right, go ahead. Yeah, please, let me go help ahead. you. Go ahead. I said, we're not answer you. But I can now declare, like I did before, declare and say, yes, President Joseph Baga won the election. I can now declare. That if the dust settle in the next couple of weeks, as said, do will receive his first consultant contract. I don't <laughs> think it's a bad idea. 
<laughs> I really can, can agree. I don't think it's a bad idea because this is the Liberia we all went fighting for. What are mm -hmm. you from Unity Party? You from CDC? You from even CPP? Even Mr. Comis, we're getting job. You know, that the registry refused the offer. The order to make her minister, she said no. Okay, I can't announce it because go. she said no. Can agree your name is on the short list to serve on this <laughs> asset recovery. We we know that. You'll be working <laughs> from here. So everyone that come on spoon will have a way in this government, regardless you own spoon or not. This is Don't let people bigger. be calling you all this and go on spoon, I'll go on spoon. <laughs> Be given if anybody see acid dough for brand new car. If anybody see acid dough, you know, listen, I'm happy. When, 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 when I was on that car, I was so happy today. I said, Hey, thank God for acid dough. Uh, I said, It's here, son. No, I mean, acid dough have done extremely well. I think, I mean, you will serve this government better. You ever serve uh, George Brown, we are government. The, the CDC government don't want to take care of acid dough. He buy his own internet. He uh, come on the show every day. It been two months, going to three months. Uh, no fuel for his generator. And oh, this is how, um, Aunt Jemima, you're in Liberia, you know how it is. So if acid dough show his willingness to serve in this government, who are we? Look at Stephen Johnson is even happy, you know? Acid Doe, you are welcome. Steven Johnson, welcome you. Mo Ali, welcome you. Did you see how Acid Doe was talking to Mo Ali yesterday? He was very, very calm. Did you see how he spoke to uh, Patrick, what's his name? Uh, the IG, uh, George, and, you know, Koma. Uh, he was very, very calm. Everybody from Unity Party come on the show, Acid Doe, we celebrate them because he know men got to eat. Men got to eat. Angie Mama, talk to us. You in Labro, talk to us. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. You saying something? I said, I hope I said, will not be a spy for CDC. That's all. I don't have a problem with them giving him a job, but you should know his place. The hand that feeds you, you don't bite it. But I just remember you bit the hand that fed you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Which one that I bit, I bit? No, no, no. <laughs> you better hear that fair you, Auntie Mama. You better hear that fair you. My nephew, what is it? Auntie Mama, we are hearing that fair her. Yesterday you came on the show, you said you 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 performed poorly because Joe we are uh, was a terrible leader. I so you better hear that fair you. How can you say Joe we was a terrible leader? Joe we are your son. Joe hired a son for 12 years. He enriched himself. But you said Joe was a terrible leader. He make you deputy commerce minister. But you say yeah. he's a terrible leader. So I, I, it's not my best thing. I'm not defending yeah, Joe Wehai. You know say you're a terrible leader. He's not a, what I say is that a leadership ability was very poor. He allowed the government officials to steal all the people's money, the people's money, the people's wealth. And he sat there and didn't say anything. People die in this country. People children die in the country. The auditors died. He didn't say a word. So his leadership ability is very poor. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That's what I'm saying. And he didn't feed me. They hired me. I stayed a one and a half year and I left. And in fact, when I left, the stress went off because Western Tapia was killing me. You're looking so real good, by the way. You're looking real good. I hope I hope Mr. Wolokoli can come back, but he can because he, you know, but you're looking real good, by the way. Who? No, no, I didn't say. <laughs> I, you be talking old joke and you laugh at it. Like, good no. Job, but it's, it's, no, I don't want to go to the Supreme. I don't want to go to the Supreme Court. So I didn't say. Thank you. No, I don't want to go to the Supreme. I don't want to go to the oh, Supreme. Oh man, I said, "Vibe, yourself, man. You disrupting our show. You got something playing." I said, "Vibe, can you turn it up?" But I said, though, again, congrats. We're gonna have the show. So we're not see for you trying to reconnect. Well, I want a happy for you. I'm very, very happy for you. You're to help this government with applause. Congrats on what? Congrats on what? Congrats on your first consultant uh, contract. <laughs> so that that the reason, you yeah. know, you know, you can't you can't lose sleep over standard water spoon. If you lose sleep over him, you will sleep for forever. That's the thing is that 
<laughs> the thing is that if Isaac Do was a man for only job job money, the first person who would jump out that Isaac Do agreed that's not what I'm doing. But you know, we are here for Liberia. We are always content. And I, I, will, I will not call the place. I will not call the location. I will not disclose the uh, content people, of the contract. People can make me be on a call. So I say, one of class. Hold on. I can call okay. Steven Johnson and he will attest to it. Because <laughs> Steven Johnson is fully in the know of your contract. I can call Steven Johnson. Steven Johnson. Call him great. Call him great. I love transparency. <laughs> Asado is receiving his first contract. What wrong with hey? Asado, let me frame. Mm -hmm. Steven is on the line. What's wrong with hey? You receiving your first that contract? Boy, boy, you Steven. Steven. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. But man, why the man hiding that he receiving a first contract from uh, UP government? You hiding it? Can you talk to us? We were on the call today. He receiving a first contract. He's scared to say. <laughs> Go ahead, Kalagre. Steve Lang went off. Kalagre, talk to us. It's not a bad Hello? thing if this guy received a phone. Your mama was beating with me the last time. You don't even know what's going on in the bag in Liberia. So, I know what's going on. You might not be able to tell you the truth now. I know stand up moving a call, but. <laughs> Send on you just come here and say something. So where there where there is smoke, there is fire. There is smoke fire. Yeah. So all I can say is uh there is some truth to it because my man just smiling, <laughs> just smiling. And you're not laughing. Yeah. So so I hate to do this, but I, I hate to do this, but I will say, all right, I, I will do this. I will screenshot this. Between acid though, I'm not even gonna screenshot because I said I'm a man. Your LC Raya, 32 minutes. It was a <laughs> you see acid on it. Anything you see acid on what's up? It got number two to it. And you see the number two? Look on acid though. If you get acid though food number, right? Look on acid though, what's up? It will say number two. Right? It right there. If you look here, you see the time here, myself talking? 32 minutes. It was a three-way call. But you just confirm what Isaac do always say that you can call him and you can talk long. And I hear it. We have yeah, to do it, Connor Craig. You know, I've been pushing for Isaac do. To be frank, I, I, I am a Liberian. <laughs> Everybody in Liberia should benefit. Yeah. Okay? Look at Isaac do. He's our brother. Hey, man. He was born on a job, man. We are. I'm happy when I heard the good news that acid dough will be a sound white picker. White picker. If you see white picker with acid dough, you will confirm what I'm saying. Low stand all jokes aside, I mean, I'm happy that this government is taking that approach um, oh, yeah. to bring people in regardless of their political persuasion. Yeah. Look, it's something that the acid then could not give us. To be there you go. We were not enemy of we were enemy of you come, right? you come, you come you spot the whole deal. No, we're enemy of the state. <laughs> have you ever have you ever heard um uh, uh President Barker decline any any Liberian enemy of the state? Can you imagine that designation? You know what that means? We and how it treated us, right? So they gave me they gave me you um uh you know bread that, that you could not share with I mean I, I'm not gonna call the amount on the contract as if as if I welcome to the show. I'm not gonna call the amount on the contract, but that's something I asked though was he making as a deputy minister. Yeah, as but, is, uh, he been awarded but, three different consultant three different as if I, I beg you, Auntie Mama, let as if I come in because he know he know about these things. When you coming from that opposition, the government will not hire you directly say it will be hard. We understand that. But these are where people make enough money when they gave you this contract. I survive. Am I making a mistake? Well, it depends on the purpose of the contract. Correct. Is it, is it a legitimate contract? Is it contributing to advancing the um, Let me put all that to my man. You know, you need to pass it. You 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 know what, baby? Because I didn't explain to you, Va. The man have a legal contract. It's legitimate. For example, let me say something. You were on the show yesterday when we had Mo Ali. When you heard Mo Ali saying how they can get the money back, 
And you you are on the show, right? Yeah, I'm on the show. Okay. It's something of that nature. It's not with Mo Ali, but his contract is of that nature, right? And I said, don't wait and say, listen, I can help. And I think it's unique. There's nothing wrong if any librarian can help and make an impact. I'm just saying this is public record. <laughs> what a contract about? To just say somebody can help, they can help. You're not sharing it. I'm not, I'm not sharing you the main contract. Oh, well, and it, and it prescribed you guys know you won't go after it and make your case to get it too. I'm not sure Ooh. you can answer it. I, yeah. I know you don't like you don't like acid though. So no, <laughs> I don't I, I don't like the things he have done. I said I'm my little son. I'm a but little anyway, son. we're not going there. But okay, I want to say, say don't say it. I want to say acid though get a contract and uh Jemai, I'm Jemima. We gotta be happy for acid though. Yeah, hey no the, the problem, CEO. I don't have a problem to be happy for acid though. But we gotta look from within. Amen. No, 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 no. Amen. That's not correct. You acting like you acting like CDC people. You acting like CDC people. Now you acting like a sedition now. You acting like CDC people. You mama. You acting like CDC people. Then before we kind of ask it though, ask it though. Then just coming from lucrative, lucrative job, lucrative. They ate three million dollars by the gate for the waterway. For the pop boy in Nukuta. No, we yeah. can't we can't we can't do that. Uh uh no, uh, 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 uh as a vibe, you gotta talk to your sister and no mama. Money. We can't do that. No, I mean I don't no. think I don't think we'll wait that unity or oh, you hire all unity party we before gave, you bring it. We gave them something, but we gotta look from within. Those who really, really suffer gotta look from within. Then we we'll start giving mm. them something because you see, they're just coming from enjoying. I said don't know nah. that. You just come nah. from enjoying, they want to enjoy it. The only thing I can tell Asi do here, Asi, please, before you take over, I'm asking you to please declare your asset, please. Uh, oh. We understand this is not CDC government. You must declare your asset. And you know, you're my friend, you're my brother. Uh, I will be on your back. Well, are you implying Are you implying he didn't declare his asset the first time? No, he not. didn't. No, he didn't. Asi do did not declare his asset. No. Because, because the whole day he behind the people in the government to declare asset. But I said, do that, baby. I said, do the show that you talk. I said, do that, show. Isaac, do you declare your assets? Yeah, I declare my assets. Assets. Okay. I'll take your word for it. So no, again, Jimamo, Jimamo, let me address Jimamo on this thing. Jimamo, seriously, yeah. please. This country is for everybody. Mama, not, you, mama, older than no, you're not older than, than me. You're younger than me, man. Come on. You're younger you. than me. Than you there. No, you're not older than me. No, I'm 62. No. You're 58. All right. So that's a thank you. Let's go out, Minister. What do you call it? Let's forget this thing, my man. Let's go on the show. But just give as a do the opportunity or whoever from any other party that Joseph Berger deemed necessary or any minister or head of agency. Don't be talking about from within because the potential within is limited. The capability within is limited. We got to go outside and understand that any I don't have a problem. I oh. don't have a problem with them giving other people a job. What I'm saying is that people who stood by us, we got to take care of them first before we go start taking care of us. Uh, I disagree with you. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. development will focus on. Uh, well, let, let me get an example. Let me get an example. Well, Let's so say I said they were in the middle. One at a time, now. one at a time, please. All right, let me get an example. Let's say I said they were in the middle of this, um, you know, uh, uh um, disadvantaged youth program for agriculture or something in a couple of counties. And let's say the transition was not as smooth as it was supposed to be. And maybe he got expertise in what they were doing. So for them to get your contract and say, but man. Go and set this up and get it on the right course. We know your style you are doing something. Nothing wrong with that. And maybe somebody else in your camp not ready to do that. No, no, no. So, we gotta go for from lucrative job, lucrative. Hey, hey, stay up. I beg you, stay up. I want to ask Edgy Mama something. Edgy Mama, why do you government officials reference? A government job that should be focused on service and sacrifice as a lucrative job. Why? What is Why do you label a government job at whatever level a lucrative job? What's the implication there when you say lucrative job? When I say lucrative, they have the kind of job that will bring in money to different projects, 
but they took the money for themselves. What, what the they didn't use it for the people. Thank you. They you proved my point. The people they took all the money that were coming into the project and they, <laughs> they never had asset to declare. Now, let's see, guys. Hold I beg you, Auntie Mama, one minute. Yes, let's see let's let's if we got all uh, the the people. Uh, Auntie Mama. No one can declare the property. They didn't have it before. Uh, Auntie Mama, one minute. Uh, Councillor Sifas, uh, are you hearing us? Councillor? Yeah, yeah, but, but, but I don't mind. Hey, Councillor, your internet is very bad, sir. All right. If we, if we look, all right. Yeah, we'll try again. Something is happening with Councillor Sifas tonight, his internet. I said, okay, you speak. We got to move on. Uh, we got other issues to discuss. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, and your mama, you, uh, just be okay. Yeah. You'll be good. Uh, forget yeah. about phantom issue. So, if you want me to tell you on the record, I'm not one person who won't be happy. And your mama, you can see from the CDC government, I was not all around the place. I've always been measured. Even after the CDC government, so far, so good. I think I am the only former government official who proudly go and defend the record of the government. So I'm not one person who ran out for the Defend the record of the government. Let me end. That's my choice. Yes. So let me just say, edit the mama on the record. That I have record. been discussing. So if the issue of job, money, riches will be very, will be the central piece of me, edit the mama, I will be in the government. But again, let's discuss like Liberia. Forget about yeah. something. So oh, while, we, while we wait, while we wait you know for what? I said don't I you. believe you. I believe the mega contract. Definitely, man. Explanation I believe you said on as well. I thought you were one thing people want the people to understand from me. I don't know when you throw propaganda on you do you you will fall for it. I tell you about that. Well, 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 <laughs> let me say this. I answer mama, I beg you, mama. Then you come with it. I said, I answer mama, answer mama. Angie, yes, Mama, yes. Angie, Mama, I beg you, Mama, please. It's okay, okay? We will say it as we see it. I think it is in the best interest of this government to bring in everyone that the thing, because we are all Liberians. Yeah, I don't want to Angie, Mama, let me finish now. I beg you, Angie, Mama. Boy, uh, let me finish. But I think it is in the best interest of this government that will bring in everyone. And what is happening here today, I was so happy when I received a phone call. <laughs> I decided to say this. It's not because I want to go after acid, though. I'm saying it because of the nature. When you talk about Jose Yima Buaka, the person he is, he sees a political party. No. He sees Liberia and Liberian. Acid, though, is a Liberian. On the set, the only person that was born in America that Dr. Richard said, but she grew up in Liberia. <laughs> We consider her as a Liberian. Though she, she doesn't speak like uh, like us, but we consider her as Liberian. <laughs> Grew up in New York, lived in the richest part of New Jersey. But Acido is me. I'm Acido. Acido is Conor Gray. Conor Gray is Acido. Acido is Acid Vibe. So if President Weir gave acid, then Josh uh Joseph Yuma Buaka gave acid do a position, I respect that and um, we should apply. That's the only reason I brought it up. Acid do pick up that will be a sound to him is white. So what happened to the people who haven't worked for six years? Go ask, go, go ask, go, go, go ask the president, Mama. We'll move. <laughs> acid do, acid do, acid do <laughs> pick up that will be a I bottle. Hey, Angie, Mama, you want to spoil our show? Take, take, that, 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 take that personal that, thing. Do be enjoying for six years. Do all the people be suffering for six years. Need to get a job. Mama, now, Angie, Mama, why you can go ask President Waka why he hire people from uh, uh, the old Unity Party that enjoyed for 12 years? Why you can go ask President Waka why he hired the word Gray, a foreign ministry that was there just now for six years? Why you can ask President Waka why he say keeping folks from the past government? This is government of inclusion. Don't blame Asset though because they're giving just a, a, a small contract, at least under six thousand dollars, between five and six thousand dollars. 
I don't want to call the exact figure, Dr. Richardson. It's between five and six thousand. If you remove tax, I said don't walk away with nothing less than four thousand eight hundred and change. But I don't have a problem with asset door getting a job. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying these people in job for six consecutive years and the rest of the Liberian people being suffering. So a lot of people that have been suffering for six years, let them come on board now. Asset told them can wait, they will come in second half. But can I complain? Can I complain of Joseph Yima Bwaga? And I think that's what you need to do. You can't tell us because Asset don't already get his contract. Oh, yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of a drink and be okay. You are fine. <laughs> 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 okay, no. <laughs> All right, drink go. come back and come drink small water and come back. Hey, mama. What <laughs> okay. am I getting back? <laughs> I mean, I said it, it, it's it's a Liberian. He got a job. Why she got divorced? <laughs> oh, eh, my my, my right own right. Right. Oh, man. 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 Oh, you know, I, I'm trying to, you know, wait for uh, uh, Councillor Seaforth, but this FIU, what is happening at FIU? Let me see us for once. I just put a receipt in the chat room. I don't know why today, why today that uh, your friend, Ava, because you say he's your friend, standing for is not suspended. I don't know why. We have all the document on standard for the allegation that he took the money. Yeah. We got the document from the, the letter from the central bank, from the finance ministry. They requested the money. Why is he still on the job? You know, we, we, we waited for uh, the SG, but you have an internet problem. So let's have this conversation. Yeah. That's Richard. All the document in our possession, let me ask you. Why is he still on the job, though? <clears throat> he went to LDCC. He asked for an extension to give it to him. He expired. Now he has spoken to uh, the representative. He asked them, say he couldn't come today because they scheduled him to come today. They sent it for Thursday. And this guy stay on the job handling money. But it caused him for the ad of investment. That's what Richard said. The chairman on the board, the Boma Kamara. Why is he still there? Since I'm in agreement with you, um, considering that we have all these evidence uh, that uh, they're leading to him, uh, he shouldn't be on a job. He should not be on a job. I can understand, you know, this the uh, the legislature giving him time to come in to present himself. Maybe the schedule was conflicting, but. I don't know. I mean, this is the unseriousness part that we talk about when we speak about our own country. Somebody's stealing millions and millions of dollars and then you're keeping them on a job. What does that tell other people? That you can go ahead and stick your own a million. Nobody will call you. They will call you at their own pace. It, it's very sad to me. You know, it's it's sad. Let me just tell Iberians, if they don't get serious, if we don't get serious about our own country, nobody will come there for us Nobody giving anybody the international community they stingy with their money now. They're not giving money to people like that before. Okay, they got their own issue in Ukraine. They're taking care of any Americans, Americans and not sending money to Ukraine. They're fighting Joe Biden to send money to, to Ukraine. They got an issue going on Israel. So we have to find a way to make our country attractive and you know get our own money and do what we have to do. We have to be able to prove 10 times 10 that we can do things in our country, but the example that we're using with this standing for God just keeping you on, you know, on the job, this is not a good example at all. Not a good example. Thank you very much, Dr. Richardson. Uh, seriously, let's get on track. You know, let's leave Asi do it alone. Um, but as it though, the, this is an allegation, a very mm -hmm. big allegation. But FIU, like we had Alex Coffee here, it's a big uh 
a big intelligent unit that have a long standing relationship with the Department of Treasury and all the international body across the world. So help us understand the man that was in charge or the man that is in charge, he stole from the FIU. What is the FIU? Well, FIU. The people created that intelligence unit, you call it FIA, you call it FIU, Financial Intelligence Unit, it's because they want to track money laundering. They want to start track people that steal it. And all of this thing, we know that story. But this guy, the allegation on the record with LDCC, say yes, on the newspaper that he admitted. Why is the Jose Yima Barca government still keeping him on that job? Well, sometimes you know, um, there's always a difference between a perception and the reality of things. I've not read any story anywhere where someone from the FIA now um, um, testified or even made a disclosure that indeed they did steal money from the FIA. Uh, why it is true certain sum of money may seem to have some skepticism on it, there are things beyond that. In my mind, uh, you may see 20,000, 30,000, 500,000. It may look as if it could be suspicious depending on how you see it. But the truth of the matter is there are always things beyond that. And I know for a fact, very well that I know, money going through the banking system is not just easily gotten off for no reason. I know for a fact, for central bank to clear certain check coming from Ministry of Finance, a lot of things happen with it. Now, I'm not saying things don't happen in Liberia. All across the world, things happen. But these things usually happen outside of the banking sector because things will go through, come outside, and then happen. But to say you go to central bank that is being monitored, even by our international partner, and you just do something looking at the fact that folks at the FIA who know very, very well that certain amount of money who definitely raise suspicion. Nobody will want to play the fact that those amount in any form of audit will be the first accident. I don't want to believe for a fact. Now, I'm not saying there is nothing there, but in my mind, as a person with the experience from there, I don't want to believe that a person working for FIA or FIU, whatever you may call it, who have a certain amount of huge sum of money transferred to, 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 to them, and then the same day withdraw it on the basis of some suspicious activity, I don't want to believe they will. So I know there are some parts that we may not know, although we'll be looking at the storms to be very suspicious, but that will be a legitimate cause behind it. And that's what I want to believe that or the folks there know exactly what they did. They may look big in our eyes, suspicious in our eyes, but there will be facts behind it. And I don't think it should be a hasty decision as it's been done across the place where a lot of people are let go I think you want to be sure you cross your team when you want to take these decisions. So in my mind, in my mind, I know once things go to central bank, a lot of international folks' eyes are on it. You know, from the US, from IMF, from a lot of places. So you can't just go and do something like that. So I thought something is more beyond that. Let me bring in Asifat. As if I talk to us, I know I just put another information in our chat room. Folks, you can read it. Uh, Colonel Gray, you want to read it? As if I talk to us, though, we'll be showing this receipt and the manner in which the amount of three million dollars came to question. But just talk to us why you think Bwama Kamara, President Jose Yiman Barca government, is still keeping Stanley Four at the job. Is it's amazing. For me, it's amazing because the FIU or FIA, I should say, is an integrity institution. And if the newspaper reports have any truth to them that this man actually admitted that he withdrew the money based on, you know, higher ups or for whatever reason, and it was an illegal withdrawal, he definitely, definitely should not be in that position. Look, the section 67.2 of the establishment of the financial intelligence agency is, is clear. There's hereby established an independent and autonomous agency. So nobody's going to be even telling him to draw money if he's independent and autonomous. As a financial intelligence agency, we show, and the first one is important, serve as the central national agency of Liberia responsible for receipt, analysis, and conduct preliminary investigations of suspicious transactions or activities, reports, 
currency transaction or activities reports, other information relevant to money laundering, associated predicate offenses, terrorist financing, financing proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, and proceeds of crime and other transactional activities reports determined by the FIA in the AML, okay, anti-money laundering in the CFT Act. So that just establishes that no kind of funny money should be going on with that agency. And the fact that these withdrawals, you just posted another one in there paying to somebody. Who? What are these payments for? So if they can at least suspend the individual until they can have the right investigation, then the actions of these other people, more Ali, you know, firing or suspending people or somebody else suspending people, is just useless. Because those are the people at the lower level that are taking advantage of, the people at a higher level who are committing these major crimes, they are not being handled. Thank you very much, Colonel Gray. Uh, you know, I'm looking at the documents, Colonel Gray, and I'm very, very surprised today hmm, that the government is not saying anything. I understand LCC is running after them, but why? Why do you think the government, as executive branch, why are they so silent? It's because uh, a government of skill you know, government of substance don't run its day-to-day -day affairs in the press. There are lots of things that will remain classified for a reason. And and I think uh, Mr. Ford could be a subject of instrument or instrument that can be used um, to uncover a lot of things. So he's an asset in this in this uh, um, in this situation. To let him just go, you give him clemency to leave the country on number one, or even if you if you keep him there, um, you may now uncover a lot of things that 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 he knows personally. So we don't know in what capacity is being used. And uh, to come up and say government should just fire him now, um, what are you gonna get out of um, out of him? You know, so you want to bring in law and no, to be. I, I, I don't think you'd be following us some time, though. We are not calling that the government will fire him, suspend pending investigation. Okay, the man is involved within the same entity. He spoke to LDCC Connor Gray. They asked him to come back. He asked for time. The time have expired since last week. Connor Gray, mm -hmm. it expired. The representative people call him. If she should have appeared today, he asked for time. They push it for Thursday. The question remained, Connor Gray. This man, he said yes. He ordered the money. He requested it. It's on paper to say yes. Even if the government don't background investigation, why will you still keep him? You Integrity, know, I Connor Gray. We were saying, we were saying, don't keep him there, right? Uh, initially, when we started this argument, but I, I want to believe this thing is deeper than we, 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 we believe, um, than we think it is. Um, I believe that this guy has more to offer. So, what are you going to do? Just call him slack? Maybe keeping him there will reveal more. Uh, there has to be something greater than. Uh, you know, you know, uh, 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 President Barker would have just given the, the declaration, let the men go. But sometimes you hold on to, to, to it's like uh, Michael, what is his name that, that was held as uh, uh, on behalf of Trump? You understand? He's an asset. I, I want to believe that they are not just keeping him there because they love him. Uh, nothing is going to come out of this. I think there is something more deeper than this. And I, I can tell you, the more they keep in there, the more they get in public some information that we don't know about. We're not following, we're not tracing the investigation. You only know the surface. Appear here. Okay, please give me some time. Appear there. Okay, I, I will, I will uh, give me a deadline. You know, those are the surface. But underneath, there's something else. Until the investigation wraps up itself, before you get to know exactly. And, and I know, you know, Stanton, you you are a press person, so you probably want to have the the, 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 the substance now, but it's not going to come out just like that. Uh, and and I, I want to believe that as long as the case is with LACC, 
there has to be something bigger. And, and, and you know, the FIA is, is an agency by itself. It can run by itself, but then there has to be a reason why they stay keeping that guy at the helm of that agency. That agency is supposed to be an integrity organization. But if he's still there, then there's something we don't know about. And that's why we should be yeah, I'm sorry that you don't know about a lot of stuff there on this case, kind of great. But we received information on this thing. When they first met him, Conor Gray, I, we sh I shared the information in the chat room. The letter that was written to him, I put it in the chat room. When he requested to come back, we put that in the chat room. The letter written to the bank from Minister of Finance, we put that in the chat room. So my issue here is that at the end of the day, all the information that we share is good for us to go over it, have the account number, how he ordered his brother to go receive the check. So if you saying keep him there because we're working on something, then tell Mo Ali to keep the other folks over there, Connor Gray. Tell Amos Twat to keep the other folks at LPRC. Tell the National Port Authority Director to keep the other folks that he just dismissed yesterday. Go ahead, go through the government. Tell them, keep them. These guys, they, they, guys, they guys, they guys have access to the money. That the money we want first. No, 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 the president that stole from NPA, those allegations, they have access to the money. They are firing yeah. controller, they are firing HR folks. It's not an excuse. There must be a reason that the government cannot address this issue and say, well, pending investigation, go and sit down. With pay or without pay. Even if we don't pay you and you win the case, we'll pay your money. This is huge. Uh, Andrew Mama, let me let me bring you in on this conversation. Something just it, it doesn't seem right, Andrew Mama. That standing for we still hold on to the position with all the information I'm about to share with you guys again. The other information, but before you speak, allow me to bring this uh receipt all corner gray. This is another amount. You know who is Carlos E. Riding. If you zoom in on this. You're going to know that this receipt, what they call Financial Intelligence Unit, FIU, November 17, 2022. This guy was in for the employ. Carlos Ryder was employed 2023. He wasn't an officer yet. These are one of these are some of the documents I will share to you little by little. These are some of the documents. Look at the amount of money. 3.9 million. 3.9 million, Central Bank of Liberia. You still want to give a reason why they stay keeping him there, Colonel Gray? He said he borrowed them for the money. Even if you trace the money, you don't need to keep him there. They have turned the FIU to be a cash cow. And that's what we are saying. The issue remains. Look at, I want Liberian people to just look at this. Look at this amount. This is past the 500, 600,000 though. So many receipts coming up, so many. Then you ask the question, Boma Kamara, why are you still keeping him there? Are you part of the investigation? What are you hearing? I'm not saying you will come and tell Spoon. Now this is, this is what? Almost $4 million, right? I believe you are seeing the corner grade. They said three point nine million dollar. Imagine if you had let the guy go at at five hundred thousand, half a million dollar. Would you have gotten this evidence? But all these things are part of the evidence, corner grade. Now what I'm saying, you have to wait. Corner grade, but you're staying it wrong. We don't need him to bring the evidence. We have the evidence already. This is a man after stealing all the money, he's still working and getting paid. You know who's still controlling the money and the staff? It's still a fall. How can the government, the entity, accuse him, but they are keeping him there to still take care of money issue? This man still requesting checks. This man still pleading, asking the central bank to give the money for FIU. How can you believe some of those requests, Colonel Gray? We don't need him. Aunt your mama, can you talk to us?
Andrew, are you with us? I am. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. You have the paper in front of me, so I don't know. Okay. Um, from what I think is that um, I think that if if he actually took the money to be fair and honest to the public or the people of Liberia and to the standard standing forth man i think they should he should recuse himself from the job until the investigation is over but he cannot be still working why he has confessed to the public that he has taken the money i think he should recuse himself be investigated and then um the outcome of the investigation will will be able to tell um, to 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 lead us in the right direction which decision should be taken at the end. But he cannot be in the, in the job or at the job and and with this kind of terrible situation and taking pay and still in the job while he has already confessed that he took the money. I think it's totally wrong. And it, it's not fair to Liberian people. And it's not even fair to him. Yeah, that's what I think. Uh, th thank you very much. Uh, it, again, I don't know. I think you spoke on this, right? As if I, because you, you were talking, we had to take you off. But uh, you spoke on this? Yeah. All right. So I, the other documents we're going to upload them. Imagine three parameter matters. I am more receipts coming up to tell you the truth. Uh, the only reason why we will put them up because they're going through the LDCC. We do not want to be ahead of them. Uh, the payment to Carlos that he requested the pay. What have you asked yourself? What was performed? Carlos, the check was written in his name. Let me put it back up. Let me put this back up. Pay to Carlos E. Who is this person? Why are you giving him three point nine million? November 17, 2022. Who is Roly? He was employed by Standard Four 2023. Around that time, prior to this check being issued, prior to this check being issued. Why you ask him to go collect from the central bank 3.9 million? I mean, it's a fair question. I hope we have Serena C for us here to speak about the legal issue. But this is so unique, and librarians need to know this. And every day, people will go by in the corner and say, hey, man, what's going on? If you look at the board members, the chair on the board at Boma Kamara, I know Boma Kamara is basically trying to put a budget together. We we'll discuss that, but this is concerning. That Richard said you get anything else to add. It's discouraging for Liberians. People are watching these things. It's concerning. And yet we are today. People cannot give no hear, no take. Before we move on to the Amin's wife report, you, you got anything to add to this FIU? The only thing I was going to add that when you suspend someone from working generally, uh, you know, the investigation can go on. You can follow the paper trail. You don't, you can ask the person questions if he feels free to answer. You can use some of his answer. Uh, and, and then um, if he's for not guilty, you can give him back the money that you owe him. But you can't be collecting that brimful money at the same time. You already have proven to us that there should be some questionable integrity problems, and then we keep you on the job so he can take more money or what? I, I don't know. Or how 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 should we expect the people his who work underneath him to respect him when he has all of this going on in the newspaper? So I don't. It's it's not adding up to me. And that's the fact. That's the hundred percent true about where we are with this whole thing. So. Uh, when they requested that money that you told about me, uh, our brother, Connor Gray, uh, yes, the letter, I'm going to put it in the chat room again, uh, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, for the sake of us. 
when they requested that you come to understand that it was just crazy we see seen uh, Mr. Jackson is coming on, uh, Uncle Sam Jackson is on, but it, it's a bad time for our country. I, I know Uncle Sam, you've been following this thing. Uh, did you receive your drought lesson yet? You got your drought lesson, right? Was it for you or Madame? No, you are muted. Can you unmute? Yeah. Did you, did no, you receive the no, drought no. lesson? Yes, I did. I, re I received it. Yes, sir. I thought the age couldn't yeah. permit you to drive any longer. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you basically you, 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 you do an eye test and that's it. Yeah. So how many fingers up? Yeah. Yeah, five. five. I, I put two in my say five. You're telling me John that's in front here. You're telling John that's <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Sam, welcome, welcome to the show, Uncle Sam. Uh, Uncle Sam, man, that's, uh, I'm, I'm getting Protect frustrated. Him, I'm getting frustrated bit by bit. Now look at this. Look at this, Uncle Sam. Uh, look, look at this. Tell me what you're saying. Three point nine million to who? And see the they they enter the name the uh, financial intelligence unit FIU. Wow. Wow. And that's exactly what we're saying. These are many other receipts we have in our possession. And it's troubling to know that Standard 4 been operating with some other folks. You know, I don't know who Carlos is. We hope the nation can know who Carlos is. Why Carlos receiving three from nine million from Central Bank. Yeah. But knowing yeah. what we know, because I dropped some stuff in the in, in the chat room. Talk to us, uh, Uncle Sam. Yeah, but look. Everything requires an investigation, and, and we shouldn't be quick to make any definitive statements on it, like it's corruption or what have you. We just don't know the circumstances. You know, uh, I like I like to wait. I like information. I like to see an investigation, and I like to basically give the everybody the benefit of the doubt until a comprehensive investigation is done, and we we'll come out with uh, with what the money was for, how was it spent, and what's the value for money. All of that. I'm not going to make any rash decision as to whether this was corruption, in corruption. I, I really can't say that until let let them let them commission an investigation. We know we have the LSC. So, so yeah. we, we all agree with you, Uncle Sam, that uh, he he should be given his due time in court. But should yeah. he still be at the job? But 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 we don't make we don't make that we don't make that determination. The I'm asking you, should he still be at the job? I'm not saying we're going to make the determination. Well, it depends on on on, on who is the uh, authority that is over the FIU. Is it executive? You know, uh, what what does the law say? I mean, I'm not a lawyer, so I can't make any rash decision. But um, I can't say the man should not be on the job when I don't I don't know, I don't have enough I don't have enough facts to make any determination. I mean, I'm not. With I'm these allegations, and they have opened an investigation. The document went to the LDCC. They have opened an investigation. With these allegations, you think it's appropriate that so, he can still uh, run so, that? So then, so, so then, so then, it depends upon uh, President Boyka, the Chief Executive Officer of Liberia, to make a determination as to whether he should uh, uh, suspend or fire or what have you on Taylor. Some somebody needs to 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 to, to investigate. I mean, I mean, three point nine million dollars is not small money, and therefore, I would I would uh, just ask for the, the president to do what. I thought this puppy is in America. What's happening again? Why have you? I have a very cheap the router. The internet. You don't know the internet. I mean. Uh, I live in in a very small town, uh, McDonough, Georgia, about uh, 35, 40 miles from Atlanta. And the 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 AT and T modem and all that kind of stuff is not working. So I bought a little router, and it works. I mean, you know, I mean, don't don't punish me because I live in a small town. I'm not. I, I would not punish you, but I think, uh, man of your time, 
should have a better internet service. Can I add to what uh, Uncle Sam is saying? Yes, Dr. Listen. Richardson. We got Dr. Richardson, when you do that, then we'll move to the next conversation. Go ahead, man. I, I, I understand what Uncle Sam is saying in terms of allowing of an investigation to go through before you make decisions on someone's employment. But, you know, Liberia, it almost seems like eight out of 10 times somebody did some kind of corrupt action. And I don't know if we have the time to give people the benefit of the doubt. It's almost like we have to be moving fast, fast, okay? Like I understand like some systematic countries, like where you're in our SIP today, you can say, okay, let's give this person, I mean, this systematic country, they don't even give you that benefit of the doubt, but you can say, okay, let's give this person the benefit of the doubt, uh, you know, let them continue to work and then let the investigation go through. But I don't know, in Liberia, I tend to think differently just because of the percentage. There seems to be a large percentage of people who, who are just finding loopholes in the system and they're just trying to just take from the Liberian people. So instead of you staying on a job with all of those investigation and perhaps integrity problems, let's put you aside, investigate. And then if you fall guilty, you know, the law will take its course. But if you fall not guilty, they can always pay you back your money, apologize to you, and what have you. But right now, I think we need, we're we against the clock. And that's why I'm saying, you know, let him be suspended. Let him uh, investigate him. Because this is not the first time around with money business. This is the second time around we're hearing uh, him write a letter or, or take money from the, 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 the coffers. <coughs> So, 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 so no, before you go, can I just add one piece thing over there? And, you know, in, 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 in the operation of these entities, uh, they have to work. Things have to happen. Um, again, I want to start with uh, uh, Mr. Jackson. Uh, just uh, to correct, what we were seeing is the photocopy of the check. And that amount is in Liberian dollars. Depending on the rate, it will be something around 20000 For an intelligent purposes, one who will agree it is within that amount. But... So somebody just confirmed the check to you, right? It does. So you don't the check. It's it's it's, it's like yeah. dollars. There is written on it. Just to be yeah. clear. It's not, yeah, just to be clear. Was, somebody just confirmed. Tell them to come on the show. That was. Let me just end my talk. That check you display here is in Liberian dollars, and secondly is a photocopy of the check. Now there are many ways people can write check in people's name. We have to understand, if you understand the banking system, most often if you issue check in the name of the business, depending on the reg X, reg Z, kind of a regulation of the country, but usually it goes through three days. So if you are an intelligent agency, for instance, and you want to get something done today through maybe some other company, and you have to pay them, if you were to write the check in the name of the entity, it will be deposited and get cleared within three days. But when you need the money like now, it is very okay and legal for the company you are paying to attach note to file or something, a memo or something, asking you to write the check in a legal representative name so that that person can be able to cash the check immediately. That would not mean that because the check is written in the name of a person, so it may be some form of corruption. Well, I'm not saying it is not, but there are many reasons why these things will happen. And of course, companies all across the planet do it. Even in America, China, Japan, they do it. If you think you need the money for a purpose, there are ways by which you can have it legally, and that would be the right thing to do. Senator, uh, let, let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. I'm seeing um, some figures that are disturbing. Now, they're saying that the budget, I think the budget of the organization is $1.4 million. And there's a $6.2 million that was sourced in that budget. So I'm wondering whether this was uh, the regular thing. Remember what uh, um, uh, Mr. Coffey was saying here that they were looking for money. Eventually, money showed up in their budget. And uh, what people wanted him to have done was to, to transfer that money because it was not meant for them. But normally, they like burn way of stealing from, from, from the national coffers is to source some of this money to smaller agencies with smaller budget, then at the end of the day, they go collecting in the back. Now, all of this are money that I'm looking at. Could that have been the reason why um, this money was issued, given the fact that coffee refused and it's no longer there? 
So now Mr. Uh, Ford is left in charge. So he's authorizing almost everything because the transcript says they are not even supposed to be authorizing, um, you know, uh, money from leaving that account, especially in our tone. Both in, I think him and the controller. So my question is, there are more questions to 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 answer than um, than than this. And and I believe if we get to the bottom of this, there's a bigger stuff that will pull out of this. Uh, but I'm not saying that it should keep um, um Ford um on the position. I'm only saying that uh, if he's an instrument of investigation, it's better to keep him um, at sight than to let him go. And then he start running to, you know, like how another guy run into the Ivorian, uh, like uh, um, Ghanaian border. Uh, and, and the moment you give those kinds of people a chance, they're out of that country. And we know, we know then we start putting APB for them, uh, you know, start monitoring the movement. And I know uh, my, my older brother, uh, Samuel Jackson, probably is here to defend some of well, well, my brother. We have APB on everybody right now. That's the kind of country we're coming to run. If you stole, you can't get away from our side. We'll mount the APB for you. We'll be looking. But I, but I'm, I'm kind of like surprised at your both answer, Colonel Gray. First of all, you say we should keep him there because we want more information from him. Now you're spinning and saying no, you get an ABB on him. I, I kind of confused, but, well, no, no, but that's no, okay. No, no, I say if you, you let him go. Question, I'm if you let him you're go. asking the same question here that we were asking. Why is he still doing that? Yeah. This is color. This is color. Uh, uh, Riley, you can see, you know, <laughs> that's him. All right. This is color. This is the um, EA man standing for. All right. You get you get him over here. The children, the drinking, the club beer yeah, here. Yeah, man standing for. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, you understand where we are. You understand where we are. These people are having good time. What are the three point five that U.S. dollar or Liberian dollar as they run away to get more information? You 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 come to understand that this is a mess. Why should the government keep him there? We have all the information in our possession. As if I am Jimama. Mr. Jackson, that this guy, if he, he, you know what he just did recently? Because he's still working with us suspension, he's still requesting for more money. How can you trust him with this allegation? So let's have that conversation now. You say, well, let may be that. Then go tell more Ali, the people that took the 30,000, the allegation, and your mama, let it stay there. Let it control more money. Go to Amos Toy, the seven people that he fired. Let it stay there. Go to the Freeport and tell them. I mean, suspend the man. Pending the investigation, and that's good governance. And that's good governance. This is two of them, Carlos and Stanley Ford. Bebo one and Bebo two. The same Jackson can call them. The drink a club beer. You know where they are? Free money, FIU, free money. Carlos was at a Sarah Mita, best friend to stand for. Stand for brought him in. We can write a check in your name. Go ahead and cash it. Jack or Susan and so from the Central Bank. They will get it ready for you. Go pick it up. These allegations are concerning. So while Boyma Kamara as chair on, as chair for the bowl, why is he still keeping him there? So standing for asking for extension, extension, and extension. And he's still running the affairs of the FIU. This too shall be written down in the book of this government. Seriously, the members go. Yeah, I said, let he go. Ava. The members go. Suspend him. Let he go. I just remember you want so, to go. So uh, can, we, can, we, can we get Boyma on to explain if Boyma has control over Boyma this? Is, Boyma is, is working on the budget right now. I don't want to disturb him. But who? Okay. So what is the process? Because this guy is a tenure official, right? That's why you got to pull him down. It's a tenure position, yes. And for cause, you can pull him down. Yes. 
But it's not right my now, responsibility. It's JMB's responsibility. Who will make the recommendation, sir? Well, now, this stuff that all circulating in the media, that totally visible. So now you're making my case. You are making my case now. So please call Colonel Gray and tell him what you are telling me. He's not hearing you. Call him and tell him. Colonel Gray, the... <laughs> They stopped eating me. <laughs> no, but seriously, you remember LACC when it recently said about those um, medical people? It was a front page article that led them to start that investigation. So similarly, these kind of incidents, they're supposed to actually already be investigated. Say, Mr. President, this particular holdover tenure official from the previous government has done these things. Uh, our 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 investigation people have to be proactive. They can say that I want to tell the president boy I can say, oh, you know, you're kind of go investigate that thing. I hear you plenty about it. Hey, well, people calling me, they can't wait, they can do the jobs. That's so let me tell you something. Uh, 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 as a as a vibe, let me say this, and the others can come in. That's a problem that have started early in this government. Seriously. These are the problems that have started early in this government. Nobody following the president's schedule. Today is the 12th of March. And Nelson, if you're in studio, we'll play what the president said the 12th of February concerning the protest of the army, the military style protest of the army wives. Because of that, Two they cancel the armed forces. Uh, yeah. Because of that, they canceled the Armed Forces program. And then guess what happened? My president, your president, the president of the Republic of Liberia, Joseph Yuma Buaka, spoke to the nation. And he said in two weeks, there will be an investigation. And in two weeks, there will be a report. From February 12th to the 12th today, it's one month. Have you gotten any report? Andrew Mama, and that's for not the only thing, or, or stand on. No, 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 we're stand taking on. step by step. That's not the only thing, or... no, but there is no, something let's else. Do the, one that, the guy that went, okay. Let's do, let's do the one first. I'm begging you. Andrew Mama, mm. have we gotten any report? It been a month. The president of the Republic of Liberia spoke to the nation, addressed the entire war, and said, in two weeks, we have a comprehensive report. It's been four weeks, one month now. Where is the report, Andrew Mama? No, don't give her a pretty smile. Don't give her a pretty smile. Where is the report? No, I think um, I want to believe that maybe the report is on the president's desk. But like I've been <laughs> following the president's schedule. I've been following his schedule. He has been in and out of Africa trying to get current for the people. Army wives, yes, they are important, but they meant the most important thing right now. We we'll take care of the army wives. They are well people. I do not our show, man. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. If you get nothing to say, don't do don't this to us. This is a credible if this a credible network. Don't do this. No, I don't, no, don't do this. Don't do this. Stanton, you got your opinion. I, I Andy, my man. Give me a chance to express my All right. Opinion. All right. I'm say your own opinion. I'm sure the report is on the president's desk. But priority number one, do you want to be sleeping in darkness? The whole country is in darkness. And for mine, I follow the president's activity every day. And I know the last time I checked, Every now and then, and mama, because of some of your advancing job, we are he, no, he ended up losing. They, they, he, he lost the election because some of your advice, your advice job, we are advanced job, we are, and we keep and we beat him. Y'all don't do this. No, I will not allow you to do this to the president, Jose Yuma no, what, what I'm saying, the president will address that issue. I say, probably, probably the report is on the president's desk. But because he takes the current issues very important, so he's back and forth between Africa and yet trying to negotiate, renegotiate for current <laughs> to come to Liberia. Because that's safety, that's security right there. 
When we Thank have you. fun, the economy is going to boom. The poor, like, we're poor going to be safe. Thank you, Andrew, so Mama. It cannot be in the country occurring. So I'm sure he has it on his desk and he's going to address it. That's the, that's my opinion. <laughs> I could say. <laughs> Look, uh, sis, Andrew, Mama, sis, Mama, the president can be in La Cote d'Ivoire and he can give instructions to the relevant authorities to and make a decision on the outcome of an investigation. He doesn't need to be in country. And he was only in La Cote d'Ivoire for at least a day. That was it. So look, um, it is getting very clear that uh, President Borka uh, has a problem with time management and he may not be moving expeditiously for somebody who calls himself the rescue team. Let's just be very clear about that, okay? So I think there's still some kinks in terms of organization. I think there's still some kinks in terms of uh, getting the correct personnel. Uh, they should really accelerate that process because uh, 10 days from now, we're coming to day 60, right? So from day 60 to day 100, and the foundation of any administration has to be laid within the first 100 days. I mean, I'm not saying change the country, reorder society, and, and make everybody multimillionaires, but at least for the people in the country to get a clear sense of the direction of that government. And Angie Mama, let me ask you a question. Let's be just very clear. What fundamentally has Joe Boycott changed since he became president January 22nd? Just name me one thing that he's changed. No, no, we're not, going, we're, not going, we're not going back to no, her. Let everybody, no, no, let everybody get a piece. You will answer it when we get back to her, Becky, Uncle Sam. Everybody got to take a shot on this one, please. Uh, Dr. Richard saying the same thing. It's been one, one whole month since the president asked the Labyrinth people to be patient. The, 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 the protest was a military stock protest. The country was shut down. The protest led to the defense minister, the appointed defense minister to step back and he turned in his resignation. It was huge. The protest led to the shift in God and in the national security sector. This thing was big. It's not a joke like Angie Mama said that the president cannot walk and chew gum at the same time. So we should wait. The president focusing on LDC. We come to talk about that for LDC issue. But Dr. Richardson, where is the report that was promised to the Labyrinth people? And how do you think the Labyrinth people will look at the president's statement next time when he makes such a promise and call timeline? Um, I'm tending to side with Mr. Jackson on the issue of the president multitasking. Uh, being a president is not an easy task. You, should, you have to be able to do multiple things at the same time, including meeting your deadlines. If you promise the citizens of Liberia that you will deliver or you have answers to them about, you know, why the army wives were protesting, then you should, as the president, stand up in front of the podium or get one of your press secretary or PR person to deliver something to them. Do not allow us to wait, you know, just keep waiting or either to say, oh, maybe they forgot about the report. Um, so as a president, it's difficult. We all see in the United States after one or two years, the presidents, they tend to get great. They don't look like, you know, as youthful as they, uh, you know, look when they enter. So that's bringing a president is a tough job. There's multiple things. You'll be dealing with electricity. You'll be dealing with protests. You'll be dealing with uh, the budgeting process. You'll be dealing with uh, the Central Bank of America. All of those things will be on your desk at at once and uh, you have to do it and it's very important in order for you not to become a person that like bring people uh will not trust you have to deliver to them you have to deliver especially when you ran on that mantra if you said that you came to rescue the librarian people part of the rest part of rescuing the librarian people is to take care of the army wives and be able to tell them the truth and be transparent because this will make you different than the previous government that we have. Thank you very much. I said, though, thank you, Dr. Richardson. I said, though, talk to us on this issue. Uh, here we are again, still waiting. It's going to be one month, one day. And I will tell the librarian people, where is this uh, report? Who has the report right now? 
What become of the report? So go ahead. Well, it's not just one about that report. It's, it's about everything that's on the process. Let's not forget now, there was a penny report as well in the 650,000 inaugural money, and we are still waiting for that. We also know of the 365,000 United Party claimed money, or there were some papers floating around, but we don't consider that a report because it didn't appear like one. And also to the fact of the Albert thing, and we know um, that was a major national issue for the first time in long, 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 long years. Uh, besides when there were wars and stuff like that, the, uh, the Armed Forces Day celebration that they meant to celebrate the sacrifices of many uniforms were not being celebrated. It was actually being postponed because of, uh, of the protests that were there. And uh, you will expect that sometime from now, uh, these ladies and women may get to the street again and people may be asking, well, uh, I know Auntie Jemima said the president is traveling to Africa to make sure we get current. That's a good news. Uh, I don't know uh, how many days and how many months the president is going to Africa now. But again, we've talked about this over and over. And I always say it on the show that if you've come to a place with the thought that you are, we see what we do, you don't do anything. Because there's always a difference between um, what you think and what's actually like. That's why when you go into a place, you know, even when you're in Liberia, that was like, well, America will make plenty of money. When you get there, it's a different place because of the fact that here you have to work, you have to do things. So the way you see things, they're doing a campaign time, the way you talk about all of these things, it's different when you get there. And I'm sure the president is having a problem with managing the country's affairs. Look, uh, Liberia problem, Liberia's problem cannot just end so easily. Liberia's problem is bigger than even the moon that, that is up there. Problem from all over the place. You will need that. I don't know how to put it, but you will need every bit of everything in you to ensure you can keep all the things, or else you will just be like, and people will be asking, what is going on? And I'm sure a lot of people are doing that. It's across the board. I mean, it's about civil service salary. It's about just everything. And I think um, something is missing somewhere. Uh, thank you, Asido. Colonel Gray, can you come in? You know, uh, one of the cardinal reasons why uh, Mr. Jackson and Mr. Doe are here uh, is to paint uh, President Buckeye ugly so that they can position 2029 uh, more clearer. Uh, so everything they say, they're not, they're not, they're not talking for now, but they're talking for the future. And they're the agent of discord that have been planted within the network uh, to to divert the conversation, which is okay. But I, I don't think I, I don't think I don't think it's a fair statement. So let me let me continue. Whether or not it's unfair, that that's my opinion, and I'm entirely. Wow. Aware. And let me let me say this: when when you're president, you have so many things to do. But one of your your your, your most cardinal functions uh, is to maintain the peace. I still believe that that army wife revolt was not an ordinary situation. It was meant for the police probably to attack the army wives and then boom, there's a discord between the army and the police. In a government that was just lending, that's not a good national security status to be. If I were around President Buck, I would say approach with caution. Now, we don't know what, what is contained in the report. What if certain military officials are being, are being implicated? Are you just going to rise up and, and just go and arrest them? Do you know what that means? I mean, put your same Ambassador Bucker. I think he's still not solidified his presence yet. He's still trying to gain his mojo. I think uh, it's a difficult thing to rule when you're just lending. So look at it. That's why we're training intelligence to look at situation from diverse perspective, not, not just in plain sight. So I'm pretty sure if this was so easy to release, the Omer would have just come out and say, this and this and this and this happened. We have investigated and these are the outcome. But I can tell you, Ambassador Buckeye, you understand, stumbled on something more deeper than, and, and, and that could have ended the, 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 the government that day. That's why, and I heard some of the intelligence we're hearing that certain people were held in gunpoint. The minister that resigned was forced to resign. 
and other people were chased. So we don't know this, this, the, the solidity of this thing. We're just seeing from, from the surface, then we're just making um, um, statements. I think the ambassador has a greater job, which is to stabilize the country and let it be peaceful. If this means I should, it should, it should take its time to, to, to reveal certain, certain things that were, that, that were discovered or uncovered, uh, so be it. That's what makes him president. I don't think he's that solid yet to say, I have the security to start staying, you know, uh, the chamber bucket. Because when when the when the back blast goes up, everybody smells it. At the end of the day, who loses? Everyone. So wait, wait for his, his uh, maybe he might not even bring this thing up because we just let it go. Because at the end of the day, the security is not there within the state to go after certain uh, um after certain situation uh, and 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 the only is wiser why would you want everybody running everywhere or would let certain things just just go and in this this situation at least there's a reason why prince johnson uh resigned the the minister of defense we have you ever asked why i mean you just got confirmed at the end of the day you just quit your job I mean, look at it. Right, yeah. So, Colonel Gray, uh, allow me, I know you have said a lot, allow me to, to, to help you and maybe what we are privileged to, you are not. So, I, I, and again, I, I, I respect your opinion. That's what we are on the show for. Uh, and on a serious note, I do. Uh, this investigation took place, Colonel Gray. It was headed by the chair on security. Momo Cyrus from Lofa County, Senator Momo Cyrus, right? The f chat room. Apparently, maybe, you know, you are not falling through and helping us to when we put the information that maybe you are not reading it. Oh, our conversation tonight. Let's just agree. Uh, can we meet ourselves, Colonel Gray? I think it's from your end. Let's just agree that the information was put in the chat room. Momo Cyrus established a team that went over to the Army wife prior to the protest. Went over to the Army wives, sat down, met them, and they brought forth so many recommendations and complaints. You heard on the president address to the nation. The broad folks say our school, no electricity, salary, hospital, everything. After the president called for two weeks of investigation, there was nothing new. They didn't change what they wanted to say. They went through the investigation. Kofi Woods, who's the national security advisor, Antony Kofi Woods. He was part of the investigation. Let me help you understand, Colonel Gray. They spoke to the former Chief of Staff, Prince C. Johnson III. They spoke to the former Defense Minister, Daniel Zianga. They spoke to the current Acting Defense Minister. They spoke to the current Chief of Staff. I can tell you who all they spoke to. There was nothing changed on their recommendation because everything the Army wife asked for, one, better health care, two, education, three, electricity, four, salary, they named them, the same thing remained. They had nothing. We've been fought in track. And I will tell you, it was just less than a week or so, Prince C. Johnson the former chief of staff left the country and went to his family in Europe because he had to stay in the country for the investigation. They got nothing new. When the president opened the investigation, nothing new. Now the Senate thought, all of them, Yombli Kanga received the document. President Joseph Yuman Buaka received the comprehensive report. I can say on the show, he received a comprehensive report. 
I hope you listen to me, Conor Gray. Because when we say this thing, you say, oh, you don't have this, you don't have that. President Joseph Waga have received the comprehensive report through the National Security Advisor and his Minister of State. The document then was taken to Yombli, the protein. They consider it a classified document. So they cannot release it to the nation, Uncle Sam, because it classified. So we that have proved it somehow, we managed to understand what were the recommendation. And nothing, nothing changed on the recommendation. And those that have the document, those that have seen the document, they're going to listen to me and they're going to confirm, Colonel Gray, what were the recommendation. They will not share the recommendation. They will not share this report. If they knew that the president would not share the report, they shouldn't have said that we will do an investigation and in two weeks we'll get a report. My first question, are they coming up with punishment for those that organize the military star protest? The answer is no. There is no recommendation to punish anybody. The answer is no. So everybody walk free. So what's the report about? The same thing I just mentioned. Fashion in the military need to be satisfied. The low, the complaint of low salary, they will have to increase the military salary. Poor living condition, they got to increase the living condition. Recruitment and promotion of officers in the military that did not have the educational qualification, they got to try to increase that as well. Colonel Gray, you the military man, you listen though. No electricity, they got to find way of electricity. No education benefit, no hospital, inadequate benefit for those that serve in the merit in Malay. Is this a report that the national security team will give the president to read to the nation? So, you know, I can you? No, I can one minute, I beg you. We say this thing for people to understand that we have to be on the record. Somebody made a mistake, a ban of money, the government trying to find the best way possible to address this issue. And it will go for two months, three months, four months, because there is no best way. George Manor, we are kicked the can down the road. President Boyka, they are trying to play it safe to kick the can down the road. And who suffer? The military men and women will suffer. Look at shuffling today. After the military star coup uh, 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 protest, guess what? They say we'll go put current in shuffling. The shuffling is gone off now. No more current there again. It was just for a few days. It gone off. We increase the military. Condo, don't let us talk this thing. I said, by help me, man. The, the report I have in my possession, Brother Conor Gray, if you push us and say, but we don't know, we don't know, we try to play it safe. We know there is nothing. So, so they cannot so, come with any concrete announcement. Mr. Vaughn, talk to us. All right. So you said the folks raised the issue. The situation happened with the protests. They forced John, Prince Johnson out, and they said they were going to investigate and produce a report, right? And what he said? That what the president said. They were okay, producing but the report. president did not say, I will publish the report. Did he say that? They said they will get a report. So my thing is, they will give a report. Does not mean they will publish the report. And like you said, it's classified. Does it also mean that they should be able to report to address the, to address the people issue to address the people issue? No, no, no. addressing the issue and the report is two different things. They get Don't you the reconciliation and, of I like, the issue. and I like your and I like your argument, beautiful argument, Isaac. If a protest caused the government to cancel one of the biggest military programs, if a protest caused the nation to go on a standstill, even senators were complaining. Don't you think the nation need to know the outcome of a report? But that's that's a reason. A new government coming in, they're not on. They're not sure about. No, the no, no, I'm not asking for the reason. I'm asking you. Don't you think the nation should know the outcome of the report? The nation needs to know the resolution of the major issues or any punitive action the government will be taking, but not the details it's, of the report. 
Is that a part of the report we just said? So you're making an argument. Come on. No, I said, you say they will release the if report. You, no, no, you no, say, no. I said, listen, I said, listen, don't play with words. If you say the nation should know the resolution, the punitive action, that's part of the report. You go up and down, don't scheme it. Don't scheme it. Ain't nobody stupid yet. You said that you're saying the nation should know part of the report, but not its whole details. That's really? the same thing. Give me something. If you cannot give me the classified aspect of the, no, let me finish. If you cannot give me the classified aspect of the report, I'm not saying you call somebody in there and say we we'll fire the general, we we'll suspend this general. I just read to you their recommendation, brother Asifato. What? What I'm reading? That's the recommendation on the report I'm reading to you. The only reason I can put it in our chat room is because again, I can only read the, re the recommendation. I cannot share the other aspect of it. So I say you cannot have it small, small. Oh, let's get a small one for the people to understand and let's keep the classified one. Keep the classified one. But my argument here, I said, Vi, it been one month and the president said in two weeks, what's the problem? The problem is whoever did the investigation probably met that two week mandate. The it's a problem. Is, <laughs> the president needs to communicate and be I mean, clear. How to defend this thing? You just no, said no, I'm not defending. I want the you information. All I'm saying there could be some classified information there. But I'm saying let the military wives, whatever they protest for, let them see the result. If they, I said say that thing is declassified already, brother. I got it. I got the information. You, okay. You, so I, I just high security you. level. You got high security okay. level. So, yeah. all so, so the only thing I can tell you right now, you can't get it small and get don't get it small. I think I'm gonna agree. You telling us say get off where you solve the recommendation, but don't put it on. I agree with you. I am not asking for who the general involved because I will agree with the military man on the show. Gonna agree. You don't want to call General X name. You don't want to call a uh, uh, Lieutenant Y name. But tell the Labrin people the resolution, the recommendation. Now the man be telling say he's talking to his agent. Go ahead. We're going to talk to your agent as if I but the protest they'll take they'll take the, the, take the action the, the army wives want that all no punitive they they finish and no like solve the problem. Nothing oh, you want to punish there was no punishment there. No, 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 we're not asking for what, punishment. The stage of protest to demand the, the, their demand will be met. So no, we are not asking for Colonel Gray, Colonel Gray. We are not asking for punishment, Colonel Gray. We, we got to have a responsible government. I know you can spin around this thing, but brother, Aisa, I, I know. We should have a responsible government, Dr. Richardson. A government, I would say two weeks deadline, it should be two weeks deadline. That's my argument. Even if you don't want to do anything further, but when the president of the nation speak, Samuel Kofi Woods, who is my dear friend and brother, he should take his pen and paper and write the timeline the president has given the people. If there should be any changes in time, he should say, because of this recent investigation, continue. Absolutely. This is Samuel Kofi Woods. You guys will do this thing, and again, folks will hold the government responsible because you don't want to be a true terror. That's the first incident. Dr. Richard said another investigation will come up tomorrow. Samuel Jackson is about to need them all. They put timeline to these things. And people think we just sit down and they get pressure because I say Vi say, don't call security one, but call only the small one. What the action the people would take. That Richardson talk to me, man. You know, I, I, you know, I wanted but, to don't, add don't that. Don't 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 some people can argue that the president didn't was bobo. He didn't talk to the Liberian people, and so an expectation that a lot of Liberians have for this leader is for him to be open, transparent. Even if he doesn't have all of the information to provide to Liberian people, tell them they like him. You know, they will definitely say, you know, uh, okay, Mr. President, we agree. If 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 there's certain parts of the uh, communication is classified for security reasons. Say for security reasons, I cannot disclose this information to you, but you know, we are addressing or we have addressed the army wise concerns and we're working on it diligently. You know, these are our challenges, the resources, and blah 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 blah. They need to know, and I, I have faith 
that the PR persons, uh, the assistant, legal person, whoever, they know how to put these information together. They can do it. I don't know why they're not doing it, but they can do it. I have faith that they can do it. Thank you very much. As of right, let's go to Mr. Samuel Jackson. Take us home on this, Mr. Jackson. And we're bringing the next one. Yeah. You are speaking, uh, Uncle Sam. Okay, so so here, here is the issue that age and experience and just the reality that bro will tell us. Look, when you have an open mutiny in any advanced society or any stable democracy, there will be punitive actions. But because Liberia is a fragile war torn country, there are security considerations and all of that. I can understand that, okay? That is the reason why I know for a fact that the so-called rescue train will meet a lot of obstacles like that because Liberia is a very peculiar country. The actions that uh, are necessary to put Liberia on a irreversible trajectory, peace, prosperity, and 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 also uh, impartiality can it cannot happen overnight because in order for a president to take the hammer and make those hard decisions, it could threaten the stability of the country. Here you have a commander in chief of the armed forces of Liberia. When you see open mutiny. And not only open mutiny, but obstruction of the public peace. And this, the demonstrations were held simultaneously, not only at the military barracks in Shuffling, it was at 15 Gate, it was at Bongman Piers, it was all over the place. The fact that we're not going to see anybody punish tells me what I always knew. Liberia is a difficult country to govern. There are a lot of peculiar circumstances in the country, and the Liberia that all of us want to see will not happen because the fabric of the society, the foundation of the society, is not strong enough. So I understand, but President Boyka may not need to release some classified information in terms of whether senior military officials were involved, non-commissioned officers, or what those other issues are. But on the the, the, the the issue of the of the of the of the what do you call it the of the grievances of our mothers, the the army wives, he can say something about that. He can say for example, I got a report and there's issues with security implications, but these are issues that we are beginning to resolve, like compensation for the Liberian troops that went to Mali, to have electricity in the barracks, to have good school the barracks were working on these. This is something that a president who is similar as well liked should say because the last thing that Joe Boyka wants to do, and the only thing he came to this presidency with, as, as far as I'm concerned, is some degree of integrity. If he loses that integrity, you just forget about it. That's all I have to say on this matter. Thank you. I see you want to add before we move to the next one. Or uh, Angie Mama, you want to say something? This matter is yeah, I can I can I can definitely tip in a while before we move on. So this is the issue, right? Um when that episode happened, the president took you know, a well-written speech and spoke to the nation. He was speaking to the people of Liberia when he said, I am ordering an investigation for a report in two weeks. He was telling the people of Liberia that I will report to you in two weeks. I mean, it is implied that the people who know that's the reason why the president was telling the people I found it a little, you know, <laughs> jittery to say, you know what? After the president told the people that I am doing this, oh, no, 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 no. You will not know right now. It was not for you. 
It was for only me, but I only told you that I was doing it. I mean, it was very simple. You could have called your people around and said, look, do this investigation. Those are covert operations, and they will be put to you. But once you came to the public and told the public that, listen, I am ordering this. It is for the knowledge of the public. That's what the president did. So I think it will not be fair to the people for the president to then have a report that is his report and no one else's. What? Tell the people then. Probably you could have just called the people in the media in your office and told them, say, go and do this investigation you put to me. Why will you come to the public? That was a national and a public event that happened in broad daylight. It would be such a good thing if the people got to know exactly what happened then. Well, there are some informations you may not want to give up. Like you said, if there's any reason to believe that General XYZ was into it, those are things that you will know within a certain space of governance and not the people. But to the core of the issue, the people want to have an idea. And let's not forget that the government, the president, wouldn't be working for themselves. They are working, of course, for the people. So if something affected the people in what happened, people cast stood in line for six, seven, eight, nine hours. And day you think the people don't deserve to know exactly why they were in traffic for eight, nine hours? I think they do. I really think they do. Anything other than that will not be a fair thing to the Labyrinth people. Again, I'm saying this. Thank you very much, Asid, though. And, you know, when we say this thing, is because we... We have to push for these good things on the country. Uh, there will be no punishment, and there was no punishment recommended for anyone, for anyone. Uh, those are things that they can sit and go ahead and play yakam with this. It's up to you. But I think when the president speak, the nation listen, and they wait for results. And that's exactly what we're asking for for folks, advisors around the president to play. And so the Labyrinth people will forget it, man. Yeah, don't worry. The Labyrinth people will forget it. They're struggling. It's bad for our country. This thing about the army wives going out there to have a military style protest, it's bad. To cause the appointment, when President Baga said he appointed Prince Johnson III, and he was forced to step down. That was the disgrace to our nation. So now you won't tell us, oh, a classifier. You ever see anything going in the Senate classifier? I see a military style protest. You ever anything, anything going in the Senate or on our house floor classifier? It can never be classified. You know that. Stanton, how, how was it? Hey, let me military finish, military my brother. Life. I don't want to answer your military man. You will talk long on that one. But <laughs> it's very, very bad for us to sit over here and defend this thing like you're used to defend your manner we are, and you're causing to lose the election, that's exactly what you guys are trying to do this time around. When the president put his finger on a date and president time, will not the tell people, you everything. People, sir, Colonel Gray, you have your time. Let me finish. I'm begging you, sir. Tell I know you. you're the only military man on the floor, Colonel Gray. I can be quiet while you speak. Then I will come in and we'll move to the next subject. So I will wait. Go ahead and speak, Colonel Gray. Oh, Angie, Mama, you want to say something? I just That's want to let you know. Let I just let, I want to let you know that President Baka is president of the Republic of Liberia. Eventually, you will get to know that not everything within his government you will get to know. They will start keeping you out of certain things, and then probably then you will realize that governing a country is different from winning. I mean, running to 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 govern a country. President Baka will not expose everything within his privacy, especially within the government. Classified information, he will not just share it. And eventually, we accept it and move on, my brother. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, Andrew Mama, you want to say something? Yeah, I want to say something. Look, we're coming right back to leadership again. Mm -hmm. Leadership has a lot of attributes. Some people will come and run their mouth about everything. Some people will not say anything. Some people will just act. You will see actions. Joseph Yuman Biker, I've known him over the years. He's not somebody who can just talk and just talk and just talk. 
they believe in actions and those actions sometimes the action that he will take maybe you have two actions to take you will take one first and then you will take the other one second like i said before the nation is full of problems we we in, we in um we inherited a lot of problems huge problems from the past government there are a lot of things that he has to do now even though you said that the report will not be on time or maybe he has to report and he hasn't given the he hasn't spoken to the nation but there are other priority issues that could be on the same level with that but you got to choose one you know center if we don't have current in this country you know what's going to happen so that you can't make it joseph Baga again speak to the to the to the report now ldc stopping president Baga from speaking to the report I'm not saying stopping him, but I'm saying that he considering putting his nation lighting I up. I my stop, man. Don't see. give us that kind of story, oh, man. Oh, you see, Stanton, you don't like to get other people. That... No, no, no. no. Adjama, you must have talking. I just said stop. I believe that story from you. Yeah, thank you. So he's running after current for this country. You can see what happening, what happened in the past. Now, I, I'm, I'm taking a back for us to do who is my little brother there to come and speak about somebody going to speak to the nation he and, and joseph Baga should come and, and and speak to the nation he should say that she said what did it do in the six year did it speak to the nation did his president george we asked speak to the nation do you know about governance why you didn't tell president we are to speak to the nation when we have all the critical issues Oh, now we have, now we have president you too now. Right there. You are sitting right there at the door. You didn't say a word. A lot of terrible things happen here. Now, when it comes to the army wives, you know the reason, Stanton, you don't even know the, the, the online the factors. You know the reason why the women go in the street? Do you believe that the army wives would have taken, would have transported all these tires in, in, in one night time to all the different locations in the country? They were helped. They were sponsored by CDC government. Let me tell you today for free. They were sponsored. They, Ajima, they, they go, man. You, you are, you are, you are saying that here. You are saying that here. America didn't say they were sponsored by CDC government. They were sponsored by CDC government because they asked Prince C. Johnson to put the army in the street during the election time, and the man refused. Now, don't let me come out and say what I know about CDC. All right, you Auntie Mama, thank you. You will say that more. Yeah, well, that is not our next conversation, no, Auntie Mama. Prince C. Johnson to put the army out. He said no. Auntie Mama, thank you. He said the Auntie military Mama, cannot you. come out because you wanted to come out. And Auntie said, Mama, thank you. I'm not going to go into details. Yeah, so thank you. I said no. 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 Let's just finish. I beg you. Auntie Mama, thank you. The advice you got. Why you didn't give it to Josh Weir? Andrew Mama, thank you very much. Thank you, man. Andrew Mama, thank you. Thank you. Let me say this real quick. Uh, while we move on to the next conversation, Colonel Gray, maybe we've been together for a few years back now, Colonel Gray. Everything I do is not to please someone or to be in the inside. Like, Andrew Mama, we're not hearing you, though. We move on, Andrew Mama, we're not hearing you. Like I always said to you, Angie Mama, we're not hearing you. We move on. We're not hearing you, Angie Mama. Angie Mama, we're not hearing you. We're not hearing you. No, we're not hearing you. Uh, so, Colonel Gray, let me say this real quick. It's very important for us to understand. I don't go up begging for information, and I don't want to be in the inside. What was done was done for country, not for an individual. My relationship with Joseph Walker, I tell him exactly everything as president, as standard bearer, I tell him exactly everything I know which is right. Anyone that know me, I tell them. When they call me, I let them know. Your friend Samuka, Brian Samuka, we talk all the time. Those security guards around Joseph Yiman Walker, I directly, directly accuse them for the failure, the advice at the time, and I cannot tell you what we discuss. You stay inside. Let me be outside, Colonel Gray. 
it's no priority to me. But once you can see, <laughs> no, this is not, it's not a laughing thing. Kubo said, to bring to. Once I can speak to the issue with all fear or favor, not wanting any position or wanting anything in this government, I will say the truth. And I think, again, I will say it like I said the other day. It was a calculated error for them to go ahead and force Prince Johnson to step down. Now you ask him, you force him to step down. What is your result on the investigation? I didn't do this for UP. I didn't do this for folks. I didn't run around and we beat on Joe Ruea for us to have the same old, same old. So you are privileged, you be inside. We wish you good luck. But whenever I go to bed two, three in the morning and I wake up in the morning, I have over hundreds messages. People that want to speak, that want the nation to know, and we have to give the information to them. Brother, Senator Yomli Kanga Lawrence have this information. Senators have this information. They are refusing to share with the rest of the senators because they say they are classified information. The president received the information. President Joseph Mabwaka, don't give me information. He doesn't tell me these things. But I know because the Liberia will serve. So y'all be afraid. Y'all go ahead and hide it in Shiko Kode and put it on CDC Joe government. Y'all hide it in Shiko Kode and say, because of LDC, the president cannot read the report. What a disgrace. The president got LDC to his house, to the executive mansion. This is on Samuel Kofi Woods. When the president speak and said two weeks, it should be two weeks. So you can dance around with it. You can sugarcoat it. I am who I am and I will remain constant because we are here to serve the Liberian people, not in a one individual. I think it's another error. I think they have jammed this president and they are kicking the can down the road. What's new in the document? Sorry, I can share with you guys. Nothing new. As if I go in the chat room, the same recommendation that was done by Momo Cyrus when he asked the army wives that is the same recommendation. That's a report. Did you see the same old recommendation that was done by Momo Cyrus when he spoke to the army wives? But we need hospital, we need this, we need that. Nobody will get punished. But Stanton, if that's what's in the report, then why are you fighting for more to be disclosed? Because the president said in two weeks, in two weeks, it's on tape. I didn't say it. It's a disgrace to the leadership around the president that when he speak, people do what? They let it pass by because they don't care. When the president speak, you need to take his words to be serious. People play too many games, man. So let uh, Colonel Greg will talk to his best friend and my best friend Colonel. Uh, 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 no, uh, I say I think I think and Jamal was saying something I didn't hear her. So can we get loud? And Jamal is putting everything on. No, but let I say to why are you so passionate about this? Uh, why is bothering you? Say that again. Uh, why is it bothering you? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry that I read you say. You say why? I said why? I just want to understand. Why are you so consumed with this report? Why is it bothering you? Good question. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. I said why? You will come here again for the next two weeks. We will not take you off. Good question. <laughs> I'm so concerned about these things because, you know, this is about Liberia we're talking about. People are beginning to make personal worker words to be cheap and be common. People are tapping into the mindset that if we do not do X, Y, and Z, the president will speak to the nation, but you know what? We don't have to act upon it. I said, Vi, you asked a brilliant question. When this thing happened, they shouldn't have allowed Prince Johnson to go. When we spoke about it, when we call Samuel Kofi Wood name, when we call Samuka name, don't let me go into what was said to the president, those recommendations that were made. Five different recommendations. This is bad. People don't want to know. People don't want to see it, but they will. They forced Prince Johnson to step down. It wasn't because of army wives. It was because of their own internal wrangling. Somebody that never wanted Prince Johnson. 
So that's why we need a report. So you think the report will reveal? When the president called for this report, it was a good thing. And said two weeks, it should have been two weeks. And somebody still playing games. Okay, so when was the report submitted? When was the report submitted? But I just told you that the report was submitted the past two weeks. So I just then the report was submitted on time. No, the no, president no, has no, a privilege brother, to review brother, the report. Hey, 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 brother, stop. Brother, stop. The president called two weeks, right? That the report need to be made, right? Do not let me share some things with you because I will not do it. You can ask all your questions, I will not do it. I'm too smart to put something out there. Anton, can I just say something? Um, you know, you should have I don't know, I speak. I don't know why Nelson State got her muted because she was speaking and we couldn't yeah. hear her. I thought she had completed, but while she no, is still I don't know what's coming happening home. with the studio phone, we got to hear her. I said, Baking, let you hear her. If Nelson's there, he got to he got to do something because when a person's speaking, you can mute them. I don't know if you can hear Andrew, Mama. They got to unmute you. He's so while, while oh, she's coming there, so she said she said nobody there. Okay, right. So while she's coming, I just wanted to say, you know. One of the things I don't like doing at all is to go back and forth with people on the, on the panel. I always believe whatever I say is mine, whatever you say is yours, and we move on. But let me say, you know, and your mama, if you want to take your time to respond to me always, you are not doing anything for the government. Trust me, I'm not president. I'm not vice president. I'm not running for president. I'm not running for anything. Besides, even in the CDC government, I was just a deputy minister there. I was not a minister. Papa, are you in the office? Are you the studio? On me, I said, no, why you tell your... But let, me, let, let me tell you something. There is one reason why President Baika won the election. The reason why... Yeah, he go, put it on my, go put the Andrew Mama back on, man. You're not in the studio. Go there. The reason, oh, oh. Meet, meet, your, meet your stuff, yeah. So the reason why he won is to do those things that President uh, Weir did not do. So if President Weir did not speak to the country every day or did not follow up, he said, the people told President Baika, we are bringing you to do what President Weir did not do. So to me, it's a total waste of energy to always go back to the reason why the people did not vote for President Weir anyways. If you were to ask me, one of the things I have said of my own government is the part of information. I thought we needed to put out more information out. And if you were left with me, yes, President, we are who have spoken more to the public. Yes, I can tell you. Whenever there is any major event, me, I who have encouraged the president to absolutely speak to the public. But again, that's not the reason why President Weicker won. He wants to do those things President Weicker did not do, man. So don't keep going back to those things that he didn't do. Then it is the campaign. The campaign is over. Do the things now. This is the time to, to do it. So for me, focus on what the president is doing. Forget about me. Yeah, oh yeah no one, nobody running behind you. Let's, uh, let, let's get, let's get, let's get Angie, Mama. She was saying something. You know, as it do, you are very happy because Tenton gave you a lot of chance on this on this show. You can speak oh. four part time and I speak only one time. So you lucky. Thank you. I want to say to um the reason why uh, uh Prince C. Johnson she looking, she looking at her notes. She looking at her notes. I'm laughing. <laughs> laughing. So I want to say the reason why uh, Prince C. Y. Johnson resigned, the honor factor, the honor mining was done by CDC. CDC asked See Prince C. John, oh, you want black making? Listen, who blacking you? Nobody blacking you, talk. <laughs> no, don't tell people that I've been blacking you, Aunt your Mama. I don't black you. Only I said, dog can speak. I can't speak. No, talk, Aunt your Mama. Okay, so thank you for the opportunity. The reason why this man resigned because CDC asked him to put the army outside during the elections. I will not explain the other one because you know I'm sorry for you. And he refused to do that. The whole country knew about it. And they themselves were talking it. He said, no, it will not be professional. I'm not going to do it. So they were angry. And they masterminded the whole thing. 
for Prince C. Johnson to leave. And when he left, they were very, very happy. They were rejoicing. But I want to recommend in a public manner, I'm begging President Joseph N. Baker to reinstate Prince C. Y. Johnson because he's a true soldier. He's a man who follows the army rules and laws. He does, he's not a weakling. He does not, he does not move when the president says shake, he shake because it's the army. The army protects the whole country. The police protect the citizen day by day. But when the army gets us, that I mean, it's serious. And Prince Johnson is one of the funniest soldiers who got in our country. So CDC is so happy that they may resign. And it's regrettable. I'm asking Joseph N. Baker to reinstate Prince C. Johnson back into the army because the American government trained that man and trained the army and they spent so much money on those people to just let a good man with good character, with, with good brain to just go down because CDC wanted it. So I just wanted to make a point. Thank you very much, CEO, for the opportunity. So you're not very again with Asset, though, right? No, Asset, Asset need to relax. Because if he had Google advice, he would have given it to President. We oh, are you. President, we are going to be there. But because he sat there and all the wrong things were done, they did not advise President We are today. He came here to say back at this, back at that, and he won't be giving suggestions. No, he cannot do that. He should have done it. And say he didn't do it, then he's he's not close with the authority or to, to be a, a, a telling Baka what to do, President Baka what to do. No. You're feeling like one people. You didn't do your no, job properly. That's what you're saying. You see where you close. Your business to it's be okay. a boss. Go ahead, express yourself. Yes. Let me say this. Thank you. This is a good soldier. Good soldier. A trained good. soldier. Yes. Adjuman, please. That, yeah, your friend, and talk to now before you mute no, us. This what is a trained soldier. Yes. Folks that went against him because he performed. His duty accordingly, yes. and with the book, the military book, I'm ashamed. Yes, I'm yes. totally yes. ashamed and discouraged. Whoever the president decide to bring close to him militarily is up to the president. But I think it forced the hand of the former chief of staff. The forces hand. At a young age, you ask him to resign. And you brought him in as a minister. You have people there saying no, no, no. He turned and said, you know what? If it is because of me, I resign. And he resigned from being minister of defense. The president of the nation promised Liberians home and abroad That we will investigate and in two weeks the nation will know the outcome of the investigation it's been one month whether you like it or you choose not to like it we we'll speak on these things because folks around the president want to weaken his voice the former defense minister daniel zanga now ambassador at large these people know what's up which when you talk about Conor gray right now that's saying that it's okay maybe they will kick you aside gonna gray your military man i spent four days in the u.s army four days i'm a trained four days soldier I know when to speak and when not to speak. McConnor, with all due respect, sir, I'm disappointed. Well, Stanley, you have a right to be so, disappointed. Let me let me let me say this to everyone. We'll move yeah, on. Give me to chance when you're done. Say that? When you're done, uh, let me let me let me let me speak to We're you. Well, Dr. Richardson Connor. Yeah. 
We will yeah. speak. Everybody can speak. But uh, Dr. Richardson, you were saying something that could agree with coming. Uh, I was just saying that uh, we, as we are on the path to a new Liberia, we have to do things differently. And part of the difference that I would like is transparency. Uh, I want the president to be communicating to Liberians, good, bad. I mean, he, he, he has a way of, you know, uh, making it sound. He, they can do that. Uh, they can, you know, uh, kind of finesse the situation in which Liberian people may not even know what's classified or not classified information. So uh, I, I just want try, I, I just want him to speak to Liberian people. That's it. I know he can chew gum and walk at the same time. He can multitask. And uh, we want a new Liberia. We don't want the, the government that we had before that a lot of the information, you know, was not out there. As Isaac said, he would have wished that his president, uh, President Weah, would have communicated more with the Liberian people. So that's that's my only uh, qualm in this whole situation here. Uh, how they uh, dismissed uh, Prince Johnson and how his job was changed and all of that stuff. That's all spare milk now. When it happened, we talked about it. But um, yes, and I agree, you know, there was a lot of money spent on him, but we have to move forward. And moving forward, the president needs to speak to the Liberian people about what happened. It was a it was a bad day in Liberia. A lot of people, was. a lot of people stopped, you know, their travel plans were changed. Uh, you know, some people were, you know, law, you know, caught up in traffic for long hours and that is something that we should the president should be strong about. He should say he doesn't want that to be repeated. He should be working in closed door. When people speak about closed door and classified work, his work is classified closed with the work that he has to do with the army wives. That's that's where the work is. It's not how he communicates with the Liberian people, in my opinion. Dr. Richardson, thank you very much. Uh, we're gonna just talk briefly about the budget. I'm very wonder to hear from Isaac Vine and Samuel Jackson. Uh, these are folks that uh, know the terrain. Uh, so let's uh, kind of agree, say something briefly, then we bring in the budget. When will the budget be submitted? And is it late for submission? Can I agree? I know you want to finish up on this uh, uh, Army Wives issue. Go ahead, and then we'll bring in the guys. And again, um, Senton, let me say that in the in his um, two and a half months in power, President Bucker has spoken loudly than the entire six years of our judge we have combined. He has said things. Yesterday, the meteorologist, the weather report guy told me that it was gonna to snow today. I went outside, sun was shining. Sometimes you propose, but the situation dictates itself. If you wanna see that as the, 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 the ambassador, I mean, the, the president is not forthcoming, my brother, have you not made a statement before and then faced the reality and noticed that it would take you more than more than the time allotted? We all we all want to see a situation before. That does not mean look, this president has come and commissioned um exalted executive orders that his predecessor could not even come closer to. This is a guy who means well. Let's face it. I mean, I, I don't like to be the one that will be sitting down there acting like I'm defending, um, um, you know, President Buckeye, but he has done something more Herculean than most of the folks who are making noise. The only thing I say is probably um, against Senator, I will, I will continue to say the president is not going to come and spill his, I mean, the inner part of his, uh, of his uh, leadership out here, especially when it plays around national security. If I were around him, this is exactly how I would, I would, I would going to tell him to approach, approach with caution. Look, he's not a clergyman. He's not trying to go to heaven. I'm not saying that he's wrong for doing, I mean, he's right for doing what, what he did. But the real issue, the underlining issue is not something that's going to come out here to, to, to spill out. I think he has done, um, so far he has done well for a fragile country. No international security presence. We have a rowdy group that just left power. They're angry and bitter. You want to approach with caution always until you can find the strength 
to back your statement. You know, um, if we all think that the president should be running at our schedule, when he does this, somebody say, oh, he should have done it this way. When he involve a commission to say, let's investigate it, oh, he should not have done this. It will never work. Look, you can never please mankind. We're very insatiable. Thank you. That's all I can tell you, my brother. Thank you very much. Okay. Guy has gotten to the bottom of this. There's no smoke screen in it. He has left it. He's gone by his business. And again, I will remind Liberians who I'm abroad, the president promised to speak on this in two weeks. We expect the president to speak and address it. The president will not go by his business because he owe it to the Liberian people to address the issue. The report has been submitted to the president. The report has been submitted to the pro -term. Some Senate members have the report, and the nation need to know the outcome of the investigation. The issue I was saying, we brush it off and we leave. It's not serving. It's not in the right direction. And we, that we speak up, we need to speak up with all fear and favor. President George Manawia did the same thing. He would not speak. He would be bobo. He would call a chamberlain. When he called for investigation, nobody know the head detail of the investigation. Do we want another person, George Manawia? No. That's why we beat President George Manawia. That's why we're talking about a foul. When the president speak, the nation count on the commitment that the president will make to the Liberian people. When he speak, the nation listen, and the nation should follow because he's the leader of Liberia. So if you have folks around the president, I cannot remind and put things on the schedule and say, we have come two weeks. We need a result. That, that's a problem. And that's what we call us. Are you talking to us as a vice? It's like you're distracting us when you're speaking. Uh, that's what we come up to say, you know what? Guess what happened? Samuel Kofi Woods, National Security Advisor, Minister of State, uh, uh, what's his name? Sylvester Grisby. What are you guys doing? Thank God we got a justice minister now. What are you guys doing? We're going to let us talk this thing all. We'll keep some. Let's see if we'll reach to five weeks, seven weeks in four weeks. And let's see what Colonel Gray will say. So as of today, my four days in the service was legit. And I believe that Colonel Gray, 20 years in the service is not legit. Because he's on the wrong side of the military question. Mr. Jackson. Here we go, Mr. Jackson. The budget issue, sir. Where are we? What's going on, Burma Kamara? When would this budget be brought so, to the Okay, so let's 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 let the listeners just basically have an idea on what the budget is all about. The budget is the government expenditure in running the government and also in making investments in schools, hospitals, roads, electricity, and all of that, right? The budget post-war uh, in 2005 it was $80 million, and in 2009, went to $129 million. And at the height of the Ellen Johnson Administration, went to 622. But you know, in 2014, you know the story of Ebola, we didn't have growth and all of that. The budget indicates the priority of the government. The problem with the Liberian budget it is that it is very top heavy. Top heavy means that, a, first of all, personnel costs, which is a public sector wage bill, 66 to 70% of the budget. Then if you add goods and services, you go into almost 90, 95% of the budget. And when a budget is just to run a government and to pay salaries, you can't you can't expand the economy, you can't grow the economy. So Joseph Yima Borka uh, is, you know, having a very difficult time. From my own understanding, is what does he do about recasting the budget with the with all of the issues that we have. So, number one, Mr. Borja needs to be very clear. What does he want to do about this budget? Should he start massive cuts in the budget today? And economists have, you know, uh, objective or uh, uh, questions about cutting the budget. When you cut the budget, 
you minimizing government spending and you contracting the economy. The other, the real problem that uh, that, that I believe that Burma Kamara has, there may not be enough money that is projected to cover personnel costs and running the government. Because of that, the only option that he has is to go to the IMF, the IMF to provide some sort of a support, something they call extended credit facility. But when you go into an IMF program, Stanton, it obstructs you from doing a lot of imaginative things to grow the economy, to make to expand the economy using private sector-led growth. So it is a very bitter pill for the government to swallow, to go back. So they're continuing the same George Weah program that the Unity Party government was mostly against. So now the problem is, why is he taking all this time? It's taking all this time because I'm sure there are negotiations with our international partners to provide some degree of budget support. Now, if I were Joe Boyka, knowing the dire economic circumstances we have in this country, I will swallow the, the, uh, the bitter pill. I will do some cuts, but I will also go to our international partners and ask for like a mini donor conference. And the reason why you're going to have a mini donor conference is you blame it on COVID. Because, you know, COVID in 2020 obstructed global economic expansion and all of that is still the lagging effect of that is still with Liberia. So, so Burma is having an issue right now with getting monies, enough monies to cover running the government. And then all the promises that Joe Burka made, for example, like no car stock in the month in the first hundred days, those will have to be made by public sector investment. Then the issue of electricity, where does he get money from to pay La Cote d'Ivoire or to invest in the energy sector to provide electricity to the people? So those are the problems that they're having. And it will take a very tough mind, Stanton. When your government, you, when, you, when you get in power, it is extremely important for you to make the hard decisions immediately. Ellen Johnson Salif did that. When she came in, she right sized, she downsized. But because of the political pressures that was coming in 2011, even though she right sized, she downsized, the public sector wage bill grew up to $287 million, 66 to 70% of the national budget. So I have a lot of sympathy for, for them, but that's what they bargained for. That's why they were elected. They were elected to make very hard decisions, and those hard decisions will hurt some people, but it's better to hurt a few people and than for the majority of the people to suffer. So this time that is taken is very worrisome, and I hope and pray that it makes some good decisions. And But they can do some other creative stuff like I was talking about yesterday. They can do domestic resource mobilization by looking at the different tax loopholes. They, they, they need to pluck the loopholes in the tax system. Effective tax administration. Make sure that people pay the corporate, appropriate corporate taxes. So increase, increase the auditing of private corporations. The other thing you need to do is look at the concessions or, 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 or thing. They're paying 4 to 8% royalty on the what they call the free on both value of what they're exporting. How, who is there close with the authority or the expertise to determine the quality and the quantity of gold, diamond, and iron ore leaving the country? Well, let, let, sure me hold you, let me hold you that before you go to the concession agreement uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then go that out uh, as a vat is back. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Jackson, mm -hmm. they have already removed 112. So 12 came out February. Today is the 12th. Mm -hmm. I, I can confirm, I, you know, I, I chatted with Burma Kamara. You know, again, people are saying this week, and I asked him, Minister, when will the budget be uh, submitted? You know, and he said this week. He said, we are working on it this week. That's why when I asked if I asked, called the minister, I said, no, 
you know, they, they, they need all the necessary time, you know. And uh, Minister Kamara told me, say, this week, they will submit the budget. But somebody can with me something, something somewhere. Uh, if, if we can, if we can, Mr. Jackson, my last question, then anybody can jump in. Uh, don't you think we, with the with the budget deadline, the people leave it on Thursday, the lawmakers are going home. Another round of three to six million dollars will be given to them just to ask them to come back to work and work this thing. Oh, I want you to speak to us, Mr. Yeah, but you see, Stentor, look, those are the things about fundamental changes, right? Why should we have to pay the legislators in effect over time for doing their job? Eh? Why should we have to pay them over time? If I'm in management, I don't get overtime. I'm an exempt employee. I don't get overtime when I was second vice president at Chase. I went home 11 o'clock in the night. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get overtime, but the people that worked under me, they got overtime. You know? So this thing about how we've been doing the thing historically, why we pay people, why are you paying them six million dollars for? What extra expenses are they undergoing? For them to get six million dollars to do their job, to do their job. If Joseph Boga has the kahunas to stand in front of these men and women and say, "We are not going to give you six million. You must sacrifice because the country is in a crisis state, and because it's in a crisis state, we almost contribute our time, energy." to the efforts of running this government, we're not going to give you six million. Maybe we'll give you a small portion of six million, but six million to me, Stanton, is too much for them to But, why, but I, I think Conor Gray will get vexed again. Other folks will get vexed. I, I, if that is the case, let me move on to to, to Acidode. I'm going to skip you a little bit, uh, Acidode. Let me move to Acidode back in you. Acidode, if that is the case, though, why Boyma Kamara wait, wait so long, this late, to bring about the budget? If you don't want to pay them, by law you should pay them. I mean, it's within. It, I mean, it's they are the. It, it is legal. But it's not legal the same, you can okay? negotiate with them. Well, Stato. I agree, Uncle Sam. But let me say, I agree. But but then I said, why? Well, why Boma Kamara took forever to come up with for budget, last minute to tell. Um, the draft budget was out there like before this government came to power. In anticipation that you have been working on all these things and the different contingencies that would change and cause them to, you know, get in different numbers, whether look at revenue and everything. So I don't understand what the delay is. I don't understand the structure of the team at the Ministry of Finance, but the lack of communication is telling. And just when we look at the big picture of this government right now, can you point to any one thing to say this is the direction this government is going? It's not clear to me. You know, I want this government to succeed. I want it to be the best. But what are the building blocks for them? Because we not, we tired with the complaints now. We're not complaining about we are government. Oh, you tired now? Huh? Oh, you tired? Move <laughs> from there, man. Move from there. You can sit down and say you tired now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brother. man. Whole day we can't be blaming we are government. We already know what it holds. We already know we do asset recovery. We already know we're doing LACC investigations and stuff. So we got to get now on a narrow vision path about how do we build this country? How do we create jobs? How do we right size government? How do we handle the debt burning, debt restructuring? How do we get better engagement? You know, whether that donors conference or whatever. With the donors so they can see we're going in a different direction. The new investments coming, how do we handle it? This whole consul general thing where people will be bringing new investment to our country for these different countries. They requested $25,000 for you know one of those passports in the previous regime. Is that totally discontinued? Are they ready to engage real professional, real entrepreneurs, real good consul generals that can bring business for the countries to our country? So those are the kind of things I want to hear about from this government. The positive things that can move us forward. Not this. Let, let me ask you a question because I got to go to Andrew Mama kind of great. Uh, then that Richard and Acid will take us home. Acid vibe. The issue is that we had uh, our brother boy my Kamara on spawn when Senator was coming, and oh yeah, kind of great was enjoying him. You know, Dr. Richardson said, "That's my cousin. That's my cousin." 
That's my auntie's son. He bid on Sematwe. He said, because Sematwe delayed every time he had to put or uh, uh, present a budget. That was wrong. It was costing the government this so amount of money. We'll call Obama budget delay, not budget of a budget delay. But <laughs> look at what happening now. Your first presentation, your first budget submission, you late. You late, yeah. and these people going home on Thursday. The president now have to write a letter asking them to stay, and everybody will have to walk home with some paycheck. I mean, and this is what I will always say: we need to correct these things now. Oh, I agree on correction, but it got to be clear, okay, boy. God, what is the reason there's a budget delay? Is it a system? Is it a competency? Is it a structure? You are totally transforming the budget and do of zero bills, starting from scratch and building everything up. Is it engagement with these ministry of uh, agencies that you don't really know who's there, who understanding, who's saying this is our budget? Because the previous budget was set by the people who were there before. There has been a delay in ramping up government. It's just natural. Yeah, I, I, I beg you, Angie Mama, we're coming to you. So I said, one minute, as his older brother, as if I, you think because the government have not just taking shape yet for example look at justice ministry only the minister is there okay you think that thing having a big issue on Bama Kamara he will not say it though because he's in government now but you think having a stress on Bama Kamara because you know the HR is not there new appointment have not been confirmed and all this thing those are the stress level on Bama it very well could be there could be gaps in our budget right now and again if but from where I don't know but Bama personally but it seems like he's a very detailed guy, right? If you look at those numbers and they're not making sense to him, and he won't go back to people who were there. And you know, he was he was there before, so he had probably had a different perspective from what happened now when Burma was there. Compared to where the the Ministry of Finance allocation in the budget is right now is huge. So trying to decipher some of those things could probably be the challenge he's facing. But he got to say, he got to communicate. That's my problem with Thank you. most of the people in government communication. Thank you. I, thank you. Enter Jamama. The same to enter Jamama. I say what you want to say. Nobody will stand, uh, sanction you here. Uh, but just help us understand, man. Is Bama Kamara a budget delay, Bama? Well, I think. Um, I didn't say that as if I said it, though. Well, I think Boyma is working on the budget. He and Tanner Bronson, they are working on the budget and it will be completed very soon. Let's be a little bit patient. That's what I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got to say. <laughs> Girl, great. Just say I second the motion. Just say you second. And your mama, that's all. Go ahead, gonna agree. <laughs> Senda, I don't know what you're rushing for. Where you rushing to go? I don't know. No, I mean, yeah, I'm rushing to go anywhere. I mean, everything is just rush, rush. Hurry, hurry, like bus trouser. I mean, we used to say that, hurry, hurry, but what are you rushing Is the budget on time, gonna agree? Look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. How long it took before they, they even uh, appointed that, that man? Is the budget on time gonna agree? The budget, of course, is not on time because the entire government itself did not, it's not on time. Did not, did not <laughs> land on time. Say, the entire <laughs> government said not on time. No, they did not <laughs> land on time. <laughs> Remember, they were finding money for inauguration and all that stuff. Man, look, the only thing I can say is this: Why are we rushing? Why are we rushing? If that man does a shabby job just now. It will not be about he was rushing. It will be he doesn't know what he's doing. And and you know if they if they how 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 many times um does the, the legislature go to work when they're in session? Let them go home, they will not get paid. I mean, if, if I were here, I, I will hold this as a stick and carrot. You want to go home, go home. When you when you're coming back into, into session, there'll be no pay. There because there's no budget. Yeah, it doesn't work like that though. Well, it gotta work sometimes. If, if, let, you, let, if, let, you, let, if they have to take the break on a grade, hold on now. They meditate thing and sometimes you can no, you can no, 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 sometimes 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 you can go contrary to to, to, to the to the UMCMJ. Well let me let if me these let guys, let if these guys can go on break, you gotta pay them to come back on a grade. My brother, 
why if they say they don't have money to pay them? Why, why the money come from the pay and they will not come back to do government job? Sometimes you have to, you have, look, look, the thing they call judicial activism, it's not, it not necessary for you to go hold placard in the street. Sometimes the men say, I'm going home. It's my break. How long? They, I think they go to work, if not, if not even, even nine times a month, uh, six times a month. I don't even know how many times they go to work. They're going to work five days a week. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> not five days a week. <laughs> not five days a week. <laughs> Those people are the, the, the one of the highest paid people in our in in public but, but, service. Like, they're going to go to work five days a week, but they just appear in session two days in a week. You know that, Andrew, Mama. Don't say to, to don't do that. They go to work five days a week, they appear in session two days a week. My brother, two times, it's six, uh, six or, or eight times a month, they're there. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know how much those people get came home? Now, the one time where they're supposed to be there to pass a budget, if they want to go home, let them go home. Let them go home. When they when they decide to come, we'll pass the budget. You understand? Sometimes you have to be an activist in order for people to get a bigger picture. There are sacrifices that you make when you want to run, when you want to hold public office. That's one of them right there. So as a result, the law cannot support them, but don't support the other person. These are insinuating times. Why are we... Why are we not considering the bigger picture? A government just landed, trying to understand the kind of the kind of mess that was left behind by its predecessor. Eventually, they're making sense of what's in there, and then you are rushing. Why are you rushing to go? As a daughter left, as a daughter left a tsunami behind, man, they left a tsunami behind. <laughs> you they know what makes me laugh, man, man. This is what making me laugh. I'm thinking in my head, right, that the rich is in. Colonel Gray used to say this about Mr. Cummings. Close to the election, Colonel Gray flipped on Mr. Cummings. He said, I'm not supporting him, man. <laughs> You're a bad dude, Colonel Gray. You're a bad dude. I know where this is going. That the rich is in. The words that come to my mind, uh, they are austerity measures. I believe that this is where our country is. Everybody, we all got to be taking serious measures to make Liberia a better place. If it calls for the legislators uh, coming in and working for free, okay, even though I know that's against the law, uh, the president will have to negotiate and or, or get his people on his, his team to negotiate. This is what needs to be done. Like, you is not uh, there yet. We got no money. I mean, it, we all should know that. And so I, I believe that, you know, they should stay there or they should, once you, could they come back, they shouldn't be paid. Number two, uh, Burma Kamara is working overtime. The Burma Kamara that I know he's working double time. Yes, I believe he's late. I will agree he's late with the budget. And I think that he... You know, he needs to hurry up because we don't want the government to shut down people's pay, people's uh, livelihood who are, you know, relying on him. And it's unfortunate that, you know, these things were not in the making prior to the sitting of the government. It would have been nice that, you know, some of these uh, early amateur mistakes that are being made could have been resolved prior to taking the government seat. So I, I, I believe that, you know, he's working very hard. I know CDC government did not leave an easy job for him to do. He got to kind of put things together, put numbers together, find things. I, I'm sure they left a mess. I, I, I definitely, I'm sure uh, they left a mess. So it's going to require him double time, double work, double thinking, double ingenuity for him to figure things out. And I agree. Uh, when uh, Mr. Jackson was talking, I think that cut, I, I, I think he was a little bit hesitant to say, you know, he doesn't think that the government should, you know, cut services. That's the the legislature, their budget needs to be cut. You know, there's a lot of wastefulness in the government that just needs to be corrected. You know, a lot of things like the, the president's office, the vice president's office, those things need to be cut. I said austerity measure. That's the only way we'll move forward. Um, there's some low-hanging fruit that need to be uh, addressed in terms of the real estate taxes. We can put a mechanism in place. It's not going to happen to deal tomorrow. And I want Liberians to know that uh, we can't say, oh, tomorrow Liberia is going to be a place of honey and gold. 
and milk tomorrow. She's going to milk tomorrow. No, this is hard work. Uh, the LEC has to be fixed. The water and sewer. Once the things are fixed, we'll get out. We'll get money. My funds uh, will be generated from there. Revenue will be generated from there. Uh, maritime, got, there has to be an inventory. We, that's where we can get money from. The ships that are going around the world with our flag on them. Um, people are importing all the time. You talk about containers coming to the country. That has to be fixed. There's all these wasteful spending that's happening in government that we have to find these loopholes and just fix them. And that will help to increase our couple of the cutting, uh, I mean, the cutting of spending that will help us increase our revenue. Um, and then if the international partners see how serious we are about doing these, doing these things in the first one or two months, I be, believe they'll be more inclined to even want to sit with us to have a meeting and say, okay, let's uh, offer you guys some support from some financial support. But if we're not doing it and we, we expect to go give our hand out, to big other people, why would they take us seriously now? Like I already said, the people got their own problems. They got Ukraine war. They got Israel to deal with. America is not giving money like they used to do when Ellen Johnson or after the war when they felt sorry for us. It's not like that. So austerity measure is what we need to do. So that's where I want to stop at. Thank you very much, Dr. Richardson. And I said you go last on this one because we're out of time. All right. So uh, this is a... Uh... This is a big issue, and first off, people don't steal budget. Is not they just thinking of the future? It's not money there, so nobody can steal budget actually. But you know, about a week or two ago, I was called at the national legislature by one of the higher ups there. Uh, I was asked to do a little analysis of uh, what it would cost government to cancel the harmonization. So I went at the national legislature, I did all of that, I got all of the data, I put numbers together, and I gave them that briefing. Very staggering number. So that a consultant job had just started? Hey, hey, hey. I said, yes. I said, 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 I When I was saying that, y'all say I was kidding. He just, where's Jackie? He Jackie said higher up at the legislature. I want Jackie to hear. Mm -hmm. The man had just, you see, Angie Mama, you thought I was joking. I never wanted to talk about it. He just put his own secret outside. He said higher ups at the yes. legislature. And yeah. he would be so, driving a white, a white Nisa pickup. So, a white Nisa what, pickup. What I'm I mean, saying. You just I, what I'm saying, I said, you told that man your privacy is you done. <laughs> what I'm saying, got zero person to do what Stata is saying. I don't know about that, but let me just continue. So I was called. I went there. I gave the briefing, and they got it. This staggering. Like you can't do nothing about it. Now I was fortunate today to speak with two persons from Ministry of Finance who are also with everything <laughs> else, <laughs> who are also concerned with the budget. You know, one thing I do now in government, for some reason, our friend, I get from everybody, so I can talk to a lot of people. Now, these are the things that told me. One, the government is having a problem in getting the budget set up from few, from, from few things. The president promised salary increment or reversing her position. That was a big reason why civil servants voted for the UP. They have to do something. So they have been playing with the tax code to see how they can reduce tax bracket to give people little, little, little money. But with the average that they've gotten, is somewhere around 27 million. Now, if you were to take 27 million off because of salary, you have to find a way to cover that 27 million. That what has been one of the problems. The second thing I was told, they have not been very straight on what they want to do with few things that the, that the way administration did one, the issue of tuition free at public university. Should they do it? Should they not do it? They were in show. The issue of uh, YEC fees, will they continue with it? Should they not continue with it? They are not sure. So it was like, okay, should we put it there? Should we take it there? They were in show. So it is still an issue with the process. And now the other thing is, whenever the president gives the order that tend to take revenue from the budget, you have to find means to cover it up. We all know the president gave executive order on the issue of the input duties of rice. That will have a significant impact on the budget. You have to find the means. Don't forget, President, we are dead now. The UP beat on President Weir, say it was not sustainable, it was 
bad policy. It was this. President Baraka did. Uh, they did. The next thing I was told again was, you have to align the budget with your campaign promises and your own manifesto and your own policies and stuff. How do you do that? Yes, the money is not there. You're looking at some two billion of things you promised. You only have 500, 600, 700,000 budget. That has been issued. And also, there were things that were not initially thought of, budgeted. Those things are coming up. Say, for instance, the asset recovery thing. You have to pay them. It was not in the initial budget. You have to find means to put it there. And then you are other positions that the president, you know, has been appointing. Those positions did not exist during the weird time or maybe were not filled up, but all of them. So you will have to look at the period again. How would the pay increase based on these things? What's going to happen? And you know, tell me positions. He said to me as well, why would the Supreme Court pay? Would the Supreme Court mandate the government to pay off all of those people they are changing from their turning? That would mean you will have to have money in the budget to pay for them. And then you will have to have money in the budget to pay for the other people you are breaking on for the year. So all of these things have been presenting a order for the budget to come through. A lot. They've also been funding from international partners. But international people are not giving money like during the time Ellen was there, Mr. Mr. President Trudeau was vice president. They are not giving money like that. They too have their own problem. So all of these things put together have been given Mr. Brandman who have always said Samuel Tua was not doing anything. And you know, the reality of the check, that you know, you know what? You can say voice, but these are the realities. And I'm telling you, I was told that the budget should have been submitted this week. This, uh, you know, very most likely it will be something hitting. Even if they submit it, they will still be, God, when they submit budget, they can still be doing things in it. But it has been a daunting time. And like I've always said- Recast budget all the time? So, okay, so what that means now? It means that they can always recast if they, they don't reach to the tenure issue. No, or I no I'm not remembering. That, that that's, that's the tactic you're used to use, even though it's not something I prefer. Yeah. Not so, if they want to recast one billion times, I didn't say nothing about it. The only thing I'm saying is, why haven't they submitted the budget? I don't care about some recast it two billion times. So all these things are causing them to stop, you know, that again. Oh, oh, I'm okay. saying they, so. Since they have the option to recast it two billion times. Why don't they submit it now? And then come back to recast a little. Well, if they don't want to do it that way, fine. If they want to do it that way, I'm not stopping it. I'm going to say, oh, why? Yeah, yeah, you do consulting job that is. No, no, I don't have a consultant job. Forget about something. I'm going to tell you. Uh, to be frank, uh, what happened with you? It's about time we tell people. Actually, it's about time I would tell the people uh, your new uh, uh, position. Uh, can we, can we just call the U.S. or can agree? You got point. Please say it. Forget the man. Mr. Jackson, Mr. Jackson, I, I want to bring you in and please close us on this one. But I think everything that Asdo just said, though, that's what I'm hearing. And I'm also hearing that's one of the main reasons these things have been clocked. Even if this is something the budget come today, the folks from the other side, your side, they are waiting to tear it to pieces because why are you not going to put the YAC fee in it? Why are you not going to put free education? Why are you not going to do this? Why you didn't put this? And I think based on all of those reasons, Boma Kamara want to be very careful because you know they will tear him apart. You, you think we will see something this week and you think we are about to turn the table here, uh, Mr. Jackson, when you talk about the budget? Well, it, it, it is clear from listening to everyone that uh, Burma does have some challenges. But clearly, uh, he's a brilliant young man. I would have preferred that he would have gone to the central bank, but he's at the uh, Ministry of Finance. He's not, he's not, I, I, don't, I don't think he has the... The scales in terms of the fiscal scales, and also the, I mean, you know, the that inner that inner thing in a finance minister to make some very hard decisions. You know, he's, he's, he's a Christian, and I'm, I'm not saying he's soft, okay, but at this juncture, we needed, you know, a, a really tough finance minister that will have. A, a basically 
a red pencil mark to go to that budget and cancel out some uh, unnecessary expenses, do some imaginative things, and it will be hurtful to some people. But, uh, and then of course, they, again, what, they, what Isaac said, I mean, those political issues that are outstanding, that uh, benefit the, the students, for example, like the, the Wyatt tuition, the Wyatt, the Wyatt fees, the university, uh, uh, the ter free uh, public tertiary, those, those are very, different. but he should bite the bullet and just make the decision and come up with it and accept the consequences. This is year one of the administration. You still have five years to cover up. So if, if there'll be political noises in year one, you, you, you still have some political capital that you can give up to make some very tough decisions. But if you start dragging and dragging, then when it comes to make some other tough decisions in terms of growing the economy, stepping on some toes, eliminating some positions, uh, making some cuts in goods and services, negotiating with the, with, the, with, with, the, with the legislature and reducing their very high salaries, and even with the, the president, the minister of state budget, and all of those things there will require a strong commitment to fiscal integrity and also to have the strength and the energy to withstand the political consequences of giving a budget that will step on some toes. So, you know, I wish them good luck because I can tell you, um, I mean, I don't have too many more years to go and I don't have like, like two or three more presidential terms to see. So it is important for this president to succeed in my lifetime so I can live in a country with a small degrees of peace and prosperity before I take my final exit. So, I mean, I cannot be standing on the sidelines like uh, Senator Yawa Duane, Colonel Gray, and, and all of Yawa Duane, hoping that George Weah, you know, fail so you can bring in your own president. I can't, I don't have that luxury of time. I can't be looking at 2029. I don't know whether I'll be around in 2029. So, my thing is that for this year, Obama Kamara and his team have to make the hard decisions, give us a budget. It may be a bitter pill, but they have to do it, have to do it expeditiously and accept the political consequences. Those are my thoughts. You know, thank you, Mr. Jackson. And we pray that you'll be around 2029 because we want to remind you that uh, you brought some value to the nation. People can beat on you and say what they want to say, but you know we respect you and we love your contribution on Spawn Talk. You know, if you go on the other side, then I think you will be going to hear the sweet talk of my Jamama called Wodokari, the mother of Samara Wodokari, who is her best friend. Uh, but on a serious note, folks, here we are. I think this show is, is, is done tomorrow. We'll be having a wonderful program. Now, again, we're watching up for the budget. I, tonight, I'm going to go into a three, four hours conversation. People that know the budget, people that know when it's coming, we can announce to you. Uh, President Will, will I mean, President Waka will write the lawmakers and say, y'all stay over. And, you know, I spared the Constitution. They will have to pay them three to six million dollars. And one thing Uncle Sam said today, let me say this to you guys. Could I agree? You can negotiate with those boys. When you call them back and they're on the break, you got to pay them. Even President Waka knows that he got to pay them. But the issue that Samuel Jackson just said is scary. If Bama Kamara puts something in there that would change the conversation and about the ruffle feathers and about to see that people start getting mad, but why are you created this court here? You want to put my election for 2029? Why you didn't do this? Why you didn't do that? We will receive court in the employed area of the government. Are you talking about cutting back on everything that Joe we are ran on? Pay the wire school fee, paying the LTA folks that the president is saying that they're going to take off. And certainly today we can announce that the justice in chamber, you all read the news, you know, they say we'll wait for the full bench. 
and we hear your case. I saw that that uh, you were celebrating. I don't know why, because the told EPA said we wait for the full bench. You go to the full bench. I saw LTA folks going to the full bench. This new thing getting serious. We received a letter that is scheduled for the 23rd of March. This thing getting serious. You'll be given over 23 entity, almost 18 million United States dollars. If you have to pay them, almost 80 million. If you have to pay them, if you say, "Well, some of your portal CDC head tie, your go home," that's another constitutional issue. That's another legal battle. We still get our brother and friend Patrick Honda waiting to go get his job. Abula want to go get his job at LP, uh, LTA. That the Euro want his job at EPL, but they put a stay order on it. The Van Vambubus, what his name is, I'm sorry to mispronounce his name. At NASCA, you know, they try to take him from there, Connor Green, and went there with uh, Councillor Connor. They went there and told the man, said, We have taken over officer in charge. Mm -hmm. National Road Fund, Fisheries, Maritime, name them, all those places. This is a very, very tough time for our President Jose Yuma Barker. So we hope a decision that will be made will be a decision for the people, by the people, and of the people to help move our country forward. Not every day we come on Spoon Talk and sing Jose Yuma Buaka's song. We talk about good governance. We talk about the importance of this president, the work he got ahead, ahead of him to do. We know him, we know his heart, and we talk about the issue. So when other people play games, we call their names. Again, we want to say thank you. From my end to your end, a beautiful show, a wonderful program, We'll be here again tomorrow. You know, Uncle Sam here for two, two, two months. I don't know when Uncle Sam was coming and your mama was going back home. I don't know. They just hate to see each other in the same place. You that's know? not true. That's yeah. my that's my boo. No, so when you were coming, she was going back home to Liberia. Well, the, the woman on she, she must have a different schedule. She the woman can do her thing. I can't do my own thing. But your mama said very, very close for 1979. She used to yeah. come to the jail when we we're in jail to feed us. But why Stephen Johnson say you wasn't in jail? Let's talk about this. Well, Stephen see. Johnson say you wasn't in jail. Why? That Stephen Johnson you were mad. That Stephen Johnson you were mad. I was no, in jail. Were you rather really in jail? Were you rather really in jail? Oh, but mama, I was in jail 1979. I was in jail 1980. Mama, is that true? Mama? Yes, yes. Did you take food to Uncle Sam in prison? I used to take food because my 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 husband was in jail at the time too. Yeah, come at the time. to just yeah. who, who was your husband at the time? Mm -hmm. who, 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 who was your husband at the time? What? I'm sorry, can I ask my question? Who was your husband at the time? Don't Honorable, Honorable, no, but, but they were not married. They were not married. No, no we were married at the time. 1979, you were married? 1980. 1980, we were married. 1979, April 14th, you were not married? Yeah, I thought we were not married. Yes. I thought he wasn't married. You had you had kids by him at the time. No. Okay. I took Ella for high school. So you were there dating. So, so you come so, investigate me. Now me or like Uncle Sam investigating you. I get little here. No. So you were dating. Well, well, Sam is, is my, I know. I know. Brother. Sam is my brother. But we have also, come along with. And. And she must say, I what, love her. Why, 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 why are you looking around? Why are you looking around? Why are you looking around in the house? <laughs> no, because, because every time in 1979, the feelings will still be there. So, so in 1979, did you give Al Lincoln to Aunt Jemima? No, no, what? no. But she must say, we got, we got some of, we got some of our connection. We're not going to go into it because it's too kind of sensitive. But I'm a brother-in-law. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, who you are messing with? Don't worry about it. My former are you brother. Up? You are you are going out with your brother? No. You are going out with your sister? Yes. What's your sister's name? No, no, hey, no. God. Stand but up. Let me say that your own national TV is saying that we're fine. But we want to say, we want to say, Aunt Mama, seriously speaking, though. Thank you for confirming that Uncle Sam was in jail because Sam in our chat room, Stephen Johnson said Uncle Sam was never ever in jail. So yeah, thank you for confirming it. He was. And you should take food to him. The progressive. You should take food I to our husband. Also share our food. 
I was I'm young. Not, I used to cook the food this big yeah. and care for everybody. Everybody, everybody wow. said, it, look, it, it was like a festival in the jail. Yes. Wow. And the wow. Yeah. Yeah. Food, we got food because we very tasty, yes. including Ellen Johnson's salif. So, so, so this is big. Then why, why Stephen Johnson? I hope I can see Stephen. Why he accused Uncle Sam that Uncle Sam was never in prison? Well, well, this is the mean That's that's Stephen Johnson. That the boy that you, you a good man. Stephen Johnson. Johnson is young. Yeah? Stephen Johnson young. How old was he in 1979? I seen. Yeah, that that man you a good man. I beg you, you, man. Well, we want to say thank you guys for your progressiveness. Seriously speaking, you guys did extremely well. Your brother like, brought to a place that we have been this, the, the country is so destroyed right now because of you guys' progressiveness. I mean, what you guys oh. did was so bad, you destroyed the country. Oh. And now people are Zokos on the street. No, seriously, really, no. because no, of everything no. you guys did. No, no, let me finish, I said, Val, let me finish. Eric Connor Gray agree with me because That's of true. everything you guys did, That's okay? Not true. Oh, but we then, brought you know, freedom, we brought yeah, freedom man. to this. Again, some of, them, some of them had education, they had no experience. You can't show any practical impact on these progressives, progressive on the nation. Okay, so 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 let me answer you, Isaac. Look, we oh, you understand for economy. Well, why are you are kidding me? Y'all want to ask him, why are you kidding Y'all say y'all do progressive. Okay, you so, get Sam Jackson, you get Bacchus Matthew, Chad Chipo, Tipote. We can name them because we're not reading like Liberal History book. Okay. Y'all show sure wanting your debt to help the nation. Okay, great. Your winner, 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 your to enlighten the minds of the people, the progressive. Today, you, Stanton, will not be free to speak. Let me tell you that. So, you sure? They yes, open so, the way. They fought you for your freedom. Not, you sure I wasn't going to be free to speak? They fought for your freedom, yes. In 1980, you had a one-party, OK? They had one a one-party party, system. And they had not been multi-party democracy since 1955. Yes. Oh, but it was so confusing we gotta go home. Yeah, let me finish quick, quick, quick. Oh, I beg you. <laughs> Stand on. Don't hijack our revolution. Thank you. We hijacked the revolution. If the progressives what? had taken power, political power, but because they were agitating for political power, the Americans went behind and used the military to come to power. And when the military came to power because we had a cold war, it took no time. It less, it, I was only deputy minister for 11 months. Barker Matthews and others didn't even stay there for 18 months. In August of 1981, Wesson, who was a progressive, a progressive military, was executed in a coup because of his leftist orientation. So from that time, the progressives so 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 we're saying we're not doing some other nonsense that what you trying to say we're so saying we're see, just clean well, 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 I said, you see, you see Isaac, your knee jerk reaction tells me that you were not even old enough in 1979 to understand anything I asked you a question no, but no, the, way, the way you talk, you say we're saying we're doing nonsense. Yeah, you can come out and say nonsense, my man. Yeah, man, man the entire about. PRC, do you know no, that? Do you know how people are living in Liberia? When they yeah, came to power, well, do you Uncle Sam, you? Let Uncle Sam, well, I said fine, you get a good point, but let Uncle Sam finish. Let so, Uncle Sam finish. Uncle Sam was, we get the picture, he was standing I, over the door. I said, 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 I you are not old enough. I you didn't even have hair on, on certain parts of your body to be talking. So just be quiet and listen to what we have to say to you. 
As you are post slapping your ear in a neck, Lord, and then you are with me. By your way, you let me see your hold on, man. Let me see your problem. And I was just going to go over and play there for you. Anyway, listen to me. No, so okay. So we were the victims of the Cold War. They progressed by 1982. We're not in the government again. And when Doe announced his presidency, he did it at the barracks, 1984. 1985, they banned all the progressive parties from participating in the election at the height of our popularity. The Liberian People's Party of Emma Sawyer and the Progressive People's Party of August Matthew, the two most popular parties. It just like a joy where they decided to ban Unity Party and the other the other large parties in, two, in, in 2023. At the heart of your popularity, they banned you. So when they took power, right? 1985, what happened? They stole the election. The, the configuration that came together with what the guy called Jackson Doe, with the, the progressive supported that party, the LAP, because that was the only way to remove Doe from power. But Doe did not want to see himself removed from power. So he used the election commission and, and, the and stole the election. What that did, it brought November 12, 1985, the Cuba invasion. When the progressive did not support only one man, the progressive supported that Cuba invasion, that was Burma formula. And, and in Ellen Salif, Parker Matthews, Tipote, Sawyer, myself, Oscar Queer, and others, we did not participate in 1985. 1985 is that the one that brought the schism between the Nima County people and what? The Grand Jire people, right? When Prince Johnson and them were driving out of Liberia. I mean, that, that, that history lesson you should be telling us what productive impact did the progressive but, have on the country. If you okay, say the, nothing because they didn't have power, we can agree. Okay, but so so, the okay, so then let me tell you something. The the nineteen eighty six constitution that you are using now today, eh, mm -hmm. was created by Emma Sawyer in the National Constitutional Convention. You remember that? That the review so, committee changed some things, though. What's that? Right? In the review committee, change well, yeah, so it was not a perfect because first of all, Doe went on, Do, 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 Do gave himself six year presidency, nine years for the Senate, six years for representative. We wouldn't have done that, okay. And he also gave himself immunity from prosecution. You cannot prosecute any Liberian president, they are immune from prosecution. You can't go take Joe out of court for anything that he may have done, right? So we, did I, we did not agree with that part. But I'm just trying to tell you is that the progressives never held real power in Liberia. We never ascended to power. Had we ascended to power, we would have revolutionized governance. We would have revolutionized the economy. Man, you had most of you were in the first government we do. Yes, you're, but, you, but I, you, I just hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. But in a one year, in a eighteen months, in a year, well, most of them were there for more than one year. No, yeah, what well, well, as we learn, I survive. And we gotta go to begin complaining about this time. As we learn, Uncle Sam used to leave from the commerce ministry. I say go up to Ducal Palace and get in the pool with so many women, and that's the reason why they not fire him. Because he will See, go there and hang out with all the women, and then go back there, and go get married, and go and go and go fire him. I was not there, I, I could not have gone to the pool I in a public place. When I was, I got married at a very early age in 1974. I brought That's my wife, I brought my ex-wife to Liberia, and my ex-wife and my, my children were in the pool, but it was not even during wet days. The jealousy in the country, a young, handsome boy, highly educated, with a beautiful woman. Yeah, but yeah, but I ain't there. I ain't there. <laughs> so all of that made him to be jealous. And so, yes. <laughs> That was the yeah. same reason. As there you go. That's it. You better answer them. No, but the real reason why they fired me. The man, the man, has has the man has talked for ten minutes. Ten minutes. He gave one impact progressive hat. Ten minutes. Now they come out. Ten minutes. Now they come out. Eh? Is that the answer? That constitution. You get a credit to do. You get a progressive. Can he come on? And that's I'm here. Yeah. All right, fellas. I'm very proud of other progressive want to say hi to you. I'm Uncle Sam, I want to say thank you. Ava, as always, thank you very much. That to Richardson, as the door, 
and your mama. We want to say you guys have a wonderful evening. On this note, we're going to be signing out. We want to say again, tomorrow, same time, same place. Due to the talk time change, folks, Spoon Talk will be 8 p.m. in Liberia. We will come on 8 p.m. in Liberia. That will be 4 p.m. Eastern time here in the United States. Because so many of you, of you are asking, the time have changed, okay, in America. The time went back one hour. So we're four hours different now. So it will be 8 p.m. after the guy read the news, after the tip phone calls, we will come by 4, by 8.30, Spoon Talk will begin in Liberia. So that will be 4 to 4.30 year in America. I want to say thank you for always joining us. And we appreciate you as always. Again, have a good evening. All right, Nelson, everybody, everybody, that's the way it is. Nelson, you are sleeping. All right, thank God that you're sleeping. Next time you will check uh -huh. your email, Nelson. And Nelson, why you didn't check your email? You mess up again, bro. You get email, you can't check it. <laughs> I said nothing, bro. I said nothing. I just said, why you didn't check your email? <laughs> See, email is very important. Email is very important, my begin. Always check your email. And I go and leave it like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Long story, make it talk. Oh. <laughs> Man, we talk all. Continue, Man, we talk all one day. But where is make it talk all? Is it in Liberia? Uh no, no, I don't think so. I think yeah. he is though. Make it talk all in Liberia, right? Mm. Seriously, I talk about size. Nah. And so perfect, he left that bureau, right? Yeah. The prophet left. So he, he left, finally. Yeah, uh, the prophet left. He made a post saying that the people thought they were going to put me in jail, but they are playing Phil. Who are going to put Perfect in jail? Nobody <laughs> can put Perfect in jail. He's the prophet. You know? Yeah. Perfect is prophet. a prophet. Nobody can put Perfect in jail. But want to say again, as always, Mandama. Thanks to Angie Mama. She always takes her time to come in the studio. And, you know, I know you like to see Angie Mama in that studio. What the Omar Kai? Hey, you can be smiling plenty with the Omar Kai in that studio. The, the Omar our man, so. We're, we're investigating. We're investigating. No investigation. <laughs> no asset recovery team is a liar. <laughs> no, yeah, Alice. Oh my in that studio. Everything I've been doing swag. But you know your mother in Liberia? Your man Moba in Liberia? Oh, yeah, yeah. Moba and I met today. We met at the Capitol. And then, Is he coming yeah. in studio for you to do the show? Uh, he's he's coming in tomorrow, but he will join us from home tonight. And oh, yeah? Tomorrow, he will be in studio. He and I will do the show from studio tomorrow. I know he's happy. Oh, he reached out to me. He said, see you are in Liberia. I said, God bless you. Be careful. Oh, Say yeah. hello, Fadiga, for me. And where is Fadiga? Yeah, I haven't seen him for... Well, wow. I don't know I think, if he's still I think here. I will be on, I think I know will be on the, on the list pretty soon. Where is, uh, you see, uh, 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 what's his name? Dualu. So Dualu came from Liberia, right? Mm, and he he, again, he lied again. He lied. He came from Liberia. Oh. Yeah. Every the barber thing he met there in Liberia, he can't call it. He can't wealth. He can't wealth in Tanzania. He sweet to her. He can on vacation, everything. You see her laughing on the video, laughing on the picture. I said, hey, go. Faru get three more. Dwell with that bastard man get three more. But what I have for him, I will wait for due time. <laughs> see you. Don't put, don't put sin in the mail, Gary. No, 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 no. I put it on my Gary. I just said, what did I say? And I said, I would just wait, right? Yeah. You anyway. gotta wait. You, know? you gotta wait. The man will come. You were facing justice. You were facing the asset recovery team. Mr. Fagon said, I should tell you how. <laughs> we met at a confirmation. He said, he said, he said, my man, my man, the way that I make it, treat me some time. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, you are begging, you are begging Edwin Snow. I tell you, by the way. <laughs> oh, 
But you know, mm. let me say something to you. Fagon is a he's a brother and friend. You know, Fagon and myself we make plan every day. We argue, argue. You know, Fagon want me to be a politician. I say, Fagon, I can't be a politician. Fagon okay. say, my man, you know, you talk small, then you blow small. I say, Fagon, I can't do it. Fagon want me to be a politician so bad. I say, my man, you on your own. You be a politician, and I can't be a politician. You know, but that's the way it is. And you know, Fagon is a nice guy though. Fagon is very concerning. He's very caring. You know, he got the country at heart. You know, but uh, that's a great sacrifice for him to leave America and go to Liberia to work. I must applaud him. Seriously, he, he's he he been on a pay. And you know, seriously, Fagon just took that job because of love of country, and everybody that see Fagon, they, they should appreciate him. I'm dead serious. He's a good man. He's a good friend. He care about people, you know. Uh, but he care about himself first before he care about people. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? So? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, on a serious though. Yeah, I miss Fagon though. You know that, right? Yeah. You got time today, Fagon coming. He coming here looking for me. You know, he will fly over. We will eat. We will laugh. I miss Fagon. But if you see Fagon. I can't wait to have him back when he coming back on a vacation or coming on a summit. You know, he's a yeah. brother and friend. He's a good dude. They may say one recent one that happened to him was that he was saying that, uh, and people just calling and say, Oh my man, they say he's trying there. They're announcing <laughs> it. <laughs> he said, I hear an announcement also that he's trying there. And he said, I can ask the people who say I trying there. <laughs> but you know who we're looking for? We we looking for Josh Lobo. Where is Josh Lobo? Uh, man, I need a picture of you. No, no, no. Where is Josh Lobo? Yeah. Is he in Liberia? Yeah, I, I think he's in Liberia because I saw uh there 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 was there was a post he did recently with uh and yeah, Avi Kamara. Yeah, Avi Kamara. I spoke to Avi Kamara before he went to Liberia. You know, uh, yeah, he did. We spoke, and you know, and uh, I mean, he, Avi Kamara when he will be doing some big things in Liberia. You know. But I, I'm kind of I'm kind of taken back. Where is Josh Lobo? I think can we open the phone line and ask where is Josh Lobo? Are you too late? No. Where is show coming on? You still got time, right? We have, we have eleven minutes. Eleven minutes, yeah. So where is Josh Lobo? We got looking down. I guess on I guess on two women right down. I was looking at. So what Two women. See you. A twelve, a twelve a.m. here. So I, I have been uh, no chicken wing be new. Oh no, 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 no! I get a Chinese chicken one right. Here. Very nice. No, like that KFC. You know, yeah, I don't eat KFC like that. But where is Josh Lobo, folks? Somebody said he was at SKD. Don't what there? Oh, when when Kevin went there, when Kevin Kamara went there. But is that where he work? He work at SKD. Tell him what about Fred? Tell him where my set. It was Josh Lobo, the whole team. I will explain the story with Josh Lobo. I'll get Josh Lobo 24 hours. If he doesn't call me, I will explain the story. Everybody know the story. As far as he will tell you. <laughs> Josh Lobo got stranded. Oh. Yeah. Josh Lobo got stranded. Josh Lobo was crying. He was looking all over. Josh Lobo was crying. Josh Lobo was crying seriously. I'm serious. Everybody that hear the story, they will let you know. I'm not going to go too far into this story, but uh, you'll call Josh Lowe and tell him. I'm very, very concerned about Josh Lowe. And, you know, what Josh Lowe said, he had a dream. He was living in one of the houses that the asset recovery team took from the people. <coughs> yeah, he said he had a dream. A dream. So, a serious political dream, though. Your man, Joe Lowe, man. Joe Lowe said you want to be the deputy finance minister. That's why he's sending to me. He said you're going to be the deputy finance minister. So I, I don't know. I don't know whether he would get a position, though. What do you think? You'll get a position or all the positions gone? The positions are, are, are finishing gradually. He said he, he want to be the deputy finance minister. Do we have that for... Yeah. For fiscal uh, affairs, 
Is that mm. still open? I think it's still open. Uh, I can't record any appointment in that era. Yeah, I think it's still. No, got a lot of people can post line your ear. What do you mean you can't record any appointment? They feel like go everything feeling. Ah, okay. <laughs> so you know you're going. <laughs> you know you're going. <laughs> you know you're going. <laughs> you see if it is. See if it is. See if it is. It's gone. But smooth my one is still there. That tante the one. Jolo, look at me again. Tante the one. Jolo, and I'm going to school. Jolo say he just wants scholarship from the government to go to school. I think that's the best thing. But I think John Lowe should be given the deputy minister position, and, you know, for for the drive through. Oh. And I mentioned sure, Nate, the drive through. The drive, yeah. The drive. <laughs> I mean, why George Lowe? I said, don't say you keep, but why John Lowe? I think oh, I'm on mute. I've been doing it too real. No. What? Let me, let me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, why is George Lowe? Oh, the, 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 uh, Josh is here good. Josh is here good. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's good. I met him a couple of, two, three weeks ago, someone around Alalago. He and I were talking in the morning. Now, what he say? He say Alalago. I think Josh never gets uh, share in Alalago. I don't know, but I just saw him. I just, I saw him. I'm not sure if he, he if he's Josh there. He discounted rate. <laughs> or what? Ten, uh, $50. $50. Per week? No, yeah, what happened? Because John Lowe has friend the story of me. So the owner, <laughs> of, the owner of Alalago said to George, said, my man, whenever you come down to Labrador, you stay here. We appreciate you. But let's bet. If Jose Iman Barker wins this election, you can stay here for free whenever you come to Labrador. That's good. And George, and George Lowe took the bet. So now George Lowe is at that hotel. Anybody want to find George Lobo, go to Alalago. He's there for free. Yeah. He got one room. When you enter the hotel, the second room on your right hand side, check when you make that turn. Second room on your right hand side. When you enter Alalago, right? You enter from the front entrance. You pass the reception the desk, the second room, the hotel room. It's a suite. It's a general suite. On your right hand side, just when you turn, that Josh Noble room is 102. Because you get 101 and you get 100. When you make that turn, that room is 102, that Josh Noble room, when you enter Alalago. So if you want to find Josh Noble, just go knock on the door. He usually at that hotel, uh, in the uh, late in the afternoon, is that he calling me? And then he calling me, but when I answer, yeah, he calling me, but when I answer. Mm -hmm. So, so that yeah, that John Lobo room. Just when you enter the hotel on your right hand side, you make that turn, and you know that George Lobo room. I mean, people, people, I have not been there before, but someone took a picture, <laughs> and you know, she was not she was not here, she was not here. All the room there here, man. <laughs> the information you provide me gave the SP. Why you doing around there? Are you for us? Why you doing around there? As a current thing, as a current thing, we go ask you. <laughs> no, I just yeah, listen. That's the information. You know, spoon, spoon, get a, a wide information text. So when we're looking through our files and things, uh, Fagon told me that why George Lobo stayed because Fagon went there, they were smoking a cigar. And he told me that why George Lobo stayed. That was Fagon said to me. Anyway, so. But I said, though, man, guy, how you like your new job, my man? Which, which one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nelson, imagine you and I will be at studio. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but as yeah. Well, Jackie told me, Jackie McKay, Jackie McKay told me that they gave you white pickup truck. Why? Why? <laughs> Why they sell you with a white pickup truck? Why? <laughs> That's it. Today you want to be on me again? Give me another white pickup. 
Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, you know, the why? The first history that got when people join the country here, yeah, that. <laughs> So you be beginning to say the town every share away if you need that next one will be a big my trouble. No, but oh. it's not bad for you to have a web picker truck as a you know. Um uh, I think I think let's say as a uh you you're a good guy. I think the folks need to understand where we are, and I, I just do believe that. I want to applaud Jeremiah Kuhn for giving you that web picker. You know, <laughs> for your new <laughs> assignment. <laughs> Jeremiah Kuhn, yeah. <laughs> VP Jericho. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Jeremiah Kuhn of a man. I like Jeremiah Kuhn though. I don't know. He's just cool, you know. Sometimes you have a leader that cool, you know. Jeremiah Kuhn just cool. As it do. Uh, but Nelson, we got the information of the pickup. Let me share with you, Nelson. You can put it up, then we leave here. Which uh, which picture? Which pick up now? The 2023 pick up truck for Ghana. Yeah, why you gotta do all here? That's the one that is sending for you. That's one of the cars that came from Ghana. <laughs> but I said, take it. I mean, you got nothing. I mean, why you can take it? There's nothing wrong. You know, you 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 have to go on assignment. You're doing a great job. You know, you're consulting for the Republic of Liberia. They gave you the pick up truck. Take it. You know, I, I mean, I don't know, except you don't want to do it, though. I, oh. I think you should take it. Yeah, I see. We can open the phone now right now and call the folks before Nelson people come. They will tell you, they say, take it. <laughs> you know? Look at a pickup truck. They put that information in many first. <laughs> Look at the pickup. Look at the pickup. Uh, don't miss. Don't miss. Look at the pickup from Ghana. It's in Ghana right now. No, I don't want people getting angry. It's 2023. Open the phone line, Nelson. Let's open the phone line. I don't want people to get mad with us. Open the phone line. We keep this up because when I received the information, I thought it was joke, right? But I say, imagine I say, get this pickup truck come. Maybe they will give it to him. Maybe they would, they would, they would not. But information reaching me, I said, need this for a very strategic reason. Only we, we can keep eyes. But anyway, Nelson, open the phone line quick. Let's hear from. Let's take one of five or ten callers because you gotta do your thing. Um, you think it would be appropriate that I say they give I say this pickup truck? I mean, knowing very well he gotta go on the summit. and Stephen Johnson approved it too. You know. Wow. Zero triple five. I mean, it, it's Nissan Prido 2023 four door. You know, I, I said, I don't know. I mean, I'm happy for you, my brother. Enjoy it. Happy for like you. It's 2023. It's used car. It's 2023. We talk about 2025 cars right now. That's it. That's it. Don't be angry before you come out in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> So 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 that's it. You refuse to open the phone line because you know I said telling you not to. But I mean, let let I mean let the people go ahead and praise Asi for his job well done. You know when As because Asi will be joining Unity Party, it's a great a, a great achievement. Oh wow, yeah, mm -hmm. great achievement, Nelson. Great and achievement. they may not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> You hey, man, man, so. you. The man said they call him to the play. Yeah, he gave his people his, his advice. They call him the play. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, CEO? Yes, mama. I'm calling on the show. Yeah, I know, but I said get him a white pickup truck because they, they don't hire him to do a piece of job. What do you think? You <laughs> are very happy. Because oh, yeah. if uh Waka can just employ maybe five foreign or civilian or other people but today some of us in america they wish hunt us in our offices that has some all run away in kino america some are enjoying the step worker taking United yeah. Party, they say United will stand divided with four. Yeah. And United Party is not only Dwaka, yeah. it's not only uh, Jeremiah Kuhn, yeah. but everybody will willing to open arms. So maybe the next time when the sedition come there, they will follow our full step. Thank you. Congratulations, Isaac. 
Let it get him. But why you got Ascara Gray? Then are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hello, your name and where you calling from? So this is Emmanuel Willie. I call from North Carolina. Emmanuel, you say your name Emmanuel, but the name coming out say Yata. You say your name Emmanuel, but the name say Yata. Yeah, I'm using your phone. Okay. My personal phone. Let's go. No, I show you in. I see you using your phone. Oh, you say oh again. I mean, I say getting a brand new pickup because he, he, you know, they're trying to assign somewhere very strategic. But the fact that they're giving him a pickup truck, what say you? I'm so happy for Isaac. You know, I want to tell a lot of siblings. Doing that this, they will wish on you. They will not even get that job. You try it, probably you might live or not live. But the greatest president that our history <laughs> will remember to eternity. Uh, all right, so, we hear you, we hear you. Thank you. So you did fire. <laughs> so you fire, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we hear you. Hello. Devil. Hello. I say got two for two, yeah. I say get to the pickup truck, man. What say you? I mean, what's your name? My name is Frank Bike. I mean, you enemy of progress, right? Why you made the money? I say the pickup, man. Why? I say that they could be more than. I say that they could be more than. See, you have to be very careful. <laughs> oh, man, man. You can't you can't be proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thank you, Nancy. I think I can see. Okay, so we We take this call. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. Your name, where are you call from? Good morning. Yeah? Yeah. My name is Ambassador Louis S. Johnson. I joined you from District 2. Let's hear you. What, what, what you make of uh, the discussion? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I want to appreciate CEO for this short discussion. I think it's welcoming. Liberia is a country that two days president, which is a Liberia 25th president, is on a path for reconciliation. And I think there is an actual reconciliation that involving and including conditions of government. Thank you. For health. Thank you. To Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir. We take another person. Hello, you're live. Let's hear you. As the people like your fat, that's a good thing. Hello. Go ahead quickly. Let's hear you. Join, join together. Sweet. Your former deputy minister, man, you have a tip off because. The former development, the real minister for youth services, was seen at a new and supposed service fellowship for young people. So you don't deserve that opportunity. Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Hello. It means a new service fellowship. I got one. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. I'm, okay. Prince. I'm Prince Belay, and I call for Saturday Seven. Let's hear you quickly, Prince. Yes, um, I want to appreciate the panel for this question. I think if if it's very prudent that uh, former minister Isaac Doe has been um selected by the president uh to apply all of we said selected by the president. Yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let's 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 make the clarity he was not selected. So the question is if the government decides to Incorporating like that, pick up the the show now on the stream. A, a sound that brand new pick up to him. What do you think? Will you embrace that idea or not? Exactly how we embrace it. You know, he's a Liberian, okay. and and he deserves every dog once he qualify for it. I think he thank you. He deserves it. Thank yeah, you. the thing is that he's right because uh, we gotta be very clear. I said, do get a consultant contract. Uh, we cannot disclose where, and they're going to give him a white pickup truck. Uh, Jackie McKay confirmed and broke this news that Acido received a white pickup truck. And uh, Acido just said it on the show today that he spoke to some people from finance ministry, from Central Bank, 
And he's working already. But these are the things that we so desire in Liberia, government of inclusion. And uh, that's what make it be. But again, I want to say thank you, everyone, as you do. A lot of people appreciate that you, you it's it's good thing. A lot of people appreciate that. Hello? Hello? Yeah? I'm live on Spoon. You got to pay before you come on Spoon, my man. Mr. Big, it said that, hey, how for you to, 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 to answer for this time, please take my number because I'm trying to show I got to call you. I'm calling to Iris. My name is Leko Lietolo. You on Spoon. Talk to us, my man. Yeah, so if it, it's true that President Baga tried to appoint us, it would be a good thing. No, when I say President Baga tried to appoint us, I said, man, you got to listen. I said, get your consultant contract. But it's the same thing. The yeah, but it's not a direct right appointment. Now, listen to me now. Yeah. What I'm saying is, the country is so divided to the extent that if you just say, we are United Party to add a bit to you, I have position before coming to the state last year. That's what I've been telling you to do in a new way. So if Asi can get a consultant job, he gets appointed fan, because well, we are all like period, we can't be people that are not going to be. All right, all right. And you see, so I mean, people just got to understand that. Because you're not for the people. But you had a job, why you run away you came to America for? No, I know I had jobs. This is a job. After I passed the interview and passed the Telegram, I found my friend got to the dynamic job. But another issue here. Are you listening? Because I know that we're not going to be able to give up peace. Now that we want all to be president for the country to be relaxed, people from the country should work. Have I met you before? Yeah, you know, I met you last year. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. 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 In July, so I thought please take my number so that I refuse it. My man, if you send me text, just say your brother for name back and I will answer you. Okay, all right, man, let me tell somebody call. Thank you. Uh, Mr. The Rufus guy got a problem. He will call me, then you want Rufus. What is it? Rufus, Rufus. Rufus, uh, CEO. What's your name? My name is Lawrence Faya Cooper. But you didn't say Rufus by that phone, right? No, no. How, what the hell? I pay my own phone bill. What are you talking about, CEO? Are you uh, serious? I'm very serious. I don't know how the calls got me to you tonight. I don't even know who you're talking about. Who is Rufus by that? I don't know wait, who wait, wait. Let me, let, me ask, let me ask you a question. Wait, my man. Your name, the name coming off Rufus by Nah, that ain't me. All right. All right, go ahead, talk to us, no problem. Talk to us. So, so see you. See you. We'll start with you first. You heard the gossip that going around and said, said the president bought to take his security clearance for you because you gave me some information all you're supposed to get. But let's go to let's go to our man. Who thinks they are way America against security yeah. clearance? You better move from there. See, why are you been getting all the information? You got security go, clearance. Go ask, go ask, go ask librarian people. <laughs> That's what I said. That the security clearance is there, they want to take it. My oh, man, you leave me, man. <laughs> Y'all be high in the news and we we'll tell the people. But but listen, my man, I said do a bottle again or white pick up. Yeah, you see, white pick up, white hat. I said do the government, they have uh, a dark hat for us, but we got clear white hat for them. So we're okay, getting clear white, and you got a white pick up with blessing behind it. And then I let them run, man. They control for all of us. They didn't want me to look like only for sedition. You need to party. Like, uh, CDC, but let me ask a question. How do you think CDC will take this information? Oh, but, but see, oh, you don't know. In, in the next two years, CDC will dissolve. The, all the matter will cross country. No, 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 no. I'm talking about for acid, though. How do you think they will take this information? Well, for that's the acid? beginning of the destruction. Because that's the more peace when we're having our parking out there one day. So CDC will, uh, when I think, uh, what you call, uh, uh, my brother asked to come on the station, now he said, it'll be like, my man, that man is already bought. They finna buy him. So they won't even take it serious. But I pay for asset to bro. That the good to learn your asset, you keep in the country, you put effort, you learn, you get something, God bless you, enjoy your country. We will got nothing against you. So I gotta say, CEO, they will not take it serious anymore. CDC will be like, that man is marketing and buying him. Because he got control of the government. So that is it. Yeah, I agree with you, man. I agree with you. I think it's about time Unity Party bring all these people home. And I said, though, you are a brother, you are a friend, man. We will do everything. We'll push you. You will, you will speak for Joseph Waka. You cannot say anything bad about President Waka. You know? And we'll take care of you. We know you get your family here. They need to eat. Dry, don't eat sweet. But where you'll be eating before the dogs turn dry. 
So you need to be eating, my man. CDC can it says yes, eating a long time. You know, but, say, what, what, say, but you know what though? Saint Joel went back to the country, he refused to say how to ask it though. And every day I said, don't come on the show preaching for Joe. Yeah, so I said, don't left with no option. You know, because he, he doesn't want to eat the money. Well, God bless I said, don't for being brave and coming on the show. That's great. You show a real great courage. So you deserve it. So go ahead, brother. Enjoy. You're a Liberian. Enjoy. Yeah, man. I said, do a lot of people say, enjoy. Thank you very much, my brother. Yes, you're welcome to you. I'm gonna good. But this guy I say he Nina Bade. But in number everything when he called, he can't say bad. Here go. All right. So I say okay, let me see again. Call it again. Hello. 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 How are you doing, Mr. Paul? Is this Rufus Bade? Yes, sir. Okay, but your number just came in with somebody else. Okay, talk to us, man. Yeah, uh, well, that information is welcoming. You know, right now, we got to forget, we're not running campaign anymore. I bet you know the party since 1987, but after election, to put the country forward, we all can share the, the visible part of the country. We just face CDC data, we have to do it. That means there's no changes here. So, uh, Mr. Doe, we welcome you on board. We know that's the easier way to get it to become a United Party thing. Because whenever the gene tell you, I want your snap, know that your brain. So by the time you take that job, you already, you already in your system will initiate you as a unity partisan. And as the only thing, and that's the only thing we're fighting for. You see what happened here? We brought, we brought Conor Gray. Conor Gray turned to support the Pape. Fadika, Fadika turned over. You know, you Dwalu, Dwalu turned over. You can name them. Anybody can on spoon the turn to, to support the unity party. My man, turn to the baby, my man. The baby crying by. Go so take care of the baby. No, no, no. That's too old for our first consultant, my man. We gotta treat the garden well if we want to keep that. Forget about that. Nobody allowed to talk about that old picker again. That too okay, don't yeah. call me. Uh, yeah, like you know. Hello? 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 Yes, ma'am. Are you talking concerning acid though? Hello? Ah, acid though. Thank you, my brother. I'm done for the tonight. And here we are. I want to say welcome. Thank you for taking us. I listen, that will be on. Your LDC will be on. And uh, you get a brand new car. Great offer, I said, though. Mm -hmm. You know, but I said, though, seriously speaking, I mean, six years without this offer, how you going to manage, my brother? Making at six years, though. Two, okay. two months have passed, you know, it's not looking good. Nelson, so, how are you going to manage, my brother? Let me find out from you. <laughs> you been eating Gary and Dracula, right? And Dracula, you know? Right? <laughs> and well, you know, you know, you know, you know? <laughs> Oh, I remember, yeah. but, but, but as you got anything else to say, we don't know. Well, it was a good show. Uh, I know your color being enjoying themselves having mute. Uh, I don't know what kind of a mute they're having where, but thank God we are good. Uh, hopefully, yeah, Liberia will get better. We will never get tired of our country. We will always be here for Liberia. Uh, good or bad, we are always here. Yeah. <laughs> You guys will see you when you respond. Let me call him, man. The man first with me. He called on WhatsApp and see the call. He said he's very me. So I beg you, let's take this one call and see what the brother wants. Now, everybody know that I'm calling him and he's not answering. The name is Edmond. Edmond, I'm returning your call, but you're not answering. Hello? 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 Edmond, hello? Okay. Log pass fine. Nelson, thank you very much. A great show. We'll be back again tomorrow, Nelson. Find all the best story. Talk to us and let's make Liberian people happy. Someday good, someday bad. Some done, some not done. You yeah. chop, I chop, go back chop. That's the way it is. Have a good night.
Nelson, you're doing yeah. extremely well. We appreciate you and the team. Good night. Yes, sir. Okay, so folks, again, we want to say thank you. Thanks to everyone for being here tonight. Um, thanks for making your contributions in the comment section. We appreciate you. Thanks for calling in. For all of you who uh, place your calls tonight on the show, we appreciate you. Thanks to the team um, across the country for the relay as well. Uh, we are being relayed on several radio stations across the country. Thanks to Premier FM in Bone County. Thanks to Trust FM in um, Bomi County. Thanks to uh, Trend Radio in Grand Cru County. And we have uh, Gibi FM in Kakata Mar Gibi County. We appreciate uh, the team there. And as you know, we are always live across the Spoon Network, Spoon 107.5 FM, Fabric 101.1 FM, and Super 95.5 FM. Thanks to the thousands of you across Liberia who always make up time to be here with us on Spoon Talk. And um, thanks to you across the world uh, for joining us across the internet. As you know, we are always streaming live and uh, we're live on, um, on, on YouTube. The handle is Spoon Talk Live. We're live on um, Facebook, on Fa uh, uh, Fabric TV, on Spoon TV, and on Super TV as well. We want to say thanks to our um, followers, all of you across the world, who uh, always make up time to be here uh, with us. So my name is Nelson Collette. I want to say thanks to all of you. Just before we go out, let me send a special birthday greeting to um, Madam Mary Lincoln. You're celebrating your birthday today. Happy birthday to you as you celebrate your natal day today. Madam Mary Lincoln, um, you're there in the U.S. We wish you all the very best on this special occasion of another natal day. Happy birthday to you. And to all of you celebrating your birthdays this month, this year, I um, want to say happy pre-birthday to you. If you're celebrating today as well, happy birthday to you. And uh, till we come your way again, I'd like to say uh, have a good night. Coming up shortly is the late night show, the late night politics on Spoon. Um, you don't want to miss that. We're coming up very shortly with the program here tonight. Um, until then, have a good night. And it's Dark Creation Day in Liberia. It's already uh, 1 a.m. So uh, let's hope we'll go about the day recognizing and respecting those people who made significant contributions in our lives as we visit the different uh, cemeteries to, you know, do some cleanup and all of that. Have a good night and bye-bye uh, for now.